PKA 627 with our guest Finster Taylor. This episode of PKA brought to you by Blue Chew and Lock and Load. So you'll learn more about those those penis pills, those dick pills later. Finn, thank you so much for joining us. You put a lot of effort into your outfit. Looking hot. <laughs> this stuff takes hours, man. You guys should be you guys are privileged. It's the only place I get dressed up for that's not my stream. You got that male privilege. <gasps> I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you won't drop the whole thing of either calling me a girl or thinking that this is my thing i watched the last podcast you like, you well, I mean, me I, look look nice tits bro that's all i got to say to uh -huh. you I, you know like, like like i you seem to be dressed up like a pretty girl all the time so i'm pretty sure you're you're, you're a fan of it you know i don't think you're being drugged um, through the mud, uh, over the coals to do this. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of money in it, man. I've been doing. I know there since... is. We're all very proud of you. We're so happy. Oh. For you. Yes. <laughs> very proud of you. You're. It's been. You're. You're really making lemonade here. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> you figured out people would pay you oodles Dude, of cash to to be I, a pretty lady, and now here mm. you are. I'll just what be on my. Happened? You look like you have boobs. What am I seeing? I mean, I, I could shading. break the whole illusion, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> so no, 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 I'll do that. Remember, he this, told us it was a, it was a I should have asked pre-show. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll it's be on Reddit like, just scrolling and I'll be like, oh, that's a familiar face. What's this? And it's and it's you in some sort of a like femboy meme or something like that. Yeah. Like I got like the I, I don't know if you've heard of the femboy hooters thing, but I have like a whole like thing. I got like a crop top for it. <laughs> Big femboy. That's what I was doing for Halloween. I was uh, a femboy hooters white. Wait, 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 I love oh what you God. got going on. I, I have a video out there from ages ago where I wear a dog, a dog bark collar, and I bark, and it shocks me. It's pretty funny. Oh, got a fuck. couple million views, and uh, but people in real life are making fun of me, like like how uh, how like uncivilized, how embarrassing to do that for a living. It's like shut up, you day job haver. <laughs> it's like, it's like but I made you. I made two weeks of your salary doing that. <laughs> yeah. You know that, right? You realize that a video is like two and a half minutes long. How how much shit you want to give me? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wait, two and a half Absolutely. minutes? You didn't even get the like good ad sense from it. I, you I did. Oh. It was back in the day before. Yeah, I get a yeah, flat rate. We know it's guaranteed money. Hey, make, yeah. make, make a one minute video if you want. That's what I was that's what probably on a machinima at the time or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why did we do that? Why did <laughs> it, when, when we were on that machinima flat rate contract, we should have just been pumping out YouTube shorts. Dude, Just, I like what T-Mart did. T-Mart had the coolest thing. He used to do these choose-your-own-adventure videos. Oh, God, So he put yeah. out a video like, hey, I'm in this situation. It's me and two guys. Which one do you shoot first? And it was like, click this right or this spot. Either way, you go to a new video, and he's like, eh, that was the wrong choice. You want to shoot the guy in the back. Shoot the guy in the front, alerts the guy in the back, and now you got a problem. And Or you go to the right one. Oh, good call. This is why. Anyway, you go through this Choose Your Own Adventure. You've watched like nine videos by the mm -hmm. time it's over. And mm -hmm. he just monetized the heck out of it. It was a clever yeah. idea. That was a smart no, I like idea. The, I mean, Let's Plays in general are really good for that. If I know from my own from my own experience it like ox i don't know if you know about oxhorn on uh on youtube mm -hmm. he makes amazing let's plays i don't know how many hours of them there are but my off the top of my head i would guess there's well over a thousand hours of video maybe five thousand ten thousand who knows it's it's incalculable there, <laughs> there's it, it's an enormous amount he does these long long let's plays but he tells you a story along the way he's not just like the way i used to do him where i'm just like this is a fucking scary part here, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have enough HP. Like he's just like, this is the part where back in the olden times, the dwellers of this land were the merfolk. And you're like, oh, for real, bro? Wow, sounds good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he, he looks like he looks like uh, he's a real nice guy. He's a real nice oh, guy. And I like cool. his videos a lot. <laughs> uh, I, like his, I like his videos a lot. Uh, Oxhorn, if you want good, good Let's Plays. But yeah, that that to me seems like the best way to have that crazy like one video leading into another kind of thing. Because I'll watch dozens of videos. Like however you want to splice mm -hmm. it up. I've got YouTube Premium or whatever. There's going to autoplay. I, yeah, YouTube Premium is a bomb. I have that too. And good investment. It's oh, yeah. I don't use the music stuff very much. Mostly just YouTube. I have at this point when an ad pops up on a video, I find it completely intolerable. <laughs> yeah, I, I that's I'm gonna switch browsers when. Uh, yeah, we all gonna switch to Firefox or uh, whatever. Some, 
I, I, I want to dislike YouTube Premium, but it's so good. Because do you remember what the YouTube app used to be? You close out of it, it keeps playing, everything used mm -hmm. to always do that. And then they turned it off, and then like a month later came out with YouTube Premium, and it's like, ah, pay us, and we'll turn it back on again. <laughs> it's the only yeah. thing I use it for. <laughs> for a podcast listener, it's good. So I, I, I just went on this long motorcycle trip, and I listened to podcasts on the way. And it's good not to have to have the app open and like running and mm. everything. You can just background it like it's Spotify. It's funny, like my I have this like piece of shit like Samsung S six, and it's like so old that like I guess they didn't get around to making it so that YouTube doesn't work the old way for me. So like I've been able to run YouTube in the back of my phone for free <laughs> for years. And now, granted, I can't make calls. I don't get a lot of texts. Sometimes it turns off. Those are, those are, those are the trade -offs. It doesn't do phone <laughs> stuff that well. <laughs> I, I was sending an email on my phone like three days ago, and I had like fifty two percent, and it just went like, Bing. I'm like, oh, I guess guess we're not sending that. It's just mm. it's just dead. So I broke yeah, my I camera on my last trip. It bugs me. That, that what kind like, of camera? On your phone? My phone. Well, so the. My phone has like three or four cameras in the back yeah. of it, and the telephoto one doesn't work anymore. I wanted to. I'm glad you brought that up because Woody took some photos on his trip. Um, yeah, really great. well composed photos, honestly. Like 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 photography might be one of your your hidden talents. <laughs> uh, and it's uh it's sort of his motorcycle in the foreground with interesting things in the background, usually like a scenic uh, view or like a, mm -hmm. a, a sign or something Mountain like that. I liked your pictures a lot. Oh, well, yeah, thanks. and and like your camera. I know it's an iPhone, but Jesus Christ, they're so fucking good. I think the Android, like top of the line shit, is probably even better. But I feel as like far they go back and go, forth. I don't know who's on top right now. I think I saw like the Android people like sh like making fun of Apple on Twitter or something like like three months ago. That, that, that's why that's in my head. They were like, "Oh, you're just now getting six million megapixels. Uh, <laughs> welcome to 2018." Well, I know for sure if you go like two years ago, the Apple guys were poking fun at the Android, so I might mm. be out of date. But yeah, if I want to like read, good. like I don't know anything about that battle, but I feel like it would be fun for me to like. Is there a Reddit or a forum of people who are like they fucking love iPhones or like they <laughs> hate Androids or they or vice versa? Like, do you ever like do there like seek out forums like that? Like, that? like like things that people are really passionate about that you think is kind of Android stupid? master race. Oh, is God. that real? Did you make that up? No, like, like, no, I'm I'm making it up, but I'm thinking like they wouldn't be that lame. And the Android Master Race, they'd call themselves like um like like the T two thousands. It'd be something Terminator related. <laughs> <laughs> they, like like they they do something like that. Those fucking losers. I guess uh Android is way more popular in Europe than it is uh over here. Like, like, oh, really? like they're yeah. Like, I, I I think I saw something about like the the market share of each company in Europe versus the US, and it was really skewed. Like kind of it, maybe sixty percent in yeah. of Europe is is Android. So I don't wow. know about Europe in particular. Broken down, it, it's my understanding that like if you combine all the iPhones, yeah. it's more popular than any Android model. But if you combine all the Android phones, it's more popular than the combined iPhones. Yeah, right. that makes sense. Androids are still cheaper, right? Do you have the thirteen or the fourteen? I have the 13. We'll see what happens. It, last time I broke a camera because this is my second time. I'm glad you said 13. I uh, I've got the full. Uh, I had to it upgrade my camera. Four. Yeah, I, I don't know. From what I, I mean, I've been they had my, my phone. From what oh, I read wow. online, like there wasn't a big upgrade from 13 to 14. Yeah. Well, one thing 14 has is this satellite connectivity, and I'm in this weird spot mm. where like I'm a guy who might need to send a text Thir from the middle of nowhere. The 13 doesn't have that. Right. Cool. Yeah, the, I didn't the, know there was the online. 14s. They make it seem like there was like no like advantage between a 13 and a 14. Probably for a lot of people there aren't. But if you mm -hmm. ride motorcycles in Death Valley or something, then you're you're that yeah. guy who might want satellite connectivity. Yeah, your that phone guy. has a. Your phone has a, <laughs> you're the only guy. Your phone now has a. It, it, your phone. The 14 has a feature that replaces a device, and that's what iPhones were like. That's why our phones are so amazing. They're full of features that replace devices, right? I'm sure we've all seen that old meme of the pile of 1990s <laughs> yeah. technology. Your GPS that... and your cameras and your phones and like you link them all together. Yeah. When you, you remember what it was like your going rulers? on vacation in the 90s? <laughs> How many? Like, oh, I want to take some pictures. So give me the suitcase, honey. <laughs> like, there's so much shit involved with just the general like. I remember like the the old big RCA camcorder, right? Like that's what our home movies were on growing up. Uh, me yeah. running around the yard, you know. Your dad looked like he was broadcasting for Eleven Alive out there. That's <laughs> we didn't have one of. Well, I don't think we had one of those. It, 
I, I, just, hey, hey, I don't know if it was so behind the, the times or ahead of the times, but we like had the one in every so often give like drop these hints of an affluent childhood. And it's not that I was broke or anything, I, my parents, but they were uh, really frugal. And you know, mm. Taylor's like, yeah, what well, you didn't have chimpanzees at your birthday parties? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I had camcorders to fuck around with. I'm well, like, I mean, I, it wasn't cars. mine, but, but when I was four and five, like dad definitely had the big RCA camcorder. And um, um, I he had a business at that time. Um, mm. conversion vans in the 80s were a big deal. People listening to this don't even know what I'm talking about, but what they would do is they take a big box truck type van that was lame and they pimp it out. Life. 80s, 80s style <laughs> it was more about like getting some ladies in the back right it had this big top that like made made it so you could stand up in there uh they, they put a big fiberglass top on it to extend the headroom and then they'd like pimp it out with televisions and like carpeting like like indoor carpeting like home carpeting swag like um what's the tall shag. stuff shag yeah yeah and stuff like that and his business was like turning those things out really quickly and this they is, had an assembly line I know you're um, young, like you were young when this was happening. Yeah. But do girls like this? I, I I feel like if I'm a girl and some guy has a conversion van with a shag carpeting and some disco lights inside, I'm like, do not go in there. I think I, it was. I, let him fuck I, I think me. I th I, I don't think right the in. market was necessarily like young hip All dudes looking for pussy as much as it was like maybe like a young married couple who's like wants the coolest like. I don't know, techiest thing, because it was kind of their version of like a pimped out Escalade or something, but the 80s version. So anyway, like they were <laughs> making a, a large amount of money at that time. So, I, you know, he definitely had like the big silly satellite in the yard that looked like we were at NORAD and uh, that had like Japanese channels on it and shit. Like, yeah. like we had so many channels that that just didn't work or were like half ass. That, that's what my grandparents other languages. had. They were so yeah. rural, they had no option except for dish. And so it was just whatever was was on dish. Like oh, you, yeah. you talking about that camcorder? I remember like playing with my grandparents' like tape recorder, like a cassette recorder, and yeah. it was one of those that was like a small black one that had like that little like kind of mic, little spike on the top that you could fold out and like talk yeah. into like a cop. I, I know people out there know exactly what I'm talking about, and I remember being like six and thinking it was so fucking cool because I had like seen CSI or something where a guy's like. We have to investigate the uh, uh, Timothy Stevenson later. And like, I remember just like having that and wanting to play pretend, but just being like, God, I've got nothing to like note to self, play Pokemon later. Like, like <laughs> I, I, I didn't have, I, I didn't know where to go from there. Like, it was like, yes, I'm like a cop, but I'm not aware of crimes or <laughs> like what is I'm trying to think now. of. Uh, did, can you think of any other luxury items you might have had as a kid, Taylor? Uh, those moon shoes. You had I a pool. Those were going to be luxury. Yeah, you had a pool, had a right? Pool. Mm -hmm. We had a pool as well. Diving board and slide. I'm not like bragging. I'm just trying to like quantify what it was. We had a YMCA. <laughs> oh, really? A diving board? <laughs> <laughs> That's eight inches of fiberglass, son. It's <laughs> high quality fiberglass. Yeah, I, I like. I'm still. I'm very seriously considering buying a hot tub now. Like I feel Ooh. like that would be a fun purchase, and I would. I, I don't. You should get it for winter. I know. I I feel now like that's the a dope time, time to use it. Like, it, mm -hmm. do you want to fill that thing up, heat it, and enjoy Christmas outside in the freezing cold in the hot water? Oh, yeah. It, it's like it's been snowing for the past 16 hours here. It's like, feels like it's minus 20 outside. It's awful. And I've just been thinking all day, like, man, that would be awesome to like brave the cold for two seconds out on my patio <laughs> and get in my <laughs> boiling water tub, bring a book. We had, bring my I new book. That. Shout out, Kyle. Are, are, <laughs> are you on the. You got to keep the water clean train or the sex in a hot tub is an obvious purpose of the hot tub train. I, well, I want to build whoa, immunity. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're not mutually exclusive. Terrible. What are you talking about? You want folliculitis? I want it to be here. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an I'm absolute over. tepid <laughs> filth pit. <laughs> so first of all, sex in a hot tub fucking sucks. The only way to properly do that. I think that... it's really bad for, for women. <laughs> You're not, it's not good to get the hot tub water in their pussies. Water, not I'm a not a woman, water. Taylor, so we're good there. Um, yeah, so, so, Taylor, I don't see the problem. Yes. The men, only way to do is like, <laughs> <laughs> like submerged sex isn't going to work. So you're going to have to get out of the hot tub kind of to do it, right? Which kind of defeats the whole, oh, our knees are in bubbly water. Nice. Like, fuck <laughs> off. That's freezing. not good sex. Uh, yeah, but. but You're right. And it, but I'm, I'm we sorry. had a hot tub for a few years there, like at that last house, the one I had mm -hmm. to quickly sell when the government was closing in. <laughs> and uh, um, and it was, you know, it was in the backyard. And I, there was a year where it's. Yeah, the one that you visited, the one you took a shower in. 
You own that place? Yeah. He wasn't squatting it for some reason. <laughs> 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 Okay, they were squatting. <laughs> right. No, I thought it was a rental. Okay, well, I'm no, no, I bought that. That was like, I mean, one eighty and two twenty or something. It was. What year crazy. did you sell it? Right before the real estate boom, I hope. <laughs> well, you know, um, like like right after I got arrested, right? Because I we were a little afraid that they were going to okay. try to like take it in some sort of a seizure or something. They, they were they're going to try to say that I was a a drug baron and this house was part of my drug That's empire. And I was fortunate. I think you missed out on like a hundred thousand dollars of appreciation or something. I'm, I'm, well, well, I need to sell it. Yeah, I wasn't no, going to live there anymore. Right, like, I didn't need to live there anymore because of what, it was time Look, to sell the house. I'm with you. I sold my last house too. Should have rented it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, it, rent wouldn't have been an option there in that place. But anyway, yeah. Um, that place had a hot tub, and I liked it a lot. And uh, in the winter, when it was freezing cold, and even when it snowed, I can I can remember one year it snowed enough that it's like, yeah, we're in the snow, but in the hot tub, it's great. It yeah, great. that is. And nice. it was a nice place to hide from wings because he couldn't get in there. He couldn't oh. get in the hot tub. The hot tub, or the. <laughs> He could get in the hot tub if he was motivated, right? Like, he just didn't want to. You'd have to refill it. And that's not a joke. Like, literally, like, when a bunch of people get in the hot tub, you do have to refill it because... I'm going to be honest. Yeah, it's like a bunch of people. like six. Because, like, when we had more than three Sometimes, like, six people would get in, and it only was made for four people. And then when you get out, like... Public bath now. Yeah. Once you get six in there, we're all just taking a bath together. Like, What is it? You're hanging over the side? What happens to the water? Yeah, it just flows over the side. So you put it somewhere that that's not a huge problem. Yeah, but no, yeah, I don't not, think he was going to put it in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we had like a little wooden, I don't know, gazebo type thing that the hot tub went onto, like, 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 and then there was like some fiberglass steps that, like, three steps that you like stepped onto, to like ease yourself in because it wasn't like lowered down, um, in like the yeah, ceiling yeah. of something. You st- we still had to like go over and into it, um, and he couldn't get up those the way I remember it. Like it was. Like I would we love to see break. wings climb those steps, sit on the side of the. They'd have broken. Tub, fall in backwards scuba diver style and show you what's what. Crack, this, crack this the fiberglass, a... like ruin it. My eight thousand dollars. This is a tub. question I bet Woody actually knows the answer to. One of you two. What are those like wooden slat things that like overhang on like a patio or a porch oh, that like look? Is that, what is that? That you can put lights. Miranda. You can put lights on them. Miranda. The word veranda comes to mind when I think of that, it's not but a I don't veranda. know what that word means. It's, I, it's, it's the, you know, you, you can picture what I'm talking about. Oh, right? Those for like sure. wooden beams that like are decorative and they're over uh, a patio or a porch. Kyle, you, you're looking confused. You, you know what I mean? I'm pergola. 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 Fucking pergola. I had to Google it, but I got it. Is that I, I don't know word? what it is, but every time I see someone with a pergola, I always am like, that's like rich person. Shit. Language of like, origin for pergola. Like, I Greek? just always think of that. Are you uh, asking me? I had to Google the word. I, yeah, I, well, you're, I know, you're, but you're already there. You know, I figured you could figure it out. Like fuck, it's like a spelling uh, bee. Language of origin you... Greek. Use it in a sentence. Pergola <laughs> is a Greek word. <laughs> origin is yeah. uncertain. That's interesting. Honestly, Has the, you compared the Lithuanian Pergus? Yeah. You could grab yourself a nice hot tub as a business expense if you started Twitch streaming again. That's a whole category. Yeah, oh, right on. I'm ashamed of my body, though. <laughs> so I don't think your body's getting be... better and better, Taylor. It also, is. That's it's, a it's an investment for on. February. Well, when see, you, well, see, that's how you earn the money. You'd start off like right here, like like like, mm. it, like like way down in the water. You gotta pay to get me out of there. Who's the really hot chick? I, I know Finster. Amaran. To to. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know how really. It's funny. Who's the really hot chick on OnlyFans? You both. I mean, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it, it's because oh, uh, she's the one who progressively <laughs> showed more and more. Uh, is she oh, that's Belle Delphine. No, no. That's oh, Belle yeah, Delphine. no, it's Belle Delphine. Belle Delphine is who I'm going with. Yeah, yeah. That, that is who I'm going with. I haven't heard about her yeah. in a long time. Not since that, like, two years ago bathwater She's doing thing. fine. She's doing just fine. Yeah, yeah, she's, I bet she's, she's still living. She's on off that again. She takes her like regularly scheduled breaks, and then she'll come back and then do something crazy, and then you know. Are you on yeah, OnlyFans, Finn? I'm not on OnlyFans, but God, it's tempting. I I've been I've been losing that's a bunch three. of. Mm, it is. That's the end game because you can't do anything after that. Really, Phase four Just, is the end game. Yeah, yeah going to politics. Yeah. Wait, what are you going <laughs> to say? You've been losing a bunch of what? I've been losing. I saw it, every time I come on, I've hit some new weight goal, and uh, I was. I've been losing more weight, and gradually as I'm stepping down and getting a little more lean and actually working out this time, I'm doing those squats. Finally, my legs mm, hurt very all the nice. time. It's leg day every time. It sucks, but um, 
I've been taking a shower. So you're out. even working out no. like a chick every day. <laughs> like day. No, I've been coaching him. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll send you the progress yeah, update. That's a <laughs> grooming <laughs> situation. <Yeah. laughs> I've been grooming him. <laughs> I've been taking so many more. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Sir. I've been taking so many more photos, explicit photos, as like I look better and better. I don't know if you guys do that when you like make a bit of progress. Oh, mm -hmm. I do it all mm -hmm. the time. Kyle Thank and you. Taylor, I've backed Good off point. on the amount of photos I send them, but uh, yeah, That's I take progress pics pretty much almost every day Did, I, I guess i mostly difference... take feet pics yeah <laughs> of people on the subway <laughs> yeah just <laughs> did you see that oh my god i saw like look all right so imagine this i saw this on reddit there's like two three guys and a girl hanging out in the living room clearly she's with one of the guys because she's like laying across his lap but her feet are kind of kicked up and the other dude's flash is on his camera when he tries mm. to sneak a picture of her feet <laughs> in the living room and in their private living room. It's not even like we're on the subway and you can just be like, I'm so sorry, I'm weird and like, like slink away. It's just like, bro, <laughs> dude, are you taking feet pics of my girlfriend? Are you taking feet pics of me? And the other dude's like, are you taking fucking, can I have, can I see it? <laughs> it was the most awkward. I mean, you gotta just. Everybody has to have an agreement in that situation where it's like, let's not acknowledge this. No. It's like a thirty-second long video, and all of it spent him just looking around, not knowing what the fuck to say. <laughs> <laughs> after he does it. So goddamn embarrassing. Feet's a crazy thing. To, apparently, it's super <laughs> common so for guys to like feet. Like, like yeah. I've heard that. Like, I, 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 there was this one girl on the internet. She said that you know, if you go feet, boobs, and ass, she's not sure what's most popular. That's so weird to me. Or no, not weird. Like, there's like, no okay. way like, feet is up there with. I don't want. I'm not trying things. to. Yeah. Like what? When I say weird, I, I read I'm it on Reddit. Shame. Taylor, come on. It's true. <laughs> it's it's, it's gonna be no, even what? true things once posted on Reddit become false. <laughs> no, 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 no. I I believe what 100 percent because I think what it is is that you, what you have is a sex worker, and her clientele is asking for those three things, and feet is going to be uh, more often asked for because it's probably something that. They're not able to get in real life, right? Because that would, I don't know, it wouldn't weird me out if a girl was like wanted to do something to my feet, but I would be like, let me know when you're done. You know, I don't like, want, like, I don't like, want my like, feet I, I, touched or played really? with. Really? Or yeah, get down there. No, no I, I wouldn't I, enjoy that. I feel I like Taylor's making a huge mistake. I want her to, here. I want her if to nibble my the, toenails, like if like, if like trim them up a bit. <laughs> hypothetically, got off by my feet, which would be crazy. I, and I wasn't into it at all. I would absolutely do it. That's such a small ask. Like, oh the, yeah, no big deal. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. Or... I don't think I could Whatever get into a feet <laughs> like someone licking my foot. Yeah, my, my response mm. like, imagine someone licking your foot. You're not thinking like, oh, that's nice. You're like thinking like, no, get, those, get off my foot. Like, What's the limit I, that you'd let good. a girl do to your feet? Though there's a there's a there's Anything. a limit. <laughs> if she if she wants to do something to my feet, she can. There's no limit to what a girl can do to my feet. Yeah, right. As long as she's Step not gonna cut on a, it. Look, don't cut a toe off or anything, and we're and we're straight, right? Right. Oh, don't you heard my fucking... feet? But if she wants to put feet. them in her butt or something, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> I've I've fun. absolutely toe fucked a girl. A you angle? probably you got fucking prehensile <laughs> toes. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know. Yeah, I, can I you do the come hither with your big toe? <laughs> yeah. 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 I would show you, but it'd probably get you know you can't even show feet on the internet anymore. It's ah, the internet's so <laughs> lame. That's my that's favorite. Just... <laughs> that's my favorite thing to do to a new. All right. What I mean is, that's my favorite thing that I've seen done to new Twitch streamers. When somebody be like, "What size feet do you? What shoes do you wear, man?" And be like, ah, I wear a size 13. Nah, there's no way. You look like you wear a size <laughs> 8 or something. And he'll show up like, ah, you're wearing clown shoes. I'm Take that shoe off and prove it. <laughs> and he'll be like, ha, ha, I'm on a show, y'all. And then the next thing you know, this user has been <laughs> off the air. Like, dude, just trying to show his feet, getting trolled. Tucker off. got me to do the Heil Hitler somehow. Uh, I forget. <laughs> he, but he got me to, like, put my hand and point it to the camera flat. <laughs> and... Uh, I'm an idiot. It's easy I mean, to slip up. I just, yeah, <laughs> which is a weird one. They definitely pick favorites, favorites with who they want to ban. I don't know how oh, I've gotten yeah. away with everything. I've got a pet theory that I've gotten away with so much because they don't. They're still all scared to ban me for anything. Like if I show nipple, they can't because you're allowed to show like nipple if you're a dude. Yeah, yeah. So they I wanna, swear they I was thinking about this last bear. night. Mm -hmm. You're in this really this. nice Goldilocks zone where you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're playing both sides, so you always come out on top. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, that's what. Oh, yeah. have you ever heard of? Uh, have you ever heard of like turfs? 
No, I've how heard. is it spelled? What's so what's a turf? So T E R F. It's trans exclusionary yes. radical feminists. So they're feminists that hate trans people because they don't. They think that like a man transitioning to a woman, they like they don't count, and they're co-opting womanhood. Yep. And they're very funny. They're the most insane group on the internet by far. They're great. Is J.K. Rowling a turf? People say so. Yeah. Did People she tweet Mary Turfmas? <laughs> okay, so she is. <laughs> 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 But men are the best even women, though. Good. I can see why they're so threatened, right? Like Caitlyn Jenner, Woman of the Year, right? That oh yeah, people. Men are the best that. women. Yeah, and then also I'll... think of it. So they, I've started noticing. I've been popping up into more and more. I've been tweeting out like a very general statement. So I'll tweet a photo of me looking like this and just go, "I'm, I'm a fucking dude, male. Let's yeah. go." <laughs> and then I pop up into like that. Just gets retweeted the fuck out of. So I ended up on like turf Twitter, and if they don't like trans women co-opting womanhood. They fucking hate me, dude. <laughs> He's like, I am a guy. <laughs> I got a video. Because yeah, you're like, because I am a guy I'm and I'm co opting chick shit. Yeah. I, got, I got a huge video idea for, for you. I only want 2% of the money you're going to make. You, okay. you do a music video. You do a music video. Anything you can do, I can do better. And you're, oh. you're singing along. Oh. And, and every time it cuts, and you've got, you've got like a feminist like, like Karen going, no, you can't. And you're like, yes, I can. And like every step of the way, every step of the way, you're no, in a you different do it in costume. A baritone. You're in a different costume. <laughs> that would be funnier. Yeah, you're in like a different costume or a different like outfit outdoing the woman, like beating her at like, I don't know, being a police officer or, or, or a trash man or whatever you want to do, like like different funny outfits. That part you have to come up with. But the the anything you can do, I can do better ideas. I'm willing to consult on this project. And anything, <laughs> I'll just watch gets, afterwards. I'm down. I, it's 10 million views easy. It's 10 million oh, yeah. views easy. The only, yeah. the only thing with that is I'm going to get, I'm in a bit of a weird spot where people, people do just see me as trans without giving an explanation. So that's why I've started mm -hmm. doing just tweeting or putting in my titles of everything like, dude. So like clearly defining. Because otherwise, why? and it's, well, because what happens is if I say something, and I'm seen as trans, and I've got this big platform. People think that I'm speaking for trans women, and I am not because I'm. Are, I don't. I'm not part of the group. Yeah. I'm not in the in group for that. So but I you can't don't really, really do like you... politics stuff. You're mostly like gaming and goofing around. No, nah, like, I, I stay away from it. Are you sure you don't find womanhood a little attractive? Like the womanhood or it? women? What do you mean? Like womanhood. being a woman? Yeah, I think he likes I, the money. So the, I'm stuck <laughs> on this. I'm stuck on this. We what, were in the attention? PKA hangout. You know the monthly thing. Oh, I have to say mm -hmm. that. And uh, um, we're going to say that you remember that I don't. <laughs> you were saying that as soon as you start taking female hormones, that all these great things start happening to you. Your well, hair don't gets take thicker, it. your fat redistribution gets better, your skin gets smoother. Like a, there was a lot of stuff that I like didn't consider high priorities. Hmm. The thing that happens is I don't so I don't take them. This is just like everyone oh, wants that. me to. Yeah, everyone yeah. wants me to take them. So I always get all the uh, <laughs> I always get like the. Like here's all the great things, and then they don't mention like ah, your dick stops working a little bit. <laughs> like this, you know. Oh, oh that's not a big deal. We, I you mean, we're sponsored by a product that. that'll take care of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have bought that up in an hour. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, there's, there's there's downsides to it. I mean, also, mm -hmm. you know what's weird about HRT? It was like how it's not cheap, but it's affordable. Like it's um, I think it's like five hundred bucks a year, maybe seven hundred bucks a year, and you can just like mm -hmm. be a woman. It's, yeah, really. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's cheaper I, I mean, than I would have guessed. Well, I mean, it's, it's the same thing with testosterone. It's it, yeah, it's just as cheap is, to go the other way. How huh. much is testosterone? I don't know. I get like a a discount. Um. So and I and I buy in like three to six month chunks. So it's kind of hard to say exactly. I, I pay a couple hundred dollars every six months or so. What's the roughly. super expensive? Is HGH the one that's like really pricey? Oh yeah, that's what like, uh, that's how the Liver King got into that crazy $16,000 a month like mm. regimen, right? Yeah, a big HGH. portion of that is pharmaceutical grade human growth hormone. And I, I specify pharmaceutical grade because you could go to like an underground lab and probably save 95% or whatever. Like it's, it's it was wild yeah. to me to see that he was getting that all above board um, oh, dude, but a, he was raking doctor. in tens of millions of dollars, like with his supplements and programs. Supposedly, Apparently, supposedly, you know, supposedly, it, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why everybody's down on the guy other than like, it seems weird that he feeds those kids ground beef, but I don't you have to be a, fuck. a fucking retard to not realize that guy is on gear. All right. Yeah. To be genuinely like at first I was like, well, if you like you, if you lift at all, you should be able to see through this. I, I looked at another photo of him again. And it, no, there's no excuse as an adult no. human 
to look at him and not understand that he's those people like, believe in fairy tales juice those are, to the gills it's so those, impressive those, those, on it though right surely yeah he's really impressed his physique is unbelievable like yeah. he's huge yeah, yeah it, it's not that like like anybody that takes it i don't know about i, I think they're real i mean i don't he's, know he's what juiced up but like his body's real like he's the abs are fake he can't I, relax I thought, we, I thought that was debunked did we debunk? I'm gonna I'm gonna say that about things I, I, I just disagree I, did with. You watch that, was, that, was, that was already debunked. Nah, well, Where's well, your I source? Watched, Shut up. I need to I find the sleep. video where he said he can't relax his abs. And at this point, he works them out while he sleeps at night and shit like that. And I, and yeah, that's pretty. That's that's a red flag. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's crazy. That's crazy watch. talk. They. I think that they're implants behind the muscle to make the muscle stand out and always be prominent, in conjunction possibly with lipo. To, uh, around the muscle to, to contour it and sculpt it um, because like abs are weird like like um, you have to be so goddamn lean and like big to, to to get the abs that he has like like when I'm at my leanest my abs are like kind of sharp and like protrude out but they're not these big wide bands he's got these big wide weird bands of muscle there that are mm -hmm. just always bulging out it's uh it's pretty wild and like Taylor said, it's it's crazy that I knew about the liver king and I knew he ate liver, but I didn't know that he was pretending to be natty. Like that's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, that like, was I, the only reason, yeah. like, I thought he was like, yeah, cool. steroids and liver. That's how you get like this. Like, okay, believable. <laughs> believable. <laughs> yeah, how much on, liver? Because on, <laughs> on much my liver? radar, he just shot up. Like I didn't know him at all three months ago, and then all of a sudden he's like the center of my social media world. It was he Andrew mm -hmm. Andrew tated me. You guys yeah. do, do you guys use like TikTok or anything like that? No, no I don't have one. I don't I don't, oh, my phone. I was listening to you guys talk about the 80s and the 90s going like I know the latest TikTok memes. I kind of like <laughs> well, I'm a zoomer, I don't fit it. But there's a yeah, everyone's TikTok's wild. For like a good year, I was completely against using it. Uh and it's fucking crazy. But the num the follower numbers, they're like the good way I've heard it put is that they're like grains of sand. They don't matter, but there's so fucking many people. You can't yeah. transfer them to other platforms, but it's not uncommon to find just like a random girl with 10 million followers. Like it's that's it's crazy. very easy to get big. And on it's that like I, someone who was on the show told us like how badly it's monetized, right? Where it's, it's like really fractions yeah. of a penny per yeah, thousand it, people or something, so something ridiculous. What they do instead of what so what YouTube do is they have advertisers and they pay a percentage out of each ad that someone sees. What TikTok decided to do is while they were a little smaller than they were, they just said, right, we make a hundred billion a year, whatever it is. We'll put aside one billion and then it will just put that in a pot each year and just divide it. But then they never changed it really, where more mm. creators, more viewers, so everyone's like slowly getting less and ah. less money. Uh, I think they're changing it because YouTube Shorts just fucking did it, did it, did it better. But yeah, I, yeah, I don't I, even I, have a, an account. YouTube Shorts, I watch too many of. It can't Agreed. be good for my like attention span. I think it makes me worse as a human. But here I am, like, oh, here's a comedian with a joke. I'll yep, watch. TikTok's TikTok's worse do, for that. Do you guys so ever like addicting. accidentally go a few seconds without some form of media? Never. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, you ever I, like start to make yourself a sandwich and you're like, oh, I should be listening to spitting chicklets or something. Like, yeah. to... There's someone doing their dishes listening I, to us right now. I like, think, yeah. Yeah. Hey, how's that yeah. plate coming along? Yeah, I think the only time I don't have anything is when I'm with my dogs and I'm just like hanging out with them and talking to them. And, and I guess they're filling in for anything else. But yeah, I like something going all the time because, mm -hmm. um, you know, I spend a lot of time by myself. And uh, I would go crazy if it was just dead silent all the time. Like every creek would scare me. You ever, if you've ever <laughs> been in a place alone, like if you've ever lived alone, I should say. Yeah. Um, after a while, like, you know, you become a grown up and you're not afraid of the dark anymore. But sometimes you hear a noise and you're like, man, what the fuck was that? <laughs> you know, like, like actually, what the fuck was it? And you start sitting, you like sit up in bed, start doing the math yeah. about like, like, like. Dude, right, that was well, a, had, that was like a big part. It had like, to be big. <laughs> like part of leveling up in adulthood is like now when I hear a bump in the night or like a creak or like a house settling sound, like zero percent of me is like, 
<gasps> intruder. The entire worry is like, oh no, is there an expensive problem happening somewhere <laughs> in the house? Is a pipe bursting? Is a right? beam cracking? <laughs> like, is there something going? I hope Please, it's just if there's bandit. another burst pipe, just kill me in my bed. <laughs> just break in and kill me. <laughs> I hope it's not water rot. I hope it's a murderer. <laughs> I have a couple of my faucets right now, just like. Like I had a, a plumber I, I'm I'm friends with tell me to like, you know, because it's like my it's like minus five here right now. It's like my it, it's unbelievably cold. We're like on the line of that that storm, and I don't want another burst pipe. And so I have like back three of my faucets just tiny drips right now. Because he told me he's like, you know, it's not if you care about wasting water. I'm like, I don't. He's like, okay, well then just like drip your faucets throughout the night. Because you know it doesn't need to be much. The smallest amount of drip, just as long as there's movement of water through it, nothing will happen. And so I've got <laughs> three, four faucets just <laughs> running Zach, right now. Zach, can you pull up um, the Weather Channel's forecast for uh, for tonight's weather across the 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 United yeah. States? Can, can you there, guys hear this? Like on my, can you hear like the wind whistling? Negative. It, it is so fucking loud. Like Dude. it, it's unreal. I hope I don't. So so I just did this six thousand mile motorcycle. Your hair's tremendous. And I got you're just home. looking at me, aren't you? You're not even li- what he's telling. A well, nice I mean, you story, started like this. adjusting your fucking hat, or if I see if I see you like adjusting some stuff. I think you know I'm trying it's to. It's gonna be a good yeah. season finale when you guys talk. <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna be> <laughs> <great>. <laughs> Dude, so the weather now outside, like it's cold, it's raining, raining occasionally hard, where you can see the individual raindrops in midair, and they come to the ground with a splash in the puddles. And it's just like the weather outside is frightful, <laughs> but I'm inside. My motor ride is done. <laughs> it's warm. We had a fire cooking in the kitchen and it, it is just so nice to not be in. Can you find, mess. can you find the one that's like later on tonight with the temperatures? It's going to be very, very cold. Is it cold in Europe right now? You guys are having a tough winter I, too, right? I consider ourselves different to Europe. We're better. Uh, there's, there's, it's okay. It just <laughs> rains you? and it's gray a lot. Oh no, we're in Europe, which is not in the EU. I just don't like consider. I don't like grouping myself in with those people. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're a Brexit person. Is that what? It is? No, no, I'm just, I'm just fucking. I don't like considering myself in with the French. Uh, but they're like, <laughs> I'm with that. No, they're, uh, it's it's okay. It's just it's just cold and rainy and gray. It's just business as usual, really. Just a little more. So I'm trying to get to America. So it still? doesn't even okay, snow that much there, right? It does. It does the even worse thing where it's like it just frosts, so everything's just slippery and shitty, but equally as cold. Oh, but so it's not even snow, pretty. So it's not even. Yeah. <laughs> so CNN, the- C- CNN was calling this a once in a generation storm. <laughs> I was in Oklahoma City, like be a bit dramatic, <laughs> two, two days ago, and good God, now the temperature's three, three. That's not even a temperature. <laughs> that's that's not a, a thing that represents degrees. 13 in Atlanta and raining. This will be a fun night, huh? Look how much warmer it is in North Carolina. Ooh, minus What's four in minus? snow. It hasn't It'll gotten a... to you yet. The the pink. The, oh. the, look, this is what we were talking about. Yeah, uh, Tuesday. That's the magenta wave of evil. <laughs> how's, how's magenta weather map color? You never <laughs> see that. Dude, we need we're to way send... past blue and black. Right. I had, to, I had to Google the conversion. Twenty minus twenty six is minus thirty two degrees Celsius. What the fuck? Yeah, How's I, that dude, livable? Montana is so well, fucking not. cold. You go inside. <laughs> no, Jesus Christ, that's a you stay outside, you die. See, this minus is why the this is why the homeless problem is so bad over in San Francisco and L A. Look, look, look at them tonight. Just a, they're just but they throw on an extra blanket. They're fine tonight, Kill right? Him. The Oklahoma City homeless are hard motherfuckers. <laughs> Can you imagine Oklahoma City homeless versus San Francisco homeless? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, they I run those talking- San Francisco <laughs> homeless right out of the block. <laughs> Just three days ago, I was talking to Albuquerque homeless, and they're like, "Man, you look cold." <laughs> And I'm like, I look cold. Like, you guys have blankets. And you're, you're outside yeah. a gas station. Like, how do you stay warm? It, Wait, I just uh, checked, Kyle. It's 45 degrees in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't complaining. I wasn't complaining. I, what I was saying was it's going to be 14 tonight oh. and raining. Like, and those like, DoorDash people are going to be suffering. Oh, it's gonna be terrible for them. <laughs> Fuck them. It's a tip twenty um, percent. I'm gonna stop. T- I, I've stopped tipping DoorDash people because I feel like I'm doing my part to like let the uh, the economy and businesses adjust. We they should be paying a living wage to those people. So we need to stop tipping so that um, you know that'll adjust itself. That's so, so I'm doing true. my part. 
Yeah. I'm proud of you. <laughs> You're Dude, you saw, stand by I, your principles. I, I'm, I'm kidding, but I saw a, a, a Reddit video the other day where this people didn't tip, and this uh, driver pulls up, and she's like, no tip? And they're like, well, you know, it's no, no fucking tip? Really? And like Short slings testing. their food across their fucking yard. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God damn. I mean, you should, this is America. You should leave a tip always. Why? Because it's our culture. Like, you got to help them out. That is not our culture at all. Our culture, uh, our culture, uh, look, I, I, I grew up tipping people and seeing people get tipped. My father was always a very generous tipper. Still is. <laughs> Still, I guess. Start talking I guess. about your dad is past tense. I'm like, oh my god, did something tragic happen in the last week? <laughs> but um, um, like, like when yeah, they, he stopped tipping. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's done. he's done. But but like, if they don't, if they provide adequate service, that is not a tip. You don't get a tip for like one. It, it's like Steve Buscemi said it best in that fucking like in in uh in, in uh what Reservoir, Reservoir Dogs. Dogs. If you go above and beyond, you get a tip. A tip is a bonus. It is a cherry on top. If it otherwise, include it in the goddamn price. Leave a dollar so, on the table. <laughs> I'll, look, I'll give you my fucking dollar because you're paying for my food, but you're not going to change my mind about this shit. Tiniest fucking violin and all if that shit. I, I agree with prompt it. prompt service, then you tip them. Something We're, I well, will. Well, now we've moved to a restaurant rather than a DoorDash employee who drove oh. to like. Fucking okay. Zaxby's or something. Let me let me come but, to the table here and meet you halfway because I'm a hundred percent in favor of tipping for delivery people, waiters, waitresses, that shit. The whole like like if I go to pick up chicken wings and like I drive to the store to pick it up, I will not tip then. I drove there, I'm picking up a thing, there's the tip line on it, but it's like, am I I'm gonna tip five dollars for what am I tipping you? The yeah, what am I tipping operator? you? Just yeah. like what? So it's that in that. Oh, that's instance, very common yeah, here. They're getting greedy. That's very foreign so, to me. So here's Never what they do: you'll you'll go into like a a, a, a kebab place. I, I Starbucks is a good example. I don't go there because I make good coffee, but but like I go to this uh, pita place and like they it's one of those places where they like shave that big hunk of meat and everything. Anyway, Ooh. they just hand you your food and then they like flip an iPad around and it's like you want to tip twenty percent, thirty percent, or forty five percent, and I'm like. I'm not tipping you any fucking thing, dude. Like, yeah. what did you just do? You didn't even make the goddamn food. He cut. He, he's the one that like carved it off the thing. That dude put it in the box, and this is the guy who told me it was ready. You just you didn't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck you. You're getting is nothing. That, I've always heard like, have you ever like on Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares or something? A lot of those restaurants just put it into the restaurant or something. Like, it doesn't go sure. to one guy. Is that a thing? That's kind of, that's uncommon. illegal. That happens, but it's considered like stealing in bad I, form. It's against mm. the law. Yeah. Yeah. What well, you can't mm. take waitresses tips. Uh, and that usually becomes a fiasco when, when they do that shit. Yeah, and I think, I think they got it, in trouble for it. It may vary from state to state, but the thing about waitresses is they don't get paid real minimum wage for some reason. Mm. Usually they're getting they their like their $2 an wage. hour or yeah. like $3 an hour or maybe even yeah. less. And because they're expected to make so much on tips. And if I go to a diner, I'm thinking of a diner specifically where like she's coming back and forth with coffee because, man, you're getting tipped well. Like, like yeah. you could easily get a $15, $20 tip on scrambled eggs and bacon or something if you've just been kind and like, you know, I'm probably there because I'm up too yeah. goddamn early. Like, your you're nice full. to me. Yeah, you keep the coffee coming. Like, like mm. you could easily get a $15 or $20 tip, but I'm not going to tip that goddamn pizza guy who's not even a real pizza guy, all right? Like, like, like back mean? in the day, there was a guy who, his job was- Are you was saying he's not delivery. Italian enough? Is, are you whoa, being racist? Whoa, 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 what hey. were you talking about here? <laughs> <laughs> Tony Baloney's not Italian enough? <laughs> <laughs> He's oh, calling us pizza people. That's oh. that's our word. <laughs> that's, that's... I think tipping tipping here feels like I think how it should be. You know, like whenever when when I give someone like a good tip, like uh, I don't know, like I don't know what the equivalent would be. Like so, the, I always tip the girl that does my nails and the girl that does my eyelashes, and that's like a that's Me met too. with like, whoa, are you sure you don't have to? <laughs> like like for. A, not that much. Like if it costs like fifty dollars, I'll do like ah, I'll take three twenties. You know, like it, it's wild. Nice. So like, <laughs> I like if I I would totally be that fucking goober ass American who went to Europe and like was tipping because I would 
Like I'm so trained at restaurants that that is what you do to well, a server. A like honestly, if a server is absolute dog shit, I'm like you bitch, fucking fifteen percent. <laughs> <laughs> so like 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 really? it has to be. I've not tipped. I think twice in my life, and You're one wild, of the man. times was because. Mm-hmm. They literally did not bring me the food I ordered. They didn't like tell me stuff wasn't available. They they like took my order right, and then came back twenty your... minutes later and mm-hmm. said we don't actually have that. <laughs> like you've got to adjust that. You've got to adjust that because that's that's way too much. Look, if they're decent, I, at least minimum twenty percent. If they're I, I, decent, I, I read something the other day. Someone was pointing out that because every time we see a spider, we fucking stomp it out. We are uh, we're making spiders become sneakier. So we're just we're forcing spiders to become sneakier and more reclusive. The same thing's true with lazy waitresses. If you tip mm-hmm. a dumb, shitty waitress who smells bad or something, she's just gonna go on being a waitress, thinking she can cut it in this world and not adjust her like hygiene and her like um, I don't know like like her skills as a waitress. Right, you're gonna have I like stinky Kyle's waitress. Darwinism yeah. eugenics yeah. <laughs> pie, a policy. This is good. I had a waitress no, that it, I think logically it makes sense. I it's once just, had I a waitress. Mean. I once had a waitress. I probably told this story before, but it's been so long ago that I can barely even remember. But I remember we were at an Outback Steakhouse, a fine restaurant, and mm-hmm. and, and our around. waitress had either stepped in shit or shat herself. One hundred percent. Hopefully the former. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It smelled like dog shit, and that, that was the conversation my girlfriend and I were having. Well, I was like, that smells like dog shit to me. I don't think it's people poop. That's the and best she, kind of shit you could hope for in that situation. And, and my girlfriend was like, but it's so strong. It's like it's coming out of her, not just off of her shoes. And I'm like, maybe she eats dog food. Maybe she eats <laughs> dog food and she shit herself. What would and you recommend, we- ma'am? Uh, a big bowl of Alpo. This <laughs> is what I yeah. enjoy. But like on top of that, I remember it was poor service. I've had poor service at an Outback, an Outback twice where I've made a scene. Um, at one- Outback Steakhouse, no less. <laughs> like, 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 like maybe I'm white trash, but I used to live really close to a white, uh, a, um, uh, an Outback, and I like their steak. Maybe they, I'm know. white trash, but I used to live in a trailer park. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like y'all are making fun of my Outback Steakhouse trip. But, the, but but that, I'm not fine, with Taylor on that. I, <laughs> Dude, I think right? Outback and Red Lobster are both the bomb, and they get ripped on for no reason. I don't know why they get ripped on. They're acceptable. Red, Red Lobster gets ripped on justifiably. They don't. I don't have know who you fucking crabs. millionaires and billionaires are out there that every night you're hitting up a different five star restaurant and spending three hundred dollars a plate. Red Lobster is not cheap. They charge just as much for the fucking crab, and there's and you break it open, and sometimes it's like, was there a ghost crab living here? Where's the meat? <laughs> There is got to mine already. That bread is priceless. <laughs> and the bread, the bread does. My dad did the, that. The bread one does time. all the heavy lifting. <laughs> my, my dad's food showed up. The waitress, the waitress came, said, "How's everything look?" He says, "Looks like somebody got to mine already." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, your your dad and my grandpa would get along so well because my grandpa is like a Southern Missouri farmer, and like he, when he goes out to eat, like. He will make clear what he thinks, not in a rude way, just in like a matter of fact, country fella. And this woman came out at this. We went to a steakhouse a few years ago and it was an expensive ass steakhouse. And he ordered a a meatloaf from this really nice steakhouse we were going to because he just likes it. And she brought it out and gave it to him. He had like a couple bites and she came out later and was like, how is everything? Like picking up all of our finished trays and like seeing his not eating hardly. And he's like, shit. I'd rather have a dip of skull than what you just gave me. <laughs> As he was putting skull in, and I'm like, damn, like, you, you, I, I know he's telling the truth because he's not a picky man. He was eating fucking pig feet in the 30s or whatever the fuck. Like, I, I went <laughs> in, the 30s. <laughs> yeah, in, the, in the 20s. He was born in 1906. He's 116. I went to Outback once. So I had that time where the waitress smelled like poop. Oh. And it was also bad service. And I, I talked to a manager about her. I said, I, I said, look, I don't want to embarrass her. I lowered my voice. I was like, she smells really bad. And I bet you know that. And maybe you can't do anything about it, but it's repulsive to me. I was like, I'm not going to eat now. I was like, my waitress smells like poo, sir. And like went through that whole thing with him. That I wasn't all that mad about because it seemed like somehow or another they had hired a homeless lady and they didn't know it until it was too late. But then another time I went there and I sat next to the bar and nobody wanted to wait on me. The lady gave me my menu and sent me to the table, like the, the hostess. And then I saw the waitress because, like, I could see through the bar mm-hmm. into the back area. 
I could see them like look at us, my 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 lady friend and I, and then like say something to one another and then sort of go their separate ways, but not towards me. And a long time went by. 18, 19 minutes, something like that it's went by. A long by. time. You're so and they haven't, I don't have I don't have a drink. I don't I haven't I haven't spoken to anybody. I'm just sitting there with this goddamn menu like i don't know what they ha serve at outback steakhouse oh is there a new <laughs> blooming onion like, get the fuck out of here so eventually i'm like piping mad and uh um and i'm talking to her i'm trying to get her to be like to slow me down i'm like this is bullshit she's like this is bullshit and i'm like <laughs> so, I, so now I'm, she's given me like permission to go off now right and mm, i'm just like that. so the next time they walk by i go because they've been walking past me, like these waitresses, like three, mm -hmm. four of them, because that's what it takes to run an outback. And they have to go past me to get in the kitchen. So she walks past and I went, hey, <laughs> she goes, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm here. You didn't see me. I know you saw me because I saw you talk to that redhead over there, point at us and say something 20 minutes ago. She's like, oh, have you not been served? He's like, you know I haven't. I want the manager now. She's like, what? what? I want a manager. I want the manager! <laughs> and she's like, whoo! And she goes and like gets the manager, and I like go through a whole thing. He's And and he's like, uh, uh, I was like, she doesn't want to uh, wait on me. She has some kind of personal problem with us. I don't know. Like, like and I look at my girlfriend, I'm like, do y'all know each other? Like, is there something I don't understand here? Like, like I know they don't, but I'm yeah, saying, huh? I'm putting a little performance for the manager, and I'm just like, <laughs> She doesn't want to help us. I was like, could you please, sir? We're really hungry. We've been here for 20 minutes, and this lady doesn't want to help us at all. She's, she won't. And he's like, she's like, I will. I was like, no, you don't. And no, you can't anymore. And finally, he like assigns <laughs> us like a new waitress who's like being great. And mm -hmm. I tipped her a hundred fucking dollars <laughs> and I, because I, I hated that woman so fucking much. I hated that woman so fucking much. There's nothing that makes me madder than like, tip. <laughs> than like, I don't know, being disrespected for no reason. Like, like mm. I don't, I'm not asking for a lot. Just bring me my Coke. Just talk mm. to me. Like, like, like I, I didn't like being ignored at an Outback Steakhouse, and I was ready to fight over it. If the manager <laughs> had, had not come back and said good things, we could have fought at Outback. It could have gone that, 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 like, quite It fast. wouldn't be the first fight at Outback. It wouldn't be. No, it wouldn't. It'd be my first fight at an Outback. I haven't been in a yeah. fight so goddamn long. What's yeah. it, I, I think oh, Taylor's last. I don't, don't want to get in a fight ever again. Was, was the last time you even had anything physical when you like picked that dude up at the, at the college <laughs> the parking, parking lot? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When I removed that that miscreant from the <laughs> uh, the parking spot, and that wasn't a fight. It was just me picking up a, a college kid and moving. Yeah, him. but you know, it was a physical on. altercation, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like did at he no point were we at all, or did was he just like a... <laughs> he like he kicked a little bit <laughs> like, like, like when i like, when he, when i picked him so basically here's the story this was like years like probably 6 years ago now uh <clears throat> me and my dad and my stepmom were all driving down to Mizzou University of Missouri uh to watch a Mizzou football game you know SEC school so you know very big football culture there and we were all driving down there and I was sleeping in the car the whole way. And my dad, stepmom, like we're driving through this parking garage on campus and it's like getting clear. Like we're like seven levels up and it's like, oh, no, because like every bit of road is taken. Like it's like we would have to drive miles and miles away and like Uber back to the campus because it's that, you know, it's SEC school. And we pull up on like the eighth level and there's just an empty spot in front of us with a, a trash can in it. And this like gangly, probably six two to six three, like skinny white guy, frat guy, clearly. And I stop there, and my dad like kind of wakes me up, like I'm just now waking up, and he's like, "You think Taylor? You think that spot's open?" And I was like, "The, the one with the guy in it? <laughs> I don't know, maybe." And my dad's like, "Taylor, go ahead and move that guy." And I love this. I love this. Taylor's <laughs> sleeping in the car. They can't find a spot. There's a kid protecting the spot for his frat. And dad's like, awaken the murka. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He just like instructed me. And before I knew it, I was I was listening because he's my dad. And in the minivan, yeah. so the side <laughs> door slides <laughs> open. <laughs> Taylor went to Yeah. And so he tells me, he's like, uh, go move that kid so we can park there. And so, <laughs> and so I got out and I was like, hey, like trying to be courteous. And I was like, hey, is that spot taken? Like do, giving him like the out situation so that he could ideally, if it's like, you know, a society, he would go, ah, 
jigs up. Yeah, it's open. Like, that's what I genuinely thought would happen. Because like, that's what I would have done if I were in his position. I'd be, like, telling my frat brothers, like, yeah, I'll, I'll watch the spot. But if push comes to shove, I'm not getting in a fight over a spot. Like, I'm going to leave and then tell them that a, a security guy made me leave. Like, something easy like that. Yeah. But this guy was a tart. And so I said, hey, is that open? You know, we're looking to park somewhere. And he goes, I'm saving it. And I was like, that's uh, that's not happening. Like, that's not how this works. You can't save spots. And he was he kept like saying, I'm saving it. I'm saving it. My frat brothers told me to save it. And so I'm walking over to the space now. And he's like holding this trash can like on the ground, like a just plastic trash can, kind of like a cone. And I was like. Object. <laughs> let's move this man like we're gonna park here it's gonna happen and i was trying to keep it a little light and i like grabbed, <laughs> and i grabbed the trash can and i'm a you know I'm, I'm a decently strong guy and i yanked it from him and he tried to like <laughs> grab it back and pulled it back towards him. and i was like no and i yanked it harder and I, I stole the trash can from him and then i moved it over to the side and he went over and tried to grab the trash can again, like drank it again and like made clear, like you're not getting the fucking trash can back. And then he ran, <laughs> then he ran his skinny body back into the middle of the, the parking space and like did something like this as though this would make him heavier. Like, <laughs> like, and then that like, made him easier to pick up. more dense. And like this whole time, like my, <laughs> like there's like now people behind my dad in the parking garage. And I'm like looking back to like get his like approval where I'm like, are we are you still on board for this? And my dad's like, move him. And so then <laughs> and so then I went up behind the guy and I grabbed around him like bear hug and then just leaned back and picked him up <laughs> and dragged him to the side of the space. My dad starts pulling in. I let the guy go. He runs right in front of my dad's car halfway into the space. And so I had to go pick him up again <laughs> and then and then moved him and I held him until my dad was actually out of the car. And uh the guy the, the guy was like bitching bitching and moaning oh i'm gonna be in so much trouble i remember that now i remember it he kept saying i'm gonna be in so much trouble i'm gonna be in so much trouble and i remember saying like dude you're like i was you know i had just picked him up and moved him but i remember also saying like you're not gonna be in trouble man like it's fine like you're i know like it's fine like i wanted to tell him like you're a frat brother this this problem in your mind's eye right now is not real He's a like pledge, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I know you're a pledge, and you're gonna like have to drink a bunch of vodka tonight. Oh God forbid! <laughs> like <laughs> you're gonna have to get drunk before a football game. But yeah, fuck that guy. Piece of shit. Um, Are you that, sure that's you're not, right? I'm a hundred percent right. You cannot save spaces in a public lot like that. It's rude. It's disrespectful. It shows a total disregard for the social contract of parking. I I I, I, I acknowledge me? your confidence, but I'm still not sure that you're right. I I, I, I feel like you can save wrong. spots. I remember at movie theaters, all that you're not to stand in a spot. My mother would like we get like four seats next to each other. I'm from a family of four, and then like someone else would go get candy, and they'd be like, "Is that seat taken?" Yes. You know, my husband's getting candy for the family. He'll be back mm -hmm. in a minute. It just seemed like a social construct, and everyone respected it. You could just put your coat on the seat and people would be like, ah, that seat must be reserved for someone who's not with them at the moment. And then when you I in my mind, I would just extend this to a parking lot. If someone stood in a spot saying like, ah, oh, this guy will be here for in a second. He's turning around. Mm. Whatever. No, no. In a parking lot, it is first come, first serve. It is such an important Especially part of how situation. parking works, because once you open that door and now everyone can just reserve stuff, people are just going to have cones and spots like people. Not, there was a that human in the spot. Yeah, uh, they're briefly a light. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that but, little, but think, little of, think about what kind of human it was. He was the most disposable. He was used. He was being used as a parking yeah. cone. He was a disposable human who had no choice. He was being ordered to stay there by his frat brothers. That's what happened. Yeah, they were like, "You stay here." <laughs> like, like, I bet he got in trouble. <laughs> I, I bet he did get in a little bit of trouble. But that's again not my fault. Not my problem. Oh, he's that kid that died of like being forced to drink all that water that year. God. I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> this is a water sickness kid. Remember, you you see that every now and then, where I guess it's a it's a hazing ritual to force those guys to drink a ton of water, and uh, they, they after a while you die of what, oh, water yeah. sickness or something. Uh, your your blood gets I too hydrated or something. The, one of the frats I, I, at Mizzou my freshman year got like kicked off for a couple of years because some pledge brother got hit in the face with a shovel during like oh. some kind of initiation. And it's like this isn't. Cool. This isn't a prank, guys. Like you're just attempting to murder someone. We call it Shovel Face someone. Fridays. <laughs> yeah, Taylor, I googled it. I googled it. The top result says you're wrong. The next like five say you're right. So state based, maybe. Yeah. So I'm right.
Wait, wait, what? There's a law about saving spots? Yeah, Zach, there... put, Zach put in the chat, it's illegal to save a parking spot in NYC streets. So That I Googled. I, I saw that on Google, too. That's it is. It's illegal entirely. And it We're doesn't matter if it's legal or not. It's about consideration. To be clear. So, so what I think you might have to lean on the rules of a of that private parking deck, right? Or was it a university deck? It's a university parking lot, so it'd uh, be like to, a state of Missouri one, I guess. So you'd have to see what the state of uh, Missouri, Missouri State fucking uh, athletic parkings. But rules the law are. shouldn't come into it at all. The legality doesn't matter. It's just a simple parking, act of consideration lots and are common private courtesy. Property. So parking Mar lots are private, par private property. If you're in a, like a Walmart or whatever. So like when you even when you have like a car accident out there, it's kind of weird to like get the police involved. Mm -hmm. um, I know like not too long ago, I was part of a car accident in a fucking uh, parking lot, and the cops were just like, "This is private property. It's kind of a private dispute. You said you did this. He said he did that. I don't know. I'll write both things down if y'all want. You know, there's like really yeah. nothing they can fucking do." Taylor, That's almost every link says you're right, except the first one, which is weird yeah. that the top results the anomaly. But Dude, M Missouri slowly joining the ranks of the cool kids states. I think we're up there with the coolest kids because we have the now we have legal weed and we also have the most mm. ridiculously like open gun laws of any state in the country. Really so we get yeah. all the good gun laws and all the weed. Who else is up there with Missouri and Oklahoma regard? might have like all right, they don't have the cool weed like you, though. I think maybe they got that like, medical like, like uh, yeah, you, you may be the kings of freedom in Missouri now. I think so. I think there might be, there's some crazy shit that I've heard about in Texas where they're trying to say that, um, like, like uh, they don't require tax stamps to, to have suppressors and create suppressors, and that's a whole, like, pickle of its own thing. Texas is always trying to it's stretch. It's a federal the, thing, right? Am I crazy? Yeah, but it, it, it is a federal thing, but Texas is stay, saying... Nah, it's a Texas thing. <laughs> I, I like. Did you I, make that suppressor in Texas? Yes, I did. You gonna shoot it in Texas? Sure, I am. <laughs> well, sounds good to me, son. <laughs> I can barely hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what Texas is kind of saying, or at least. Kyle, your mic went out. Oh, no. but yeah, I, Texas <laughs> is bold that way, and that they, I don't know, they they like to stand on their own. They don't yeah. consider themselves necessarily. You're allowed to open carry American. swords there, right? do anything the magic <laughs> country magic you carry swords almost <laughs> anywhere here so like especially if you, all right so now we've got constitutional carry in a lot of places which maybe everywhere right which what basically that means mean? that you can carry your fucking gun without a permit open that, carry yeah yeah uh, no concealed mm -hmm. carry wait you think that's common concealed carry is like without a permit my understanding was that's what constitutional carry means right I mean, you might be right. I'm, I'm not. I have, I have real low confidence. I, I could just be thought wrong you needed too. a concealed carry I, permit. I thought that recently there was a thing about um, constitutional carry um, that that happened, and uh, obviously it's not on the top of my news list because it doesn't really pertain to me. Mm. But I thought <laughs> anybody could just fucking ooh permitless carry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh, and Georgia has it. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm. That's really popular. Like, that's a lot of country. Or, I'm sorry, states. Yes, sir. What is the red one? I, I can't read the. It's small permitless carry for residents only. Okay. Which is a which is you know makes some sense, I suppose. Yeah. They're they're not even the best Dakota. <laughs> they're not. They're this is the second best Dakota. They're closer would to you, Canada. Makes. Want to go to a Dakota without a landmark? <laughs> <laughs> I told oh. someone from South Carolina recently that they were from the second best Carolina, and they agreed with me. No, like, they totally yeah, are. That's true. At least they're not the second best Virginia, because that place is the shithole of America. Everybody gives Alabama a hard time and just ignores West Virginia. And it must be because there must be like, does the interstate go around West Virginia so that the <laughs> so that the common folk don't ever have to see what a West Virginia? What's the is worst like? state? What's your West Virginia? State? West Virginia. West Virginia is one of like the poorest states, right? So I was in West Virginia for maybe three days. I went up there to find some mountain man that like invented bullets and uh, borrow his gun for a thing. And everybody there was so poor and ugly. They were poor and ugly. <laughs> I remember I, I've told this story before, but we Love went this. into a Walmart to get like gear to make a video. And then and, and I was like, I don't know. I guess I noticed that like everybody in there was ugly and then we went to like this little steak restaurant that was like i don't know a stone's throw from the walmart 
and I the waitress was all had like a, a fucked up eye or something. And I was I, I was like, boys, I I think have y'all seen anybody that like you would like even want to see naked here? Like like they're these are the ugliest people I've ever seen. <laughs> like 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 if anybody I haven't seen anyone here that if they like whip the tit out, I would I, I would I wouldn't do anything but look away. <laughs> Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> And everybody was like, "There's a terrorist shit. here." We started looking around the restaurant, right? Because it's a little kind of a crowded place. Mm-hmm. It was a buffet, so people were up and down. <laughs> everybody there was hideous, and it was like really—you um, can tell when you're in a poor place. The roads are shittier. The the power lines, infrastructure is—they're all leany mm-hmm. and like splintery. You can tell that like these are forty-year-old power lines and power poles and stuff. Like, I don't know. That's what West Virginia is in my memory. New Mexico is a pretty scummy place as well. Um, I, I think that there are a lot of people in New Mexico who are very wealthy, who are enjoying like great, the great benefits of that state and have huge swaths of land. But outside of those people who are cool and have nice places, I saw such squalor there that I thought we must be driving past a movie set. I saw <laughs> lean twos and I saw a man walk out of one. And I was like, where are we? Yeah. There's <laughs> that in New Mexico is way colder than I expected it to be. Now, I know I just oh, drove through. It's yeah. like I live there or anything. But unbeknownst to me, the Rocky Mountains are quite wide. No one tells you this. No one knows this. No one knows how wide the yeah, Rocky Mountains are. It was just up are. and over. I drove across the Appalachian Mountains many times. It's kind of fun. You go up, you're over. It, it, it takes a couple hours. It's a blast. Yeah. Even the interstates are curvy if you go fast enough. It, it's cool. Rocky Mountains, they take days to drive through. It is yeah. a big deal. I, I, I'm i like, all right, I'm leaving the trailhead. Now I'll go downhill. It'll start getting warmer. Like 16 hours later, I'm still in the goddamn Rocky Mountains. The elevation is still 5,000 feet deep into New Mexico. I mean, it, it It's cold as heck in New Mexico. I didn't. I expected it to be a warm desert. It's not. Something about geography I want to ask Finn. So mm-hmm. I know you're in the UK. I don't know. If you're going to vacation in the UK, like, where do you go? Or do people right. in the UK not, like, go on vacation to other parts of the UK? They go to, like, France or Italy or something. Mm. Brighton, it's the only bit of the UK that's good. I don't care what anyone else says. There's, like, old bits of the UK that are really pretty, like, if you like old architecture and everything. But, oh, the only good city's Brighton. It's so cute. It's, like, one of those ones where they don't have, uh, there's no, you're not allowed to build skyscrapers. There's a limit to how high you can build. Oh, Every, okay. they, they built a, a tourist attraction there, which is just a big pole that takes you up. And everyone that lives there fucking hates it. And it's great to hear the residents talk about <laughs> yeah. it. Because it's this beautiful city and then a big pole, like right on the seafront. It looks so goddamn ugly. And it's called Brighton. Well, if I go to the UK, yeah. that's where I'll visit. Brighton. Yeah, there's some nice bits. It's, uh, so uh, do you live there? And if yeah. not, why not? I live in Birmingham. Actually, I was going to ask when you were talking about um, Birmingham is awful. If you, I know you've got some UK viewers, and they you all just went ooh at that <laughs> when I said Birmingham. But it's uh, when you guys were talking about fights. I wanted you to prove a point for me once. I've got a friend who lives in America, and he was uh, he's planning to come around to the UK, and he does a lot of traveling. And uh, he was talking to. I was saying how shitty Birmingham is. There's a lot of stabbings. Mm-hmm. Crime rates high. It's a little boring and cold. And um, he was, sa- I was like, yeah, you might get mugged, especially looking like me, you know, every, every so I might want to sure. fuck with you. So, and he's just so hyped up about the concept of maybe getting into a mugging. He's so excited about it because he genuinely <laughs> really? thinks he can win. Well, he's, <laughs> like, I mean, but he's if they an idiot. Knife, everybody, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, thank you. But they're definitely going to have, what, all right, if they don't have a knife, what the fuck do they have, right? Like, like, yeah. like they've got, always got a knife. They a hundred percent of the time have. What if they try to mug you with a rock? <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Dude, you're looking at I, something like a brick. <laughs> like, like, I'm, I'm a bigger rock. Can you imagine that? A guy's <laughs> just like, "Give me your money." <laughs> he got a fucking brick in his hand. Rock. He's got that rock. From brick. Like you call that a rock? This is a rock. <laughs> yeah, rock. Oi, bruv, I'm gonna fuck you up with this brick. <laughs> and mean, the police can be like, "You got your bricks license?" I, I don't <laughs> care who. Rocks. I don't. I don't care who it is. I can fucking I can win if I have a knife. If I've got a knife, I don't care who I'm going up against. If they don't have armor, I win. Yeah. Maybe what not if they also have a knife? What if they also have a knife? Do you feel like you're knife? Oh no, I'm then you both oh lose because you'll both get yeah. stabbed at least once. Everybody's yeah. seen the, that video the of the guys with the fighting knife. with sharpies in the t shirts. <laughs> Nobody wins a what knife. Wings made? <laughs> did, when did wings make that? Oh, that was a good yeah. video. Yeah, that that 
That taught I me a lot about it. sword I, fighting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, look, you can knock wings and his like <laughs> Wait, athleticism. What? Yeah, no, wings and another guy of comparable athletic prowess both grabbed Sharpies and decided to test that theory. And they tried to stab each other while wearing white t-shirts. No. Yeah. Oh, yes. And, <laughs> I didn't uh, see this. Yeah, we yeah. Can, we can and, play it right now. It, Please. It, it, I, I don't know. Zach, <laughs> I want to see this. Zach, let me know if you can find it. Uh, wait, wait, did Wings take down his channel or all his videos or something? Nah, that one's got to be up there. That don't worry, that one's been re-uploaded somewhere. That that one exists. He you can't channel. scour that off the internet. That, that, <laughs> I, I like the video. You can not. I like it too. There's nothing embarrassing about that athlete. video. It's one of his top 25 videos he's ever made. Because <laughs> it yeah. did it go? Did it go well? Sure, well, uh, I, I it bet it has 100,000 views. They, like, they oh. both genuinely tried to win, you know, which is to mark the other guy without being marked. And they kind of proved that it's pretty tough to do. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If you get in a knife fight, you get stabbed. Um, Dude, you, poor Wings. Like, I just, <laughs> just every time you search his name on YouTube, it's just like a sad story. Like, 18 hours ago, a Wings Tings video, 20K views, oh. and it's just a picture of him, like, sad. <laughs> and it says, there goes 150 hours of my life, and it's just called Wings of Redemption gets tested for COVID, pisses Kelly off, and loses his favorite Diablo character. Oh my <laughs> God. So, oh, how did he lose a Diablo character? I don't know, but it's like, uh, it cannot be healthy for him to be online like seeing this stuff. I understand why he <laughs> tries to avoid it because I, if this were oh me and God. I was like the the uh, person of interest, I would never go to these channels. I would be Holy like God. out of sight, out of mind. I don't want to even it, imagine how many people are laughing. A lot of at people me. might just say, "Hey, close your laptop, look away, etc." He's in the popularity business. He needs yeah. to be liked, or he needs to be interesting, and that's not the same as liked. But th th when th you're in that spot, you think you're in the popularity business. You're in the get everyone to like you and enjoy your content business. And so you can't just look away and not know what's happening, not know what people are thinking. Yeah. It's your job. I've mm -hmm. just searched that same thing, Taylor. It's You can keep scrolling. It's within one day. There's maybe 20 videos, and then you scroll through all of those, and then it shows this channel. <laughs> it's oh, like, oh, my God. It's That's a popular guy? Yeah, the, the amount of views some of these just the entire channel content is just reposting wings videos and like it's to... this guy's got four videos with 20,000 views in the last day <laughs> yeah dude the, uh, there's something with the uh, there's something with youtubers like that they get I, I mean, twitch streamers have you seen the market for twitch clips as well because that's mm. something that oh, dude I so a lot of people find me through clips so the, mm -hmm. a lot of people find me through random clips of streams and a lot of the thumbnails about me look kind of similar because they they sort of it's like mm -hmm. a mutual bullying between viewers and, and twitch chat <laughs> but all of mine are like fucking we made we we convinced finn to wear a bikini and it's man it's like it's me fucking sat in the thumbnail <laughs> something like that yeah, I, I, huh? you are uh I, I i have seen many of those posts that kyle was referencing and they always make me laugh where it'll be like check out this hot gamer girl and then mm. someone will be like nice and they'll be like it's a bro and they're like what and not even like trans it's like no he likes pussy dude now you're gay. <laughs> you know, we tricked you into being gay now. <laughs> uh, and you got me again. And then there's a huge meltdown, and there's an argument about sex. And then the true gender. alpha's being like, I yeah. don't care if he is a guy. I don't know. <laughs> oh, fuck it. That's a cute. Makes They're like, no, better. no, he doesn't like guys, though. I'll make him. <laughs> it's like, have you ever seen that old 4chan post where it's just the guy who's like, I'm straight, so anything that makes my dick hard is a woman. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you, i don't know if you ever use it but uh have you ever have you ever used 4chan much yeah a little, yeah I, i've been used on there it? yeah i've used, never posted it on 4chan it sound like it's editing software like well, yeah. well yeah are you familiar with the no i've never posted on 4chan that's where you get I your use 4chan. 4chan i used what <laughs> 4 <-chan? laughs> i just made a joke but yeah it is filled with is it not filled with child porn anymore I don't look for it. I wouldn't know. <laughs> if you go to slash B and scroll, that's... I'm getting the tutorial on how to find child porn. That slash B is like the big part of, at least back in the yours? day, that's where it uh, was. Like it, 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 it's for some reason B stands for random. I don't know mm -hmm. why. And uh, the, the, yeah. the one that's the, the, the worst one, 
I uh, now don't react too fast to this, but the absolute worst board on 4chan is LGBT. Uh, it's okay. full of people that are scary. I that's where you, all the ones on B or like uh, something like that. They're all just someone will post my photo and then it's a bunch of dudes jerking off together. But on LGBT, dude, it's like fuck. I've never been in like a cat fight before. Like it's just dude, they fucking tear you apart. Being a girl's fucking hard, man. They're, they're brutal. <laughs> it's so fucking. Four chan's known for being rough on girls. That was where the whole like. There was a theory that like a, a titch get the fuck out was like born on four chan, as far as I oh, know. Yeah. And and the whole thing is like, hey, in real life, girls have power because there's some remote possibility they might fuck you, but on the internet where you can't get fucked you mm-hmm. either show your tits or you have no value to me you can't come on here and just exercise pretty privilege because i don't give a fuck about your pretty privilege if you don't show me your tits so show your tits and go get the fuck out that, that came i don't from even fortune. know that power tits with timestamp <laughs> or gtfo mm. <laughs> everyone knows the rules on 4chan yeah I, I'm, I'm on poll right now just nothing out there just normal 4chan stuff like nazis are great and they're like i agree uh, that was the that was the acid guy on 4chan there was that one dude that kept he was in england and he kept threatening to throw acid in my face he was fun i miss him oh my <laughs> god no he doesn't sound fun no what um, a jerk well the, 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 at least so i think, <laughs> I, I think I, my language he he a sneaky poopoo head i don't yeah. need to go too far bit of a Even, good, no good nick a bit of a ruffian yeah <laughs> Even those guys didn't like it. Everyone was like, oh, there's the acid guy again. Like, <laughs> this kid, no one else was in support of this one dude, but he was in every thread. <laughs> Just one uh, guy making threads to... about you. Let me yeah. see. I bet I bet I can find a pick, a thread about you now. On you, Which dude. one? On B? On poll? Which board? Uh, it's a, usually, I don't know. It's on everything. There's like, um, I'm not posted there as much as I was because I think that, I, that I've had my moment in the sun there. But mm. oh my God, it, you the, the, the thing I used to do, which is massively unhealthy, and I highly encourage you to do it, is you can go in and search your name on a different website and it will search the entire site for any time someone mentions it. And it's oh. great. On 4chan? Yeah. I've what is the like... site called? <laughs> Do you want? I think it's find.4chan.org and you can type into a bar just anything. So if I type uh, in... Some like, things are better left find... unknown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine not knowing that. Kyle, you're would... muted. There was a, there was a uh, website called uh, Kiwi Farms, which was basically like... 4chan but completely unmoderated or something like that and i, mm-hmm. I think that's been yeeted now that's just completely gone because i think they they doxed and really fucked up some trans girl's life and then i saw, uh, I think I saw news like, about like, uh, their site and i like went to it and it has like the most aggressively bad ui and i was like <laughs> i don't even want to begin to know what this is about like i don't like there's no like, like when a html page breaks and you just get all the raw yeah. <laughs> it looks like that but it like it mostly was like oh it's you know making fun of internet personalities or lol cows and then yeah. like i saw like all the top ones and it's like i don't know who most of these fucking people are and it seems like you need like an odyssey level of backstory to understand like what the jokes they're even making mean like I, I, no thanks we were watching what are you talking about me on 4chan three days ago i huh. Nice. I'm a lot more relevant than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Was it something nice? Uh, I don't know. I didn't get is some video about me and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. I don't know. I didn't. Oh. I didn't dive deep. I, oh. Look, I just saw my name. I got the ego pump and left. That's <laughs> yeah, how you do it. <laughs> saw the name. Yes, the coolest community online knows who I am. <laughs> yeah, Zach. Yeah, Zach said I remember back in the day, things. like going to 4chan and like. It seemed to be more like, I mean, I never posted, but it was like more of a prank thing and like silliness and that kind of vibe. But like offending people who can't be offended, like, you know, the attempt, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Just trying what? to be offensive for the sake I don't of know being why offensive, Sharpies which can be funny. was a big thing. I'm not sure. I'm really out of date on my 4chan, but uh, putting Sharpies mm-hmm. in your butt was a, kind of a 4chan thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, that was Good a long to, time uh, ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a lot easier to say to put three sharpies in your butthole and send a picture than just write the number three. <laughs> what do you mean? Agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you watch Thirty Rock? Right, like like no, the, uh, never the, seen the old it. show. I did. You know yeah. Tina Fey is though, like yes. the, the actress yeah. who's in it. Sarah you ever Bay. notice the scar she has on her face? Yes. She you got knifed, right? 
She got knifed as a yeah. child. I read her Holy autobiography. Holy shit. That's yeah, so I, wa- I, I just started watching 30 Rock for, I think, the first time sequentially or like, like actually watching it. It's pretty good. It's a lot better than Parks and Rec, if you ask me. And um, I noticed she has that scar on her face. And they, they try to shoot around it as much as they can. But she's got kind of like a right here. Huh. She's got this big scar. And I, I Googled immediately. I was like, I, got, I bet there's a backstory. When she was like five years old, she was in her front yard and some man walked up and was like hey girl come here slash and like Whoa. slashed her face and ran away she's really <laughs> sensitive about it like she doesn't if she meets something like some people will just completely pretend it's not there and that's what she prefers some guys will think they're like i don't know breaking down the kind of like awkward barrier and they ask her like hey what happened to your face and right. to her <laughs> don't ask always that. a good question to ask anyone really <laughs> Right? Damn, she does look a lot like Sarah Palin. Doesn't she? Like yeah. d- spitting image, doppelgangers. Or actually, well, that, is there, how's that, that Sarah Palin that, holding that, up? Uh, to be fair, the, the the hair and the glasses do 80% of the work. Yeah, true. The glasses are big. But I feel like the face is doing work, too. Like in the body type, like she's really a there's good a, match. There's a line in Parks and Rec where they call her hatchet face. <laughs> oh. yeah because it's a it, i think it's an episode where like she hears someone call her a cunt behind her back and then she has this whole kerfuffle about eh, that's a word i don't like to be called and then they're like there's like this train of like insults that they throw at her comedically and one of them was hatchet face and i was like Ugh, maybe i'll call her that one like, like there was also a great episode where there's uh, tracy morgan is in the show and he's he's he's, he's might be the best part of the show and um there's a there's a, a character who's a writer who's a very like i don't know the only thing black about him is his skin i would say he's like a, a harvard graduate that's, that's all it like takes. very very uptight carlton it takes to be like a carlton kind of guy and uh um he he's reporting tracy morgan for calling him a ninja and yeah. uh he's like i was offended and like tracy and alec baldwin speaks up on tracy's behalf he's like I think that a lot of African Americans have taken that word back and taken a lot of the, the hurtfulness and the, the meaning away from it, and made it their own. And he's and and he's like, oh yeah, that that makes sense. My and he calls him like, but he hits the R hard, and then Tracy reports him because now he's offended <laughs> by the hard R being called. We can call it. It was a great episode. It's good writing. I like that show a lot. Did I'm, they uh, say I'm, the word on the? On no, they were pussies about it. They were pussies, they and they didn't even. They didn't say cunt. See, it's that an, takes it, me right out of the story. And they didn't say <laughs> I cunt need either. To hear it. Uh, I guess it was like more of a primetime show. They did say fagatron in an episode, which was hilarious, though. Um, I it wasn't a, it was a, a scene about like words they can't say, but uh, but she's like, what? I can't call him fagatron. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> No, it's <laughs> like no well you can it's kind of funny but, <laughs> but you might get in trouble for it <laughs> i uh i, I there's so, so much happened this week i, I really uh i wrote down a bunch of things here please show you want, your I, book i like it every right, time. let me make sure i'm not showing anything crazy um you, just the back of it you can show oh 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 my dog got it yeah. <laughs> oh whoa. Wait, no, your my dog, dog got it. damage your leather notebook oh, oh no this is the old one this is this is the this is the new one this is this is, huh. <laughs> but he also damaged this Jones one, but but it just makes it look more weathered, so I don't mind. It does. Cool. Um, yeah, it looks like you'd like um, keep spells or something. <laughs> there are spells in that one. That's what those are for. Yeah. Um, no, this I, is I, your I, your ideas for new racial epithets, right? Yeah, yeah. There's lot. There's, there's lots of good stuff in here. Um, so uh, do you want do you want Zelensky UFC? Um, the surprise surprisingly one of the biggest shows on television that you probably haven't even heard of. Um. Or Nick Cannon's baby's names. I want to hear the Zelensky thing because I have one. My Man, Zelensky, too. take us down was, the list. So day before yesterday, Zelensky was supposedly only a few hundred meters from the front lines with the troops, um, with a big Ukrainian flag, and all the troops are writing stuff on it. And then the next day, they send um, one of the Air Force One planes. It's only Air Force One when the president's on board. Technically, so they oh, sent Air Force Two or whatever it is way. They sent it to Ukraine and picked him up in it, and uh, and flew him over. And then he's in the White House the next day, and then the that night he's addressing Congress. It was really interesting to see. I have not seen the speech yet, but I've seen the reactions to it. I saw that um, Gates and um, and um, Blondie, um, uh, Marjorie, um, Taylor, Magic the Gathering, yeah. Taylor Green. 
yeah um uh my my uh representative uh a matter of fact um <laughs> sat through some parts of it and refused to clap however they did stand for others um so so um i think that uh it was a really good thing that happened he, he apparently spoke very uh, eloquently and uh referred to the aid he's like he's like don't think of what you're doing for us as charity you know you're investing in democracy and safety and, and global peace and freedom etc 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 uh seemed like he moved everyone and uh i think that it sent a scary message to putin i think it i think that has to look bad if you're putin to see all of congress kind of standing together outside of those two jabronis and sort of agreeing and, and sort of clapping and because they're the purse right they're the ones who are going to decide are we going to keep sending tens of billions of dollars over there to keep you to keep the uh, the russians at bay and uh it's got to look scary if you're if you're putin to see that because that has to be his last hope that that he can somehow splinter our congress and influence them in some way and and cut the purse spring the purse strings that are affecting that war so dramatically yeah i don't know what it is with the republicans at least some Republicans not liking Ukraine. I've seen a bunch of them upset about what he wore. Have you seen this? Yes, of course. I yeah. was wearing that. like the same green thing as always. Yeah, yeah. It's he was wearing a green, what looked to me like a sweater. He's now, always am, wearing. Am I green. on target with that? Yeah, he's wearing his Ukrainian fucking yeah. Nike. Um, like 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 like. He's trying to look like like his, a military field guy. Is what and he's is, trying uh, to he's give wearing, that he's, vibe. Yeah, he's wearing his casual shit. He's got his. He has. He's got like some uh, some um, ATAC boots or whatever. Um, he wore that to like meet the president. He wore that in the White like, House. I saw Biden. Do you see Biden put his hand on his ass? That that photo. That I hope photoshopped. that's photo. Oh fuck, man! That you, was come on, you oh, Taylor, you're too Taylor. easy to buy into this shit. You get fooled easily. Come on, uh, just just seeing. No, it, it's totally believable that Biden would just not thinking like put his hand there and on, go, oh, for a sec. Come on, I, I saw it and <laughs> I saw that and I was like, ah. ah, ah. <laughs> I, you can't even snopes me on this one like, oh, i saw it for right half a along. second and it looked funny man <laughs> oh it was funny and it's believable and and i bet he did it behind the scenes that's when he did his ass squeezing yeah me. i sent yeah. you guys that message of them sitting in like i don't know the resolute room or whatever the fuck and i, I thought i had a funny caption nobody fucking lolled at me at all i went dear diary I I today i wrote dear it's <laughs> Zelensky and biden sitting together and i wrote dear diary today i met the big guy <laughs> i was like <laughs> Nobody laughed. Nobody said anything. Just sat there. I was like, "All right, I'll just keep my little thoughts." I see it now. I totally didn't see it. I'm sorry. Keep my little, my little music. Yeah, that's not real. <laughs> no, of course not. No, of course. Now, now that I've looked at it for more than half a second, it's like, how long would his forearm have to be <laughs> to like just stretch all the way? He's got one of those fake hands in there. I love those like the AI gen stuff like that. Some of the you know most of those and the AI image generation stuff have rules of what you're allowed to make, but then some people make ones that you, they don't have rules, so yeah. you get a ton of cool stuff. <laughs> have, oh, have you seen the the chat bot they made? Have you talked uh, about that before? Have no. you seen it? No, uh, maybe. The, no way. The GPI or G yeah, yeah, that one. That like uh, it's you can just ask it anything and it will know the answer. You could it, it like it's strangely original. Like it's like speaking to a human just upgraded. It's really weird. Mm. Have so you not like, seen that? It's nuts. I, I, I've seen it, but I haven't used it. Is you have to pay for it or is it free? You can just go on it. It's so great. It's um like I so I, I was I was fucking around with it before. And I said, I gave it the prompt. I'm going on a podcast with FPS Russia and Morty's Gamertag. Sorry, Taylor. And <laughs> what question? What questions should I ask? And it gave me tons. Like what? Yeah. So it Can knows. Can you share a cool. list? Can What's you it called? Paste it? Chat it's GPT. A, is that right? It's chat.openai, and you'll find it if you just search that. Or you just search OpenAI chat. I think it's such a we'll big thing. Sign up. It gave me tons, and then one of them was, like, scary. It's like, in 20... what? Like, it knows so much information. One of the questions is, in 2013, you were indicted on charges of, to Ill per illegally purchase and transport firearms. Can you tell us more about how that impacted your career? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it knows an awful lot, but some of them are sort of like, uh, what advice would you give to people looking to create content on youtube and they get well so it goes it, it's nuts you can ask it for video ideas you can say like hey i'm a gaming channel that does call of duty what should my next video title uh, be yeah huh. that's a i've came I up like with a this. good amount of like uh, my I saw tweet was a AI video maker do actually. that i saw a content maker do that i can't remember exactly like tarkov or something he's like i asked the ai what kind of video i should make mm -hmm. it they thought i should make this one so here we go and yeah. it, I can't remember specifically what it was, but oh, that's really neat. I'm gonna play with that later. It's it's real fun. It'll it'll at least give I, you one good idea. 
I want to mess with one of the uh, the art AIs because that looks like it's going to just put like artists out of business because it seems like you can just like a lot of them the just have to do with big tits and like Renaissance attire. No, and I, I think it's <laughs> tremendous. I think that's yeah. great. It, they look that looks so cool to me. That that's mm. the coolest like little bit of uh, tech on that like AI side that I've seen yeah. in a long time. They they released uh, Dali two, so that's now a public thing, and it's great. Like it, it, but it's it's it usually does stuff of just like it's it's great at look uh, making an image look completely real. Like uh like someone took a photo mm. of it, not quite, but that's usually what it does best. So you end up use you end up you can use it for a ton of stuff. Like it, it, it's yeah. it's for content creators, it's great like we needed like just a not shutterstock photo of a room full of full of cardboard boxes so you just generate 50 and one of mm -hmm. them's good for a thumbnail it's great yeah that's great woody I what we did i don't that. i didn't hear what you said um what did you think about Zelensky? i don't know wearing the uh the sweater and the casual stuff and um by the way they, they brought that ukrainian flag that you know into the in, into congress there that, that all the soldiers had signed and everything pelosi's draping so, it over him and everything not necessarily Republican leaders, but like Republican thought leaders. I know Charlie Kirk was Tucker born. Carlson, Tucker Carlson. They're ripping on his outfit. And I mm. see it as the next tan suit bullshit nonsense. Like it, if you're mad at Zelensky because he didn't wear a suit, which is what they're upset about. Um, it's like, why are you so anti-Ukraine? Why are you pro-Russia? How are you attacking this guy? Yeah, there's the outfit. Um, he just looks it's wartime casual. That's what he's supposed to wear. <laughs> so Miles kind of hot, don't, right? I don't. Am I, I, don't am I wrong? The, no, I mean she's all right. I would. I, I, I would love to. Like, have you think Kamala's hot? I mean, I would she's rather, in I would the love world of politics. No, that's the yeah. only world. I want to. No, no. Right. Those both those two gals up there. Are Nancy Pelosi that, like, has just her tits must be so heavy. Oh God, they're so Pelosi? fucking heavy. I, I, shit, I, I looked heavy up tits. She's a leader. Used to be hot. Oh yeah, we looked at this just the other week. <laughs> like we were just talking about how big her tits are, and she she her does. And, and credit, she, I don't know about we, her we policies, go through this but so love, often, yeah, yeah, she has we huge. Met, we, 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 always, we go to the pictures of her in school and everything. Like like yeah, she's got this big mommy milkers, as Taylor likes to say. Yeah, it's the best thing about her. God damn, that's just not the greatest picture of her. That's just the worst. <laughs> That's not cool, the best picture. Was, to be fair, she's with JFK, so that makes it cool. I, I'm fine with this picture because she's with JFK. Look at JFK, that dog. He I, I knows what he's one. thinking. He, he knows one of those titties. Do. He honked one of those titties. That's that's what he's. I'm gonna go. I'm <laughs> going to honk those tits later I'm on. I'm gonna play with your giant <laughs> boobs. <laughs> she was pretty. You're gonna let me because I'm the president. You know what? Now. You're gonna For suck my it. dick not because it is hot. <laughs> but because, because I tell I, you to, <laughs> because I, no, because I like it. <laughs> I'm I'm um, gonna quickly go grab a drink. I don't know cock. if turning my camera off works, so I'm just this. I'm wearing just lingerie, so just give me a <laughs> minute here. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm gonna grab a drink. <laughs> he's just wearing lingerie. Yeah. Just dick, I'm dick hanging. Sorry, out. fans. No one's more disappointed than me. Oh, I saw his asshole. <laughs> you win. Yeah. We win. All you audio people, you might want to like tune in because we we all saw Finn's asshole there. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm sure this is censored for you fans. When <laughs> yeah. I got to see, yeah, we had to go back and censor it. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna put a like a bubble there. It'll say censored. It's, it's censored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we of course are looking straight into the man's ass. I can't believe he just it winked at me. <laughs> I like it when he does that. I, I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> What a UFC pay per views in 2023, $80 a pop. Now, I, I know saw this, that up from 75. They, they they just lost me now. Like, like I'm not even going to pay for the good ones anymore. Like, like you're just fucking with me now. Like, like you're going to throw it up. Nah, get out of here. I'm not even going to pay for the good ones now. Like, it, it, you're, I got enough complaints about the UFC without you raising the price on me. They, they should have lowered the goddamn price. Yeah. You're probably not going to do that ever. Dude, the, the, for those out there who don't watch UFC, I, I apologize for our UFC rantings. But but know this: this doesn't matter if you like UFC or not. It is dripping with advertisements every time you watch a pay per view event. You're paying seven eighty dollars now for the event, plus you're already subscribing to a service for the privilege to even buy the pay per views. You can't just go buy them if you're not an ESPN Plus subscriber. And and and, um, and and then like the mat, the ring is covered with ads. Every time they present a statistic to you, oh, this is Leroy Jones. He's got the strongest overhand on the East Coast. Brought to you by Modelo for the yeah. 
for the exactly. badass in all of you. And Brock, two minutes and thirty five seconds in the wants- round. Brought to you by the corn nuts, whatever, like yeah. timer <laughs> clock at the bottom. This yeah. is the Monster Energy, well, you know, whatever the shorts that he's wearing, and it's not like like everything is. Ooh, looks like he's coming by- down with a Monsanto concussion. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like and, and it's like man y'all are making money hand over fist here and the product isn't getting better the presentation isn't getting better like like the you know what i mean like like you're doing Worse so on. many apex no, the events product's getting better right because people are getting better at fighting absolutely not that's not absolutely what makes not. the product good. that's not that doesn't make the product better the um it, it helps oh, no. they could find two bums on the street and i might like that fight just no no, no. i'm talking about production value okay. i'm talking about better graphics i'm talking about a, a better camera work i'm talking about better t- camera technologies I'm talking about maybe advancing the sport somehow. Maybe take some of that money and buy one of the other organizations and get all their goddamn fighters. Like, go buy one or whatever. Why is Amazon allowed to have their own fucking fight league? You should start like, watching you should that. Uh, start watching that barstool one where it's like midgets fighting or like a guy called like the terror of West Virginia versus like actual rapist or like whatever their <laughs> patrol names well it, it, it's it's real frustrating so i'm just gonna fucking watch streams from now on um like like, like, like i'm, I'm so sick of them too. just like, like i feel like you're taking advantage of me as a consumer at this point like, like like i'm happy i love their fight night cards the free cards that they put on espn plus espn plus is a hundred percent worth of value you get a lot of free fights every month i would guess it's 45 free fights a month something like that because because every card has like I don't know, six or eight, and there's uh, I may have overshot it with that number, but it's a bunch. It's a couple dozen free fights a month. I'm not paying anymore. I'm not paying 80 fucking dollars a month. It's not worth it, especially when they're average. If there were zero ads, if like that, if they never mentioned Modelo or The Rock or so a movie that's coming out. Conor McGregor's coming back. He needs a fight that he can win. He hasn't won since. When's when the kind of Greg Gregor won a fight? 2016? I don't know. It's something else. It's, it's something stupid like that. Mm-hmm. They put him up against Patty the Batty. So you're going to watch this Patty the Batty guy probably get his ass kicked, but maybe not. Maybe he'll beat Conor McGregor and make a name for himself. That's the headline of the card. There's also another championship fight underneath it. Wait, is yeah. there, are you making this up as an idea? Yeah, or yeah, is this yeah I'm trying to get oh, Kyle to buy it. And, and you know when Conor fights. It's going to be so popular. The streaming fights are going to be buffering. Here's, here's what would get stuttering. me. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? If if um if I didn't think I was going to have a good stream, then I then I might purchase a Connor fight. But here, you know what they need to do? Do you remember? It was like UFC. I, I the numbers. It was the one where they had the live performances. It was the one. It's the only one from from the walkout songs. They had um like like Connor was fighting um. Oh him. yes, he was fighting that American uh, Did wrestler. Get Sinead guy. O'Connor to sing for him? Not yeah, Sinead O'Connor sings um this like I can't remember the song, Irish but it was song. powerful. This Irish ballad, and she's there's like smoke and fog, and she's there. On, that was like, either Aldo or Chad Mendez. It was Mendez, and was then it? Mendez comes out, and he's walking out to uh, who's the guy from Stained, um who went solo and did a country career after that. Um, real popular uh and he's singing um i grew up he's singing like a country song as uh, some, some on a place you didn't i know the words to it i don't know the name to it um he's singing like a good old boy country song that's like a good song it was amazing it was that that might be the best uh pay-per-view ever aaron lewis aaron lewis is that guy's i name. think we watched the, that one in movie theater no that uh, the movie theater one was the one that had um um i think it was connor versus chad it was the uh uh-uh. uh um it was um I don't think it was but I could be wrong cuz I think that's the one where Robbie Lawler was fighting that Canadian psycho guy and uh it like ended the Canadian guy's career he was beaten Rory so Rory McDonald Rory McDonald he was never the same after that beating like you rarely see that in the UFC that man was beaten until he could never be the same again like like and 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 like his bobblehead the Rory McDonald bobblehead is a gruesome thing to look at. So that was like UFC 189, damage. and Chad Mendez did fight Conor McGregor on that. Soul card. damage. He stood there and got slammed in the face for five rounds. And when he when he quit, it was because his nose was crushed into his face, and he couldn't take the pain anymore. He it, dude, it was he pretty, collapsed. There's pain. There's this. This is what I love about fighters, the UFC fighters. These guys, they're in such good shape, but not just that. They're brave. 
right? They're brave. There's a scene, not this fight. Nate Diaz is fighting Cowboy Cerrone. Both of these guys think they're going to win the fight, which I think is amazing. You don't have one guy out there saying, I'm going to do my best, and the other guy saying, I'm going to kick your ass. Both of them are like, it is ridiculous that you think you could beat me. You think you're a fucking gangster? You don't know what a gangster is until you've met me. And they both believe this with their soul. Two rounds into it, Nate Diaz is taking it to Donald Cerrone. He is winning convincingly. Donald Cerrone knows this. Nate Diaz knows this. And 50,000 people in the arena know this. Nate Diaz flips Donald Cerrone two middle fingers, right? And, and right before the third round comes out. And Donald Cerrone goes, yeah, you're right. And then for the next five minutes, he tries anyway. It's the biggest like display of heart that I can – one of the huge things. It's really cool. So the fight that Kyle and I are talking about where Robbie Lawler fought Rory McDonald. Rory. Rory's – like I think Robbie's lip was split open and Rory's nose is busted open. And like – Four he gave Robbie Lawler a Joaquin Phoenix in like round three, and yeah. wa- and 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 if I had one, I would be trying to keep my lips pursed. So let me go. Though. T- <laughs> so so after the fourth round, they're both exhausted. Robbie Lawler tries to alpha Rory McDonald. Right, it, he's beating him. I think anyway, and uh, he stands there and stares him in the eye. And Rory McDonald is like, what? You think you're the alpha right now? And I'm like, motherfucker, these guys are 20 minutes into their fight. And they both still think they're the tough guy. It is so impressive and so They didn't go back to the corners. And so, yeah, the round yeah. end. The round ends and, and they, they just stared at there. each other. Yeah, you know? like and, and I their can't faces. wait for the next round. Dude, 20 they're- minutes into a fight, I can't wait for the end of the fight. <laughs> you know? I'm tapping between rounds. I don't give a fuck. You know? right, it's too long. It is a outrageous display of heart and soul and courage, and that is what I like about a fight. You can find two bums from outside the arena that do that, and I think I like that fight just as much. Yeah, their their faces were just masks of blood. Yeah, I, I've got. I think I've got a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Then that was a great fight. It- I, uh, I I wish that they did more of those things in uh, in, in movie theaters. That that was a real cool experience. Finn, when you are dolling yourself up, and like, so I imagine you don't just know how to do makeup. You're having to watch tutorial videos. When you're doing that and like watching tutorials and like matching things online, are you like another day at the fucking office? <laughs> like, <'cause, laughs> or are you another enjoying day. it at all? Okay, I was gonna say whatever you were gonna pivot to from the like man with a face of blood nose crushed it was gonna be so stupid. It was it was going on me. But the um no dude, I've never watched a makeup tour video other than like just for funny. The um I I learned purely from like girls, uh, girls like friends and girlfriends at the time mm-hmm. putting makeup on me and me going like oh, okay, so that's how I do it, and then friends online like correcting mistakes that I'd made. So eh, I sort of got a bit like uh, pushed into this field. The, this, <laughs> I had so many, too many friends, too many girlfriends at the time had, uh, you know, I've got a bit of a feminine face. That's sort of what they wanted to do with me. But um, yeah, yeah the, but fucking getting ready, getting ready for streams takes like 20 minutes. So it's not too bad. If I and also streams go really well, if I know that I look good. Like this out, I, I was showing, I was talking about it before. I'm not sure if you were away uh, when I was showing this off, but like this outfit's fucking absurd. Can I scoop? Am I allowed to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll put the box over in post. You're not we encouraged to. We're not going to. Well, do no, I've got the courage to. It's just, this isn't a dress. This is. <laughs> <one of> the- <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's hilarious. That's <laughs> yeah. And oh, yeah, this dress has. Do you shave this- your legs? Yeah, I'm getting them. What you... la- oh shit! You want a life update? I'm getting them lasered. Is of that course. forever? That's the that's a. It's not forever, but it's pretty. It's semi permanent. It's like a decade, definitely. Okay. And it's like it's it, like some in. of them. Yeah, yeah. Are you I, wearing girls or boys underwear under that? I don't want to answer. That's too it exposing. Would have to be girls. <laughs> what you think he's gonna? Okay. You, you think he's gonna ruin his aesthetic? Uh, he goes through a hundred different pieces of effort and then he's wearing fucking Calvin Klein boxers. I doubt yeah. it. I yeah, doubt. there was there was a moment on stream where someone uh, a big 
like a I've got a at some point you gotta remind me to talk about this, but there's a new top donator in my stream and we broke Twitch's world record for the biggest private donation. Um and it was fucking wild. Uh but he donated and he said, like, hey, I got a deal for you. We can do one of two things. Either you uh you gotta pick. I'll give you like five grand or you we can I can like I'll give you five grand or something like that. Or it was like, you get, I'll like, we'll, we'll lobby stream. You are you can go and wear like boxes, do whatever, wear guy clothes, whatever. Or five grand. And so I had to like answer on the spot. I was like, fuck. This. <laughs> I'm just going to be in, but yeah, I wear. Um, Wait, I'm confused. You know, five grand can't possibly be the Twitch world donation record. Is 300 it? was the thing that we did. $300,000. Do you remember the that last time we talked? I we went back and forth. Oh fuck, this is good. We yeah. went back and forth on um hey, how much money would it take you to get titty Rest implants? Months. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And everyone gave their answer. And, and you guys were, I don't know, a million five hundred thousand. I'm not sure what your guys' answer was. But mine was like, ah, I'd do it for like for a year, for only a year, not permanent. I'd do it for like three hundred K. Uh-huh. And about a month, two months goes by. And someone shows up in my chat dropping about a thousand dollars at a time, and which isn't which is uncommon, but it's not the rarest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And um, God he goes damn. like, "Hey, how you serious move to are you?" Beach. Yeah. <laughs> Cash. He goes, "Hey, uh, how serious are you about that? Like, is that a meme or are you? Is this real?" Dr. Lupo for one million. Fucking Dad, look at me, dude. How serious <laughs> am I about this? <laughs> There's, Dr. Lupo technically is bigger, but then like Twitch, the company just like matched a charity got So that was just like technically, I guess, but I don't know, corporation. Weird. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's why I'm saying private though. But so he said, how serious are you about it? I said, I'd probably do it. It'd be funny. And then my manager guy gets in a call with this donator, vets him. Turns out he's like a multi, multi millionaire. And suddenly the whole, like, would you rather becomes real. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. If I, it's a very different thing if I said, like, hey, how much would you suck dick for? And you go, like, ah, $20 billion. I wouldn't you know? pay more than $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> but then if someone's right there with a briefcase of money and it's 100% real, it it changes the, the, the whole it gets like oh, yeah. really off. suddenly you're like i could deal with it so wait like, it was 300 grand for you to get implants 300 grand for me to get implants and i took like a couple days to consider it and i yeah. ended up saying no i didn't end up doing it would you have had free reign like if you said yes and you're like i'm going mm. for a cup teeny yeah. tits would he have been like veto powered no has to be at nope. least this Does he d here's my question wait. He's gonna pay you three hundred grand just to get them. Does he not even get to see them? You'd I have mean, to show him. You're not. That's some a bitch. that's a courtesy on my part. It wasn't yeah. expected, but I would have. <laughs> Here's my question, man. Mm -hmm. If you did go yes, that's right? So In a hypothetical world, you decide three hundred grand is enough. What size boobs do you want? Oh, I'd go like C. I'm five foot ten. Because like, okay. you know, I'm C. Like, like a supermodel. Super <laughs> you don't want small boobs okay i, I will no, go for smaller any... like athletic boobs no no nah, it's not the in thing you know i'd go I'd, I'd i'd have gone for c cups but i end up turning it i still got the 300 grand though that could have been a really oh well then best of both worlds you don't have to well, get surgery yeah. and you have the money Perfect. i did a i did like um what's it called i i i was talking about something else so after i declined the offer i think that he just like really he just wanted to give me 300 grand at that point so i i said something like so have you ever seen those dudes that can do a perfect like woman's voice they can do a girl voice and they create it they like troll people on fucking omega or valor yeah 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 yeah. there's guys guys like that and um i was saying that that would boost my career if i could do that oh, yeah that would be, that'd be do you cool. practice a girl voice at all or no well i said no this is stupid it's cringe because i'd be sitting in my room making mickey mouse noises and i want to do it and then <laughs> but oop, fucking same guy pops in thousand dollar donor and goes how about that 300 grand for you to learn it and i ended up saying yes to that so i'm taking like voice lessons now with an actual vocal <laughs> actual tutor and i made a third of a million dollars and it's dude, in my bank hell yeah Fuck hell yeah, yeah brother hell yeah. that rocks i'm so yeah. glad that you're just raking it in 
That's yeah. that is great for you. And it this guy, fun. he's just three hundred grand for you to be like, oh, tee hee, like, mm-hmm. like that's great. So what are you doing with the money? Like, not, I, I assume that I, I assume you're not blowing it. Are you investing it in stocks and real estate? Are you just putting it somewhere like a bank? Account? I actually, I actually did a really smart thing, which is I bought a house at the peak of the market, and now it's crashing. So <laughs> it's, it's great. That uh, is I'm smart. More, but uh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the, I'm doing a thing for charity uh, at the end of the year, and it's not. I know. I, when does this video come out? Saturday. Saturday. I can't tell you that. <laughs> but you I'm can doing write a it thing. in the chat. We don't leak. I'm doing like a. It's going to take me a minute to type, but I'm doing like a big thing for. I'll write it after I'm after I tell you. But I'm I'm doing this like big for, big thing for charity at the end of the year. I'm. Yeah, I've been talking to a bunch of people about how to do it right because it's like, yeah, but. Mainly, mm-hmm. mainly house, mainly moving because this place is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't. The room looks quite big because it's like a white. It's like a thirteen mil. It's twelve millimeter lens. Mm-hmm. So the room looks quite big, but I couldn't lay down. Like I'm five foot ten, and I could just about lay between my desk and the wall over there. It's oh, not a lot a of room. Teeny little area then. Yeah, yeah, it's about as big as like um. You could fit a double bed in here lengthwise. It's Do not, you want to stay in England? Uh, I, I don't think yeah, that, he's I, an American at heart. He's wants to yeah. come to, to the land yeah. of the free and the home of the brave. I don't want to, but I'll have to. So you could get a dope house in West Virginia. Give me a second. I got to do it again. You get a dope house <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you've Texas said before you would move to America. You'd go I to Texas would. if you did. Fuck yeah! I've got. I know so many Americans now that have like big ranches, and they're like, "Hey, I bought a real AK, and it's automatic. You want to come fucking shoot it?" Fuck yeah, dude! That's a big enough reason for me to go. Dude, There's something that... like ver- like America versus Europe is like the size yeah. of houses you get is so different here. Like, I'll, I'll see I... like a super nice house in England, and it's millions of dollars. I live in a very normal Midwest middle class house, very normal, and it's bigger than like multi million dollar homes in England. A lot of them, can I, like can I, it's gonna, insane. I'll... I'll put something in chat for you, and it's how much the house cost that I bought, and how big, of, like how big it is in square feet. I just want to get your rough reaction to it, okay? Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> that, you, you know what's funny? That's is a good that, price, though. That square footage, twenty seven hundred square. That's like maybe a teeny bit smaller than my house. Mm. And my house was not was less than a quarter of that <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. because I'm I, in fucking Missouri. Like that's yeah. unreal. I spoke to a I spoke to a um a doctor. That's oh Jesus, Zach, don't rub it in. There's a <laughs> I, I I spoke to a um to a doctor friend of mine, and he was saying like, yeah, when I got out of uh, when I got out of was it residency or something, and I was mm-hmm. finally making money, I could finally move out of like the shitty house that I just had to buy for like I don't know like. 40k of out in texas yeah like by the way how big was that and he knew about my house he's like we don't have to go into it (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's like the same you 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 take 300 pounds you know convert that to freedom bucks Mm -hmm. like you can buy a palatial estate in texas with a huge amount of land like if i were a rich european or if i were like a rich streamer there's still like does it blow your guys mind when there are like rich streamers who mm-hmm. live in like LA or New York or something. It's like, you could own a a noticeable yeah. part of Iowa. Like I you think, could um, just be that guy. And, and, and we talked to remote. Tucker about this and Tucker feels like there's enough business opportunity being there local that it's worth it. But I, I still don't quite there's see it. There's no it seems, way mm-hmm. it's all online. It it, 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 it seems like, well, I'm sure he's going out a lot and, 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 and he has and the like, music and, business too. So that's different. Huh. That makes sense for him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he probably he he feels at least he needs to be plugged in, and he would know better than anyone. But um, but for most people, like if if your thing doesn't require a lot of like pressing the flesh, like Jesus Christ, <laughs> why aren't you in Missouri or Georgia or North Carolina or Texas or yeah. Tennessee or Florida, like it's- any of those cheap ass places where you can get out of your tax, get out of your state taxes in like half of those places anyway. Yeah. Come to Missouri, the cool state now. Great gun laws, great weed laws. I think we're we're cooler than Colorado now. We're cooler. Than, well, we don't have skiing. Okay, Colorado's cooler, but barely. If we had skiing, we'd be unstoppable. Weed and guns, you're winning. I don't know what you yeah. mean? <laughs> I've, weed and guns. I, I'm so excited to like it. Apparently, all the dispensaries open up in February, like hmm. first week of February, 
And I, I can't wait to just go buy a bunch of different strains of weed. Did, did y'all get those? Yeah, I just realized y'all both have sweaters. Where did those come from? These are from Derek. Oh, I, I didn't get one. He didn't send you a Christmas <laughs> present? He sent did them he, to all he his sent, favorite he, people. Yeah, he sent them to, oh, he did. He said, I'm sending them to all the straight <laughs> members of the crew. <laughs> and I got a, um, <laughs> I, literally I got a handwritten Christmas card too. Yeah, I did too. You did you hand the backpack? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you loser you didn't get Y'all it are <laughs> Y'all are no. with me. hold on you didn't get the handwritten <laughs> they both got it. <laughs> I, i'll let woody do it no we got a backpack we got you I, can see it it says gorilla mind on it i literally talked to him yesterday zach you got one me? too <laughs> <laughs> zach got one and you didn't get one <laughs> zach got mine Zach's got mine. That's what happened. Zach got a note that said, "Hey Zach, you're a valued partner of GorillaMind.com." <laughs> broke my pla- my, my fucking plates, more plates, more That sucks. Well, goddamn. I, I, I wonder it's if they sent it to my. It's possibly sent it to my old. Little address. insulting. He sent me a double XL. Mm, you know what? Ooh. What's that oh. say? I was a. Uh, I was. Yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> Don't I was going to get. I, I think, <laughs> yeah. I. I um. So upset. No, no. I I need to look at get one. I th- I think he sent it to my old address. Is what it is because um, mm. I think I've only gotten <laughs> one thing shipped. To- it what, what? A back- There's a goddamn backpack. <laughs> yeah, it's open. What do you? It fuck? looks funny oh. that way. He looks like a kid who lost his books. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woody, we couldn't let the holidays go by without letting you know how much we appreciate you. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Lots of love. The Gorilla Mind family. P.S. Fuck Kyle. <laughs> mine said the same thing. Actually, mine said P.P.S. Don't tell Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this hurts. Man. Oh, you didn't well, get okay. anything. It's probably not it. because they fucking I, I, hate like, I literally, I was like, wait, what? This is like that episode I mean, it did of say office. fuck Kyle. There's yeah. an episode of The Office when, when when Jim can't figure out why Kelly's so mad at him, but he realizes <laughs> everyone has coffee mugs from her like party they went to, but him, and he's the only one without a matching coffee mug with his face on it. That's what it oh. feels like. I was like, "Wait, y'all got the same sweat?" I thought it was like ugly sweater night, and I was like, "Ah, I, I would have participated, but ah." Oh. And then y'all have the matching shit. You You're telling me that Derek? So- hmm. God damn it! <laughs> this is a real slap Chris- in the face. You have a little Christmas <laughs> hat. Handwritten or- card. <laughs> yeah, we got handwritten cards. I saved it. I, I got it. I'm gonna frame it. <laughs> <You> frame it. <laughs> yeah. So that I could have forever that handwritten note from whatever lady works at the office. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> sure this is Derek's point. very female handwriting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is handwriting. Just, it. I, I mean, it might be. My, I got lady handwriting too. You do, and you write in cursive, which is so turn of the century of you. It is, you know. I think it's pretty to look at. Um, I, this isn't my best handwriting or anything, but but you know, you get in there and makes. Oh, look at that! It's beautiful. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, just good stuff. That's pretty. I think it's awesome that you have these like nineteen twenties leather bound notebooks that you yeah, use. Because like like what's the alternative? <laughs> All right, so like honestly, what's the I alternative? use Notepad I on your phone. N- well, I could, but I use it on my com- the Windows Notepad. Yeah, but what do you have a thought and your computer's not by you, right? I convinced um, myself it yeah. wasn't a good thought. And the, you're I, right. I, what I, what I, I just keep this in like my jacket pocket and I walk around with it all day. And that way, like, if I think of something, I'll actually write it down. And like, occasionally, I have a de- a decent little musing I want to come up with, or I want to, I want to. I've got, a, I've got a joke here about cancer warnings and 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 uh. In California, I'm still fleshing out something about how, <laughs> you know, you read the cancer warning and the, the something that causes cancer, and you're like, oh, oh, I use this stuff, but then you say, oh, only in California, though. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm safe here. Good, good, good. Keep going. You just, like, you yeah. just get like, I've got iPhone has like widgets. You just, I've made like a big widget like right on the home screen. You just tap it, and it opens up all your notes. Great. Okay. That is smart. And then you can keep track of all your funny ideas. You're you're never without your phone. I'll be honest. I mean, honestly, how often are those notes you're putting in there good? Because when I I would keep track of notes, most of the time it would be because I was really high and I would write something Mm. down. And then the next day I would check and it's like, this isn't just not funny. It's horrible. I got a whole here's folder. Here's a little, here's a little music. I got a whole I folder of whole high shit that I think of so I yeah. can read it when I'm sober. <laughs> I've deleted huge note files on my phone <laughs> where I've just been like, this is awful. <laughs> just to just mm-hmm. delete the whole thing. I have a folder for PKA topics that I bookmark. And a lot of times the ideas that I have ideas or, or stories or like things I saw somewhere to talk about. And I'm also yeah. writing down like like things that are just for me. 
like 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 mm-hmm. things that I want to remember that have nothing necessarily to do with the show, but just things just I want to night. remember. So maybe <laughs> not that usually, but just like I don't know stuff like like websites that I want to remember or, or just anything I want to like not forget because I smoke so much dope. Um, <laughs> so you know, um, I'm a big fan of Yellowstone, the TV show, and um, and I was talking about how big of a show it is, how it's like one of the biggest shows in the world. Yeah, it's I super think it popular. might be the most streamed show. Um, Wednesday might have, as of November, it was the it was the most streamed show. Wednesday might have mm. surpassed it. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know that kind of data. But um, do you know about um, the prequel? Right, it's like eighteen eighty three. There was a prequel um, that did pretty damn well, so well that even though it was supposed to be a self contained miniseries, they're going to make a sequel to it. So they're going to make a second season to the prequel to Yellowstone. So that because that's doing so well. Mm-hmm. Well, now they're making. Uh, because they're because what they're doing is the Yellowstone um, show. You've got uh, this ranch owned by Kevin Costner, um, in, in the show, and they're going back in time and showing his ancestors along the way and how they got to own this big piece of land and, and why it's so important. Well, the the newest entry is called 1923. It's Harrison Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren. It is the most it is the second most expensive TV show ever made. Only. Um, um, second to Amazon's Lord of the Rings, which costs seven hundred fifteen million, this is a half billion dollar show that that is now uh, streaming. Nineteen twenty three. But I want to know all where of, the money went. That's where like, I'm headed. Okay. I'm sorry. Um. So so all of the scenes where you I'm see Harrison thousands, Ford. Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren weren't cheap, but the scenes where you're seeing thousands and thousands of animals on screen are real. There aren't any. There's no special effects in this. They're in yeah. Africa with giant herds of, oh, of animals that's cool and then hey let's go to another country well, wait hold of- on they didn't have to bring those in they live in africa that's not expensive right well they, they, just- went, they had to go to africa to film there i think and then they like filmed also in in the united states and maybe in europe some too um but yeah. it's 30 to 35 million dollars per episode of the show um so i'm gonna watch it i, I like 1923 a, a good bit honestly it's about a slutty prairie girl who can't keep her snatch in hand and gets prego and then gets killed by a doo-doo out arrow. Um, so if you want to watch that and cry, um, you yes, can. Yes, I do. That's enjoy. <laughs> do arrow. Fun. You with everything. those I backpack stay. straps is just killing me. <laughs> 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 it's, it's so funny. It's, it's a small backpack, and so it's like close to your You can neck loosen those. So, yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> no, when he was the kid at school, backpack straps all the way tightens. <laughs> like, like as he put it. No, 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 no. And then. And then I do the middle one. <laughs> you, got that, you got that clip that goes between the two straps. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's some. Do you guys remember that in school? Do you guys do book bags in the UK? Yeah, we have them. You, I mean, we we didn't have no, we didn't even have lockers, man. So you had to use a backpack. But like, what kind of like? It was like the Jan Sport two, like what was popular? What was the thing like this? They probably don't have holsters. The the absolute coolest anyone ever got was wearing a two, you know, a two strap backpack, but only wearing one. Now that oh, we (laughs) always use one strap, no matter how bad it hurt. I hate that one strap is like the fashion, and if you wear two straps, you're lame because two mm. straps is clearly a superior way to wear a backpack. A hundred percent, but you needed to give off an aura of like, yeah, well, I'm at school, straps. but I don't care that much. Yeah. No, no, here's, here's what it, here's what it's one saying. It's like it's like, why do you need two straps, Woody? Because I'm carrying too many books. Oh, well, well, really? That's how, how many books you got in there, nerd? I got th- I got two books. I got my syllabus, and I got some porn. I'm yeah. a cool kid. I got one strap. That see, that's that. That's what it's my about. school is strap. huge, and I can't walk to my locker and back between these classes and still get there. And that's all I've got. I got ten copies the of the Kama Sutra. Nah, nah. Cool kids leave their books in their desk, and they just yeah. they, they they don't even Whoa. take it home. Yeah. Wait, you the, had a the desk? cool kids at my school didn't go to class. Oh, like they often would that's skip, true. and I was <laughs> always like, like I never skipped class, and so like ever the. No, no, I, I really didn't. Like, I was, I was a pretty good student. I just, I also, I never, I, I, for a long time, I thought that like people sleeping in class was like them trying to play too cool for school. Cause I'm someone, I cannot sleep in places I'm not supposed to sleep. So, not once in my entire life have I fallen asleep in class, not even close, not even, I couldn't if I wanted to because I'm in class. 
Like I'm there around other people. I can't sleep. And I remember seeing people fall asleep and being like, you fucking poser bitch. Like really you're sleeping. And after a little, I realized like, no, these fuckers are like actually sleeping yeah. in the middle of <laughs> class. And for me, like, no, I couldn't do that. I was always on time. I was, a, I was a bitch, I guess. Now that I'm saying it. Yeah. I've slept a lot in class, man. I slept a lot. Only in the, um, I don't know what grade of school this I guess it'd be like a senior or like 17 to 18 sort of age. Mm. I slept a lot. That was like the peak YouTube thing where I'd like sleep four hours every other night. And that's not really an exaggeration. But and then they're <laughs> dropping out because, you know, I was just fucking sleeping in class all the time. <laughs> I but, mean, I, I barely, I was like the final age to go through high school where there, where you didn't have smartphones. Because, like, if I went through high school and had a smartphone and, like, could just Google shit, I would have been doing that 24-7. I don't know. Are kids learning anymore? Do kids learn? <laughs> like, is, <laughs> Or are they just Googling things and wow. looking at, like, video game Taylor's forums? The, no longer the young person on the show. Yes. There's, there's <laughs> no young people on the show now. They, they, <laughs> not, I'm, a, I'm, like, one of the – I'm the 30-year-old boomer meme. Like, <laughs> like I just want to fucking... use my Traeger smoker and get high and lift weights and, <laughs> and watch hockey and that's it. <laughs> you don't follow Played fucking uh, first, what's it, Hank Green on TikTok? That's how ev that's how every sixteen year old's getting their information now. But like no someone saying something is. wrong, <laughs> yeah, oh, goddamn. So is that is the brother of that guy that wrote um wrote that one book? Hank anyway. Green was a guest on the show, Taylor. <laughs> oh, it's that dude, dude who like oversimplifies <laughs> history and pretends it's simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's, isn't that, so, what, isn't that, is that him, or am I thinking does, of a different channel? He's one of the people that does Crash Course, and I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't. Know I haven't seen him. that. He does yeah. genuinely put some good info out. No, so I might be misun. Mis I might, he be, might be mixing. Him. He makes great videos that people often watch yeah. to study for their finals that are often showed in school. Um, they're high quality videos, and they you know, teach a little bit of history. Typically, okay, there's I, science. I must not know these. Kyle, people. motherfucker, you're muted. You are <laughs> muted, Kyle. Hank Green's twice the man you are. How dare you besmirch it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look this guy up. Is he? He's, he's a gentleman cool. and he a scholar. His, mm. his, uh, face. He's great. No, it's, I can take this guy. You're lying. You I could, could take yeah, definitely you beat him, him up. up but, yeah, you fuck him up. Yeah. I could beat him up with facts and lies. I feel like Taylor yeah. would then, take this I bet Hank Green wore two straps. Ben Shapiro <laughs> style. He puts Zach, would you put up a picture of, of Hank Green? Because, uh, I mean, I don't want to talk smack about him. I really like him. I admire him. But Taylor could steal his parking spot. Oh yeah, I get uh -huh. it. <laughs> Anywhere this guy parks is my. Like, I've got a placard. <laughs> raining blows down upon him. Yeah, and I just like, and I, I as I'm raining blows down in self defense, I'm like, oh man, I, I'm 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 saying misinformation about his raining blows him. down in <laughs> self defense. <laughs> yeah, in self there were only six smokestacks. <laughs> uh, the numbers don't add up <laughs> <laughs> this poor fella he's so innocent no. you couldn't look at he's him he's a great yes. guy I, I i admire he and his brother he does he seems i, yeah, he I don't know anything they, about him you, he seems like a nice nerd based they on made, <laughs> they, the whole Why thing they made wrong? vidcon they invented vidcon that's also something they did <laughs> like yeah, they did, is that thing. still going on vidcon oh, yeah they sold it to a to a hosting company now but like yeah they still did it yeah, huh. those. I think those guys are doing really well for themselves. I have to yeah. assume. And, and his William brother wrote Henry the two Green movies. The second, Dan, when, when you have like a number at the end, the second though him. is not a good number. That's just junior. Yeah, that's junior. Mm -hmm. Anyone look to put the second there is so goddamn pretentious that it says a lot about you. I thought As it had to person, go down. Look, look you're Does you're not go junior and then the right, second. Look, look, no, they'd look, be the third. That, that's I don't want to hear about being you being the second really? until there is a third. There's no need for that distinction until there is a third to be confused about. He's senior, you're junior, until there's a grand sire, child, rather, <laughs> that um that you know, that like there's no fucking second. That's so that's so stupid. So I always stupid like the third though. though. What are you a duke as well? A, fucking the second loser? junior is <laughs> Esquire. Junior is what you endure so that you can have a third. You're the one who made the sacrifice. Senior gets something cool, junior gets something lame, the third, he gets the best one. I don't now know that you've corrected me cool on how those senior, numbers though. work, you're right. Yeah, third mm. is definitely when it starts getting cool. Did you hear about like the whole Scottish thing? They were our sponsor too, but but uh, mm. uh, those those people who were selling you like the titles that was a whole scam run by some Chinese folks. Yes, they had, another one that had nothing to do with Scotland or, or being. No, a no, no. It's Sealand. 
It's Sea Land, not Scotland. Oh, that oh that was a different one, huh? Okay, that so was the one we did was mildly legit. legit. Sea good. Land it's, is real. Good. Yeah. Good. And you can't sea convince Land me is otherwise. Real, and that's fair. They're able to give those titles out, but all, but the thing that like Chael Sonnen um and like yeah. tons of like current content creators was pushing. There's like, hey, do you want to be the fucking Duke of Scotland? Well, send me a hundred dollars and use code Chael. And it turned out that that was actually like a thing run by a Chinese group of people. If we sell something making it perfectly clear that it's a scam, is it still a scam? <laughs> like, what if, what if I ah. sell for forty dollars the right for my viewers to call themselves Lord and just say, "Boom!" But not really. You now have what you are well, buying. Don't lie is about Woody's gamer tags permission to write Lord on your name. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, that, that's a different. I, I did English. run into some hot water with my with my uh my branch of the military <laughs> oh yeah yeah where if i where i told people that you can claim to be a corporal in the united states army at starbucks if you pay me five dollars a month on twitch <laughs> and and it, it worked out it pans out fine and they're saying they're making that money back i'm frankly. still waiting on my uniform no it's a it's a byom i bring paid your the own or byom bring no your i paid for the, this i paid for the silver uh, uh, uh silver program plan. that came with a uni i'm, I'm told and uh and also some insignia man I'm, is there oh. a crime more victimless than stealing valor i don't <laughs> come think on, so dude come on dude why you gotta be like that those they, they, they come back with all the limbs missing and the scars and hey, stuff. hey like, whoa as a combat veteran I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about there. Yeah, why are you acting like we're doing that? Look, I, I, look, look we, we've all taken fire. We've all, we've all, yeah. we've all been there on the front lines, do or die. I just want to say, legally speaking, I am. We're all servicemen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> on the show, I've seen the second or third most gunfire here, and I expect the respect that comes with that. Mm -hmm. To to date, the funniest I've been insult in for <laughs> to, to, to date, the funniest insult I've ever had was from a trans woman that said I was, it was stolen valor. <laughs> yeah. That was good. And, you're like, yeah. and as good. a veteran of the first woman's battle, like <laughs> I find it offensive that you would undercut my you efforts. You can do. I yeah. can do better. I can do oh, anything better than you. Remember that Mia Hamm commercial so with Michael Jordan in yes. the late nineties? In yep. uh, I think it was a Gatorade commercial. Yeah. yeah, they they're yeah. doing the shots and everything. That amped I, uh, up. Yeah, I wanted then, to do that video with uh, Richard Ryan at one point, but then I I became a felon. Or <laughs> we're like the same thing. Anything you can do, I can do better. Because he was doing that wing that wing suiting stuff, and I was like, oh, that's a perfect segment. And that like, you like, should like, do it, but you can, lose. Yeah. Yeah, like oh, I was fine with losing. Oh, yeah, you'll use like a losing. whatever a Barrett fifty cal, and you'll have a super soaker going to Nerf guns. Oh no, see that's not funny. The idea was the the like steady escalation toward the end. Like like like. Otherwise, it's just a yeah. joke that's making fun of me. <laughs> that's what those all end up being. Like, hey, you funny. should come back and do BB guns. Like, ha -ha, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> 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 just makes me want to laugh all night. <laughs> oh God! Every time I think of that, I just laugh and laugh. <laughs> Woo! Uh, fair enough. Yeah, Anything, so, but, but, yeah you no, should film I, that. Except it should be like him opening a package at FedEx, and it's a tiny amount of weed. And then you <laughs> open a package at FedEx, and it's a huge amount of weed. <laughs> you know, and you're doing you're it better. Ruin Richard Ryan's life. <laughs> yeah, um, welcome to Jackass, and this is Frame Richard Ryan. For oh, I actually watched the new Jackass last night, like all it's the way through, and I, I only made it. made it all the way through because I was like doing stuff on my computer at the same time. Uh, it's fucking sad. Like I like I was the age, like born, you know, ninety one. Like Damn Kyle man. was the age. I like, was sixteen when that, that shit came out. was incredible in middle school. Like middle school, all you wanted to do was watch Jackass, Wild Boys, those hilarious videos, and then the movie comes out, and that's tremendous. We, and watching school, this movie last night, it's like it's straight up sad. It's sad. like seeing a lot of these guys with the wrinkles and the danger, the Aaron. Hair. Uh, Aaron, whatever his name is, it used to be so funny to watch that guy get fucked up in horrible ways because that was kind now of one of the bits. And now it's up it's fast. genuinely sad. They're yeah, you're yeah. right. They're not getting up as fast. They're like 44, so they're there's, taking bad there's one falls. Bit, 
there's one bit where they you would think <laughs> and they're not be, a woody 44 like a, they're a woody 49 like very fit they are they're a, a lot beat of them up rough. 44 they because they, yeah. they've done this so long like like they, they have legitimate and like, they had to pivot injuries. almost entirely to like dicks and gross out stuff because yeah they don't Pain have they, they don't have like the physical endurance to do a lot of the old shit anymore and so i swear like Two thirds of the way through the movie, I'm like, more dicks, like more dancing around with dicks, like more, more tasers, a, are, more, yeah, more, more like more branding tasers. and burning not, not and a lot cutting. of like huge jumps and big, more, more like, like more things that are more, more things that are borderline edited or, or like, um, mm-hmm. like scripted, like, like with like gags and things that pop out at people in a hallway. And, uh, yeah, but like, there's one, there's one where they have like an oversized and very fast treadmill. And you might think, oh, yeah, I've seen that one a bunch of times. Well, for some reason, they're doing it in what looks like just a, a warehouse that's all concrete. And they all, and this is like one of the first things they did, they all take super bad falls. And I think one of them breaks his ankle right there. Ooh, like, like, yeah. like, 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 head, like, I think Johnny's face is bleeding. Like, Why like, are they head falling? Board. I don't understand what the, they the like, dangerous they like run the and jump awkwardly on a super fast treadmill that sends them all flying oh so they're not wall. running on the treadmill they're just jumping onto it yeah just jumping shot. onto it and then getting oh, smoked yeah. on concrete just like, so behind. bad it was so bad that and and they didn't pop back up they laid there and it wasn't like oh they're playing it up it was like should we check on johnny because he's bleeding from his face he's yeah bleeding doesn't from he his face. pee out of a tube or something am i crazy? that's apparently, apparently healed not up. anymore yeah yeah, yeah he's all up, he's all but, better now Thank for God. a can long time, I bet he can yeah. fuck. He has yeah. kids. He can fuck. Okay. I love we Johnny Knoxville. We were broke thinking, his we, dick with a with a with a dirt bike. For anyone who doesn't know, he did the, yeah. this. Uh, he went up like a really steep like dirt ramp, doing like a like a like a I don't know um, a trick that he doesn't know how to do. <laughs> and the bike <laughs> went up, and he came down, and the bike like lands right on his crotch, and he screams, <laughs> and you know it's like a four hundred pound motorcycle landing on his dick. Yeah, maybe there's a three. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm going to do the ads real quick. All my lights just fluttered on Flickered. and off with, the, yeah, with, okay, the, okay. with this winter storm. We're getting. I can't believe you guys can't hear this wind whistling. It sounds like I'm in a movie about Montana or something. Blue Chew. Mm. As we head into the holiday season, it's time to give yourself and your loved ones the gift that keeps on giving and giving and giving, which is today's sponsor, Blue Chew. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Get that extra confidence with the help of Blue Chew. Don't let that Christmas tree be the only wood in your house standing loud and proud this holiday season. Now you can pay... Now you can go try Blue Chew for free when you use promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping, $5 in shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Blue Chew are the perfect stocking stuffer to make you your best stocking stuffer. Gross. Visit (laughs) bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast with their dick pill money. Uh, Bluechew.com, promo code PKA. Just pay the five bucks in shipping and try some dick pills. Um, if you if you'd like to this episode also brought to you by lock and load lock and load people everyone's stuck everyone's talking about it people are mm-hmm. talking about it for a long time believe me women were saying why aren't men busting why are their busts so small <laughs> and then and then my god my god i get this new product and before you know it melania is saying i'm liking fucking you marginally more than before <laughs> and, <laughs> and i said that's fantastic it's wonderful lock and load code pka code jizz Come like a man, come like Donald Trump, the official cum stack of Donald Donald J. Trump. <laughs> the, the official. Treat yourself for Christmas. The, can you can you 
Uh-huh. Say that like products are the official product of, of, of <laughs> a random celebrity, the official load stack of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not him. Maybe not him. Uh, just, it's allegedly the official, the official load, stack load stack of David of Sir Duke. Ian McKellen. For, <laughs> of David Duke, former <laughs> Klansman. <laughs> we should do dead people. Reform yeah, Klansman. Or women. <laughs> this yeah, is what J.K. Rowling takes this herself. This is what J.K. Fucking Rowling takes. <laughs> loves to bust. Oh. <laughs> Log and load code PKA code Jizz. Check it out. 10% off. <laughs> I love that it's code Jizz. That's so yeah. great. That was my well, idea. Kyle fought <laughs> hard for that in the tech. Like, there will be questions in like our lock and load chat that are like, do you need more product like protein powder or lock and load? Do you need more of this? Kyle doesn't bother with that because he doesn't need to. He will only show up when he's like, guys, it has to be jizz. And then a week <laughs> or two goes by and he's like, where are we at on the jizz coupon department <laughs> <laughs> inquiry? And it's like it's it's important <laughs> stuff. Um, I, 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 like, I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty good at getting people to click on things and <laughs> you know, making them click more than uh, on things than, than they normally would. And that's that's just an important thing. It's like, yeah, yeah that's funny. It's, it's like like whenever we would uh, make gun videos, uh, people would come over to my house and they'd see all the costumes. Like, why? Why are there so many costumes? You saw Jeremy, right, wearing all those silly costumes in the Wings videos? Those mm-hmm. videos got as many vid- views as they did because of the way I like filmed them and produced them. Not, I mean, notwithstanding, Wings is an incredible subject. Okay, sure. All right, I, I don't want to take anything away from him, just to be clear. That was a 50-50 thing. He was such an incredible subject to like work with <laughs> yeah. he, was, he was just play in your hands you know. um i lost interest around week four i would say but up until then those were some good videos yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, I, I love how you always say it that like wings is an instrument to be played yeah like the yeah, same absolutely. way the whack pack people are on stern or like bobo or those yeah. people were on o and a yeah, like, 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 we're like, if, 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 like, doing this show and being funny is like playing an instrument, then I'm like a, a real shitty banjo player over here. And like, like, Taylor's like a passable fucking drummer. It's like, holy shit, he can keep a goddamn beat. And, but, but Wings, Wings is fucking, Wings is the harpsichord that you pick <laughs> up. Uh, Wings is he's the, the glass organ. harmonica. Man. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Harpsichord. Because, because if you sit him there in his little bubble and you don't interact with him, he will never entertain you. He'll never be funny. Uh, like, 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 yeah. I don't like a think. gorilla at the zoo. You have to throw things at him when the employees are working. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 he won't create. He, he's not, but, but he can be used to make beautiful music. Like when you go back to all of the greatest wings clips, it's us getting that out of him. He didn't just go off on his own. It was us going, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying X, Y, and Z? Lay this out for me, because he's not smart enough to know that like the alphabet's funny. Uh, you know, he doesn't. He doesn't get. He's like. Yeah, X, Y, and Z. So she put her fingers in my butt and broke up the turd. You know, no big <laughs> deal. Like, like he oh. had no idea that was a funny story. Like, like, there's so many things that he didn't realize are funny or entertaining, and you just got to draw that at him. So yeah, he's an instrument to be, to be, to be played. Mm-hmm. Not a, not a, I don't know, a person to play. What, what's that? Uh, what's that lame. instrument? It's called the American something. This instrument that's like a piano, and you can like honk horns and like pull a string oh. it's that thing where the like the guy plays the entire you know yeah the one man like, like diddly, 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 and he's like whoop, bang, like that kind of shit <laughs> and it's 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 all fun what the fuck is that called i want to watch a video of it's it right called now. a three-legged uh, organ no no it's not Daddy. the american the american uh, even organ flu the american organ let's mm. see the american organization yeah, i don't know fuck no yeah, you're yeah. not gonna get there I like that thing that Weird Al plays. That crazy uh, is that a what is that thing with all the um, the keys on it? And he's also moving it around. Oh the oh uh, the harm uh, no the God we're all retarded. What the fuck is that <laughs> thing called? Is it a harpsichord? I don't, I don't know goes what it like is. This the American photo player. Thank you so much, Zach. The American photo mm. player. That's My the thing. Right. I didn't know they were online. like real the instruments. American, look it up. Look up American photo player. It's it's so cool. It's so fucking cool because he just there's one guy whose YouTube channel is like cues and then like a phone number and it's just him from like 10 years ago doing it. It's fucking sick. It's awesome. It's such a cool instrument. I didn't know that they were uh, like technical uh, instruments. Taylor, I tell me the best of, yeah, song. This one piled up. Tell me the best song on this instrument, Taylor. Your Entry favorite. of the Gladiators. 
Oh, Taylor, that was quick. you got nothing, do you? You can't name a single song from this. I can, I can link it. I can link this song. Here, okay. this one. But you have to go to like two minutes and thirty seconds to see it. Yeah, didn't know he bring receipts, did you? What? We, 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 we could probably listen to some of this on there. This is a ten-year-old video about a f- American photo player playing entry of the gladiators. All right, all right. Do play this. Fast forward to two thirty. This fuck's not even playing it. This is yeah, an auto to, like, playing instrument. This is like no, 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 no! Don't let him. This is a record well. player. He's I, peddling I, it. He's peddling I can, it. I can play He's, this instrument. Watch the keys. Watch his hands. Yeah. Two thirty, Zach. Stop it. I'm. Goes to show me trying to show something cool to my friends. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I'm on board for it. I was gonna learn. I was gonna take lessons with you. I, I was gonna find the Wii version. I was on board. <laughs> All right. Waiting for an ad. You don't have ad block. No YouTube premium. You don't have exactly. YouTube premium. Ah, have peasants. Ad <laughs> waiting for an ad. Well, Sorry, well. everyone. Now we're all waiting for an ad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. 230 or 245. We're going to need volume watch, on that as well. Watch Absolutely this thing integral. Play. That's a barrel chested man. He is barrel chested like an American should be. I bet he can bench high, press 275. I bet he's got a huge heart physically. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, he looks strong. He does look strong. I bet he's gonna play that thing like a dirty. I can't whore. hear him. I can't I hear him. Gonna, look at that thing play. He's it, it auto plays. Ah, did you guys yeah. want to hear the musical instrument? I <laughs> would love to hear what we're watching right now. <laughs> oh, oh well, that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> Audio and video. Oh, oh, let me get right on that. Uh, <laughs> Audio and video. <laughs> It's, hey, it's hey. guys. I promise it's gonna be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's fill it up, boys. God damn, Zach, you are selling me down the river here, man. I'm just, <laughs> I'm you, trying. you think if we heard that song, we'd like it more? <laughs> yes, you would like it more. It's uh, right. fuck, man. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you're killing me. You're killing me here. God, these things take so much fucking adjustment, man. Well, it work well, we tried, boys, but we didn't have the tech to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna reinvest in. Uh... Back when I produced the show, we could Dude, watch I'm, videos. I'm fucking, yeah, I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do a reenactment of the song. <laughs> That's what he was playing, but he wasn't I mean, playing it. He was just like playing it well. Was, it's not he was so powering not true. the machine, so it auto played it. <sighs> no, the oh, whole so point is playing they... a generator that plays music. No, I can do that. No, yeah, this is like a bicycle powered record player. It's yeah, terrible. I'm not. I know you're all, trying so. to trigger me, and it's working. <laughs> and I don't. I, I, <laughs> like he's not even doing anything. He's just turning a crank. You haven't even watched the fucking video. This is just like Biden's hand on Zelensky's butt, dude. Like, you're going to have to take a step. Zach, pull the fucking video up! <laughs> this guy is like one of those DJs that pretends to work it, but it's really just a recording. Just, he's, just... <laughs> he's like pretending to flip switches. <laughs> this is the funniest. I can't believe Taylor likes this. <laughs> it's, it's fucking cool, man. <laughs> My backpack is cooler than that instrument. What other hobbies are you into these days? No, it's it's cool, man. It, uh, that like guy wears three bike. straps on his backpack. All right, well, Taylor, Taylor have you, you win uh, some, you... you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, have you cracked that uh, that book open yet that I that I sent over? The I, I sent Krieg, uh, which is a novel about the uh, the the titular um, planet slash um, soldiers. Uh, I have yeah, not. I, I read like earlier today, like maybe a couple mm-hmm. hours before we started recording, I read a couple pages and I was like, I don't have time for this right now. And I'm going to want to like jump into it because already like just the first few pages, they're setting up the world. They're building it like I'm 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 like genuinely excited to read through this book. This is going to be such a cool world to get into. And you already told me to to start thinking about what sort of madness is behind their masks and why they're wearing yeah. the masks and i, I i'm not gonna look yeah, anything up don't spoil it's very it. interesting so the, yeah the uh, the soldiers of krieg are like the most hardcore of the regular human beings in the 40k universe um uh they, you know they're super soldiers and there's giant machines and spaceships and all sorts of weaponry but if you're talking about a regular human being with a gun and uh you know mm-hmm. a blade 
it's them. They're the most hardcore, like um, devoted, um, like, like there, there's this concept of having a commissar, um, which reminds me of the Soviet um, situation where you've got a guy in the back who's like not a step backwards or you're getting capped. That's the normal job of a commissar in a 40K army. He's there to be like, oh, are you doubting the fucking emperor? Well, just a little bang. Were you mm -hmm. about to run away? Uh, maybe bang. With the Krieg, they don't need one. And sometimes it's the opposite. The commissar is like begging them to stop. Like, stop throwing your lives away. Your, mm -hmm. your lives are valuable. Stop. And they're just like, they're using their bodies like human shields and, and like, like human wave tactics and stuff like that. So, yeah really fascinating to learn how they got like that why they are like that and uh it, it um if anybody doesn't want to read a long ass book uh luton coincidentally uploaded an hour and 40 minute maybe an hour 20 minute uh youtube video all about the book that i sent taylor um ah, uh, and, i'm glad uh, i didn't watch that video and this is this is only like a 200 and something page 280 yeah. page book it's not that long of a book this will be a quick read yeah, I'm it was pretty to long to, on the audio side, I thought. It 1,500 like years ago, it declared its independence from the Imperium of Man and paid the price. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Krieg yeah, like is a, a dead world. Yeah, this, <laughs> I, uh, is, this is going to be so... This is like so up my alley. Like this this kind of lore shit. I, thank you. It was a very Merry Christmas indeed, Kyle. I appreciate it. I didn't mean it as a Christmas gift, um, uh, per se. Uh, you know, no, nothing, nothing for Christ. Okay. No. Yeah, no. Well, I, I also know that you ha you've always been of the opinion where you're like, I'm not a Christmas gifts guy. I'm a gifts guy. Randomly, I'll get someone a gift, but not because. Yeah, God that's a random told. gift, like the, uh, the 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 fucking DVD or whatever. Like, like sometimes I'll be online yeah. and I'll be like, ah, this is. I, I need to program Woody's address into my phone, and he would get a lot more gifts if I had it programmed. I've got Taylor saved in my Amazon, mm -hmm. um, so it's like real easy to gift him stuff. I need Woody's. Like, I know he's just a Google search away though, so. I <laughs> I really don't have a good Go excuse. I suppose. I dream where I landed a plane in my yeah. yard. <laughs> yeah. Um, Woody's like aggressively self doxing, and it's so funny sometimes. He'll be like, oh, I don't want to show this mail. Ah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the last eight of my social. Yeah. The last eight. <laughs> the last eight. <laughs> You just gotta guess that first one. <laughs> and and Woody's hard to gift for too. Um, yeah, that's um, the hard like, part. Like, what do you buy the man like, like, everything? What I usually mm -hmm. look for um, with with like Woody gifts um, is um, things that are related to uh, things that I consider sending sending Woody. But uh, but usually I'm like, nah, it's probably not the thing. Um, um, uh, there were some knives that were really interesting, but you have so many that it's hard to find yeah. one that has a unique opening mechanism or a unique thing to, to it. That isn't like eight hundred dollars or something, and I'm not trying to. I'm trying to send you like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollar gift sometimes. I don't, I don't need. I don't want to. Oh, I know you don't, but but question. but no, I but I like being thoughtful, so I, I'm often looking mm. for these things. And sometimes, and and then uh, I also found some like wall art that had something to do with paramotoring, but it was a little like paramo. It was like it was a little bit of like um, gatekeeping uh, to to it, and I was like, that's pretty. That's kind of lame. They were like <laughs> something about paramotors, like being the only real men. I was like, is this really the only <laughs> wall art they have for paramotoring? Your sport needs one ball. Mine takes two. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, the funniest shit is that. That's a, where I used to get my nails done. Had it shines all over the wall that were exactly like that, but they were like feminine, so it was like. This is where girls come. No men allowed. <laughs> and I'm just you know, looking, <laughs> pointing at the signs, going, "No, this <laughs> Finster, you're a knife guy. The only one I know of that's probably more, say, more so than me. This. What is the coolest knife you you have without getting out of your chair? Oh, oh, fuck me. Uh, I can't open this one because it, I told this is this is a knife that doesn't work. UK government. I don't own this. I got one of those. I have that same knife, oh. and it's. And it's a manually opening thing. There's no mechanism in it. Oh, it, it definitely <laughs> is not an out the front knife. I have a no. toy one that's similar. This is how that knife opens. Oh yeah, mine's a toy. Yeah, like well, that was the coolest knife, mine. Did but that, it's like gas station. Do y'all know about the giant one that they made? Yes. Oh, the fucking the Halo Five one. It's one that bit. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. The the the, the they made like an out the front them that same company or whatever um that was like this big it was like ka chunk <laughs> there's a there's a like semi usable one too it, it's like 12 inches or something and yeah. uh, so it's like an oh. out the front bowie bowie knife it's kind of cool yeah. maybe it's the halo 4 i'm my, not sure 
what I don't like about it is it feels like I've got a little blade and a tiny and a and a big handle. And that's that, that's like that's required, I suppose. Finster, could not. you off the screen? Maybe open that and then show Oh yeah, me. yeah. I mean I'll show you, but again, it's plastic and not real. Actually, it's made of paper, but it's it's <laughs> one of the it's real nice. See, it's like bronze and everything. Hold on, I, I like the it. the handle to knife ratio is a little off, right? Like it should yeah, be slightly it's bigger. Inside that. Exactly. And there's a mechanism, mm. there's like a spring and stuff, you know. So yeah, compared to like a side opening knife, yeah. It, it's different honestly i love these the the, the bow songs and shit i, I got this little uh, training one because honestly a, one a real one would suck <laughs> i'm gonna yeah. die dude i couldn't uh, but that, i that i used to practice mine all the time like in bed and stuff and i've permanently scratched my laptop screen even with the training one. Yeah. <laughs> they just come flying out of your hand sometimes but, Dude, it, oh, that's the wrong screen. My bad. <laughs> uh, but there was um, going into Minecraft mode. There was a uh, if you need help with like cool knife open. The only thing I buy are the ones that open in a cool way. So like, if you want a gift idea, Wait. I'm waiting to know a guy that wants a knife for Christmas. Like, so you can't even find knives that open in weird ways. I think. Oh, dude, I follow, like, the content. This is what TikTok's for, man. I follow so many, like, of these accounts where I like, look at this fucking weird thing, and, you know, they just go past Really? The light. There's ones that open with magnets now. <laughs> it's so cool. That is yeah. cool. I was, like, like, I was, like, brainstorming quickly about ways to get the front knife. ways to get a bigger bigger blade coming That's out cool. the front. Like, what about pneumatics? I want I want to fuck, or, or maybe, like, a, like, like, air pressure. Gears. Can I get a CO2 cartridge in there? Gears, man. You know, I think uh, that green gas. Don't those? <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen those shark knives? Yeah, the, I'm pretty sure those. Or no, wait, the blade doesn't <clears throat> shoot out on those. It shoots CO2 through the blade. Yeah, into yeah, the shark, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Have you yeah. Seen yeah. When they test it on uh, like ballistics gel. Yeah, yeah and it, it blows it up. Like, mm. Yeah, it would be horrific to be it's like top three by worst that. things to be stabbed by. You mm. would imagine. Yeah, yeah. A doo doo arrow was pretty high on that list, by the way. <laughs> yeah any anything yeah. with shit on it you're probably going to get very oh, sick and die I, yeah. I got i found out a new fun way to die uh oh. i got a friend uh i i finally got to facetime call with someone and they were telling me all about how they were um they were on a holiday at the time and they were really into diving i don't know if you guys know much about diving but i found out a new fact which is definitely on my top three of worst ways to die that for some reason at about the 120 feet mark oxygen becomes toxic you just can't breathe it anymore. Your body just, it's something about the pressure. I don't know what it is. Oh. About 120 to 140 feet, normal oxygen tanks won't do it for you. You need like a special blend of gases. And mm -hmm. what happens if you in inhale like oxygen that's toxic is immediate death. Like you will, especially underwater, you will inhale it. Your body won't take it into a, your body won't take it. You'll get a seizure and then you'll drown. <clears throat> it's, oh my God. You can, um, oh. I, I, I that's know awesome. that um, I know that that's uh, that that's happened sometimes. Not exactly that, but 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 there's an issue that'll happen with cave divers, um, where the, if they have the wrong mix, um, they 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 go loopy down there, and mm. they can't tell up from down. There's all these horror stories on channels like Windagoons and Mr. Ball, and where where it's like those people who go cave diving, and then it's like, oh yeah. Alex and Billy got separated and Dave went to go find them. And then all of a sudden Brittany's all alone now when all three guys are dead at the bottom of a hole. Cause they uh. didn't tell up from down and they try to save each other. And, and she's looking at her O2 like, ah, do I go up or do I go down? <laughs> That's Have so awful. Heard Donald Cerrone, the UFC fighter yes. talk about his cave diving story. All right. Heard so the whole story. Brilliant. Donald Cerrone turns out to be a gifted storyteller. And he's into cave diving. Apparently, he describes himself as like an alpha fucking cave diver. Like, he's the guy that makes the jump lines. He's the guy. He describes been... himself as a good fighter, too. But... <laughs> <laughs> he was. Um, and uh, um, so basically, you know, he tells his wife and kids, like, I'm going. Don't worry. Daddy's coming home. I'm going to do it. And he's diving with this guy who doesn't fully trust. The guy makes a mistake in the cave. And he gets this like silt out condition. So he can't see anything, doesn't know up from down, doesn't know where he came from, can't find the jump line. And he just tells the story of trying to get back to a jump line is this line in the cave that uh, they use to find their way back out. So when you get your hand on it, there's something called a cookie that'll tell you like which direction you're supposed to go. And you can follow these things on the way out. Well, his buddy silts things out. 
he like leaves his buddy because I guess that's cave diving um, etiquette. Etiquette, you know, like oh, if you get in any trouble, just ditch your fucking friend because you don't want two people to die. And uh, and he does that. It turns out his friend got out before him, and uh, and he goes and he gets out, and that's that's the story. But he tells it way better. Then I watched cave divers watch this story, like you know the reaction video, and they're like, "What the fuck? I know." Davy Crockett, the world's greatest cave diver, and he would never say that he was the world's greatest cave diver. This guy is so full of himself, and he's like, and I told my wife and kids, don't worry, daddy's coming home. And he's like, I have never gone to a cave dive thinking that. I have never been like, honey, I swear I'm going to survive this one. He's like, if, if, if you're that close to death, then you shouldn't be a cave diver. This <laughs> is <laughs> always this close to death. <laughs> And uh, they're like, you know, that is what a cookie is. I guess I'll give you. But basically, they debunk like everything about his story, call him a noob and that he doesn't know what he's doing. And just like from from beginning to end, the whole thing is kind of nonsense, unqualified, silly. He's he's also the same fighter who picked a fight with a guy uh, on a lake and kicked him in the fucking skull unconscious. (laughs) (laughs) That's a win. Yeah, I mean, it was a win that that should be on his record, if you ask me. Yeah. I got a. Th- I what do you what do you have there? I have two things. Lemonade. I have a uh, coffee and um, this like stevia lemonade. I got a thing about. I thought it was lemonade, and I had a bit of a mind blowing moment for anyone that's European. I guess the rest of the world thinks lemonade is carbonated by default. No, no. lemonade's not carbonated here at all. No, this this to me was like the whole half the world uh, wipe sitting down and half the world wipe standing up, and no one knows about the other half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I swear I was talking to my chat about it. We did a vote, pot like in a poll. No one. It made sense immediately because you see in movies all the time, like uh, kids outside selling lemonade in the stands. Yeah, <laughs> and like, I, you just never consider it. But yeah, lemonade's lemonade's supposed to be like Sprite is lemonade to everyone else as far as in the UK. You don't have regular people. lemonade. That is regular lemonade to us. Right. That is lemonade. All right, we so call lemonade, it lemonade. carbonated or uncarbonated lemonade. I prefer carbonated. I'm not sure if he's had yeah. either. You're right. <laughs> like, like, I totally like, 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 like Sprite too. is not I lemonade. Like, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, lemonade is sugar and lemons and and, and, and water. Mm. Did we just call that? That's like a whole separate thing. Like you get that in a fancy Squash. restaurant called still still uh, cloudy lemonade, like tangy still lemonade. It'd be like a fancy thing. Oh, and also cider. What do you? All right, when I say apple cider, what do you? What kind of beverage are you imagining? Like cider, like you know, like the like cider, yeah, like the, uh, dude. It's the same situation we just went through. Don't be like, oh yeah, you you mean, know, just, okay. So oh, just okay, describe right, the beverage. I think it's of a fermented an apple, apple carbonated. Yeah, I describe think the beverage, is describe the beverage. Describe the beverage's taste <clears throat> when it is when when it we could be consumed. It's it's, it's semi sweet a little bit when it can be consumed. Yeah, is it a holiday thing? Like if I say egg, if you want me to describe whatever. eggnog, I'm gonna it, I'm gonna have a real good description for you. Honestly, to a lot of maybe it's just a Birmingham thing. I'm trashy, but like it's what 15 year olds drink. <laughs> it's like the sweeter version. No one wants to drink beer. Yeah, but it's an any time so, drink. Do, do you see how how we've you've missed it? So, so apple cider, cider and alcoholic drink. All right, so let me tell you what apple yeah, cider yeah. is. Sorry, here. it's alcoholic. Okay, definitely so not at all here. None of not this here. Is here. What? It is a, that's just the whole point of what I'm trying Sorry. to do. I thought that was a given that I wouldn't You're so need to. Slow. Kyle, <laughs> needs the mic. Kyle needs the floor for a moment. This is the whole goddamn point of why I'm getting you to describe the beverage. Because when you describe lemonade, you describe something completely isn't lemonade, which we probably invented. Like, like we have different ideas of what lemonade is. We also have absolutely different ideas of what cider and apple cider mean. Like, like apple cider to us is when you take um, is an apple juice that is not alcoholic in any way. And it is they use the pulp and the skins of the apple as part of the mixture. That isn't filtered out. So it's not a clear beverage. It's, it's a very cloudy beverage. And if you shake a jar of it, then it'll become more cloudy as you get mm-hmm. the, the particulates to mix in. It is usually, it is often drank around the holidays, and sometimes it is consumed warm. That's how you describe a beverage. Now, yeah. you describe apple cider to me. You know, it's cider. <laughs> you know, you know like, just, you guys would drink it. It's a... I believe it's a fermented apple juice sort of thing. It's alcoholic, it's carbonated, 
many, many different types. They will con they will add different flavorings to it. They they will always make it with apples, but they will often add like maybe grape flight, you know, stuff to it. But it's still sure, all under that. the umbrella term of cider. It's served in a, like a glass bot, much like a beer bottle, and it's it's maybe it's a slightly can be a slightly higher percentage than uh, than than beer sometimes. So we call that hard cider. Um, mm -hmm. So so what do you call um, apple juice? Because here apple juice is non-carbonated, it is clear, it is sweet, and I don't know, children drink it. We're the exact same on that. We have the same okay. definition of apple juice. Yeah. yeah you probably call me juice over there. <laughs> There's a I haven't had apple juice in ages. Yeah. I haven't either. But yeah, I have a, I don't I remember that. like Kyle, you're right with the cider thing. Like I remember being like 20 like when I was like coming of age to be able to drink was around the time that like the angry Sorry, orchard cider. ciders <laughs> Uh, you, have you ever had one of those the, the angry orchard cider yeah. it's like uh, it, it's alcoholic hard cider and i remember like buying those in college and being like this is a great idea like alcoholic <laughs> apple juice basically <laughs> like not even realizing that like when european people talk about cider that's just what they mean like yeah which like if you're saying like that's what 15 year olds drink that sounds yeah. awful like yeah, just just good. getting getting trashed nah, on it's like Mike's sugary heart. cider. My my first Mike's drink it was. Smear I never liked I Mike's heart. It was too sour. Well, Me either. Good. Oh, I like sour stuff. But the, the, everyone has it. Everyone in the UK seems to have a really similar story of how they first tried alcohol, which is I drank half a can of cider with four friends in a field. Like you know, like that's yeah. everyone. <laughs> uh, mine was the exact same. Is that mm. the cheapest way to get tanked as a young person in the UK? Is cider? <sighs> cider tastes the best. I'm not going through all the effort of stealing vodka and mixing it with Coke or whatever, or, or lemonade. When or you what say the a can, name. is it like Coke can? Is that, am I picturing a 12 ounce can? Oh, it's it's like a beer can. Like you know, yeah, they're, okay. they're, they're they're really similar. They're in cider and beer are very similar classes of thing that just i used to have cider when beer was appropriate like or is woodpeckers a cider is that a thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah when other people right. would like I, I we used to every once in a while like sneak off work and go to the movies and uh people would bring beer and like five guys or whatever like things you don't bring Ooh. into the movies yeah. and i would bring in cider just to sort of fit in What's your favorite? All right, all right. This is a good topic. I like this. What What's your favorite thing to bring into the movies that you're not supposed to bring into mo the movies? My best experience ever is taking a Chipotle burrito. Like we hadn't eaten dinner, and like our like traffic had caused the movie and dinner plans to like collide. So we just watched a movie that was 15 minutes earlier and went to Moe's to like make it work. And having those burritos Moe's in there, and like having good. a full meal while we watched, was really cool. I don't know. I liked it. Yeah, I used to. Me and a few friends, like, it's not food. Like, we would just, but we would, like, hit his dab pen in the back of the theater, like, while watching, you know, Wicker Man or whatever the fuck mm. <laughs> stupid movie See, we were watching. There weren't dab pens when, like, I was, like, I don't know, when I was looking to go to the movies and get, get, get high. I just remember, like, doing smoking in the car we would smoke in the car a lot for joints we did like that's that used to be our move is that like everybody to get to the movies like and then everybody smokes in the car and then once like my a buddy of mine got like a oil pen in like this has got to be like 2010 or whatever it was like that changed the game because to us we yeah. were thinking about it in the context of like this smells like barely at all compared to regular weed and so like we're just or it might even smell like poking in the something. back of the the theater and yeah, obviously and like that like i wouldn't do that now as at the age i am because i'm like well that was probably pretty rude granted they were empty theaters for the most part but like yeah i wouldn't, I wouldn't want somebody doing that around me I wouldn't do it like if I thought it was going to bother anyone for sure. Yeah. I wouldn't, especially if it smells. I'm, you, I'm, I'm always good about that. I, I always try not to bother people in public. So I, I, I wouldn't have done that if I thought I was. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I, I try to be super considerate, like, like mm -hmm. when I'm out and about. Like, like I was, I, I was reading some horror story on Reddit about like stinky people wanting to sit, ne like sitting next to you on, on flights and stuff. And it was like, oh my God. When I, it's rude. There's, been, there's a few scenarios when I'm like so careful about my hygiene. Like, like in general, I don't want to stink. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm always smelling right. pretty good. But when I would go to jujitsu, um, when I'm going on a date where I'm pretty sure we're gonna have sex, or when I'm going on a plane, I'm I'm at my tippy top best because I'm yeah. about to get close and personal with somebody for a long time, and I want to do onto others as I would have them do onto me, dude. 
like it's a little gay, but I remember karate as a kid, how good the coach smelled. Yeah. And I remember having sex like, with him. And, and just how ten- he was actually my uncle. I would have never thought <laughs> he of that. was actually my uncle. And he was, yeah, he literally, he literally was not stop, like a cousin Kyle. or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it didn't stop him apparently. That, that, <laughs> and, and and I was terrible at karate. Um, so it's an honor for just, him, it was, it was <laughs> sensei. Uh, I'll never forget. Um, <laughs> uh, he gave a new meaning to the Cobra Kai, it was a different, it was a different kind of Cobra. Yeah, it's his um, dick. Yeah, it was a cock. Was, <laughs> yeah. you know, in a gay sort of way. I'm picking up. Um, but but no, I just remember that guy smelled like tremendous and being like, holy shit, like like that smells great. And then like and also in jits, like like I would always like I'd put a cologne because like I'm about to like hug you and you're and drip sweat on you. And we're gonna roll around the floor. Like you know, I'd guys. appreciate like, that as yeah. your partner. That'd be kind of nice. Cause like you'd know like it's cologne, but the alternative is like just smelling like your feet. Well, I mean, I'm hitting like it. I'm, I'm. It's not like I'm not like hitting deodorant and like antiperspirant as well. But it's like I, I want to, I want to be smelling good. Yeah. And on a plane, a spe- like plane. And if you're gonna get in a ring and fight me, g- give me a kiss on the lips for Christ's sake. You know? <laughs> I've heard of guys who go the opposite. They won't shower for a couple of days to get like stinky if they're gonna roll with somebody. No, as, they should like, be put in jail. Man. That's that is oh that is so fucking rude. No, you you're making fun. Like, and like the professional no level, like like in the UFC, I'm talking. That's, like, that's like, really I've, I've heard fighters be that's like, be like that guy stunk. <laughs> I feel like that yeah, make that you fight harder. That's a danger for you, man. I would it's really that. rude because they yeah, warm up. They get a good sweat on like before the fight. Like yeah, at- but there's a difference between a guy no, no, who's no, no. like We're talking clean about and goes in there yeah. and starts sweating, like versus you know when you smell someone who's like who maybe they lifted weights really hard. Eight hours ago, they've got like old sweat, old stink, oh. festering stink. That bacteria is living there on the skin. Like, whereas if someone's like freshly sweaty, yeah, they're sweaty and, and gross, but they're not like reeking. On a plane, now, now reeking is a big deal. But if someone had a little bit of like human body odor, I would prefer that to someone invading my space physically. I'd rather have someone invade my space than smell. It'd be easier to like move my arm than. <laughs> Because you know when you're around someone who has like severe bo, it's a it's it is offensive. Like if I'm you, in coach, I literally don't fit in the seat. Like I'm I'm just I'm like wide shoulder to shoulder, mm-hmm. and I I exist over the shared armrest in coach. And uh, if that other person like does too, or maybe even comes into my zone, like we're cuddling, and I don't want to. I don't want to cuddle either, but I always make sure I get a window and then I can kind of like, cause I have broad shoulders as well. Yeah. And like, I kind of have to like, I'll kind of tilt myself a little bit. So like this shoulders on the side of the window and the other one's not in their space. Cause you're right. They make those, they make those seats for European sized men, like, like smaller <laughs> <laughs> for, for live, for, for the kind nice. of man you want to bend over a bed and, <laughs> when was the Vince? last time you guys had a girl on? Because I feel like you guys get way too horny over me. Right? <laughs> uh, we don't uh, uh, well, we're on a good run. run. We're on a good last run. We're going yeah. for the, Iron the last Man time record? we had an actual person with yeah. no dick on this show. We we, we invited uh, a girl recently, <laughs> and uh, and I, without getting to, I don't want to say who. So don't. It, we we invited a girl recently, and. Um, she was like, "Yeah, yeah, absolutely." Um, and then I guess she had a little time to <laughs> brush, <laughs> to see what we are, to brush up on what we do around here. And then she was like, "You know what? I'm actually going to be super busy forever." Who was this person, Kyle? Can you I'm take? Can you man. write it in the side? Yeah. I wonder if yeah. it was one of the. Pe- I asked for I think two different girls to come on the show. Yeah, there you go. Oh, which one was it? There was a. Uh, the only comment I ever see. Oh, really? She said yes, and then she pulled around and said no. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh... The, all the all the comments I get are about Kyle, <laughs> <laughs> and all the all the videos that do well is like a ramp, you know, the pride flag in the background, Kyle's face, and like me, Lumi, and who the fuck else was? But oh, <laughs> man, or Milo. <laughs> Milo. Oh Milo. yeah, Milo was super into me too. Yeah, I, dude, yeah. I got oh, it. Yeah. I was so jealous of how Milo was into you. Like, I <laughs> jealous. <laughs> I knew Milo's stuff. I had watched a lot of his stuff at the time. I kind of admired how well he did in debates. Milo would come on these shows 
armed with studies. And it's incredibly difficult to out debate someone who's like, actually, University of Colorado did a study on that and this and that and the other thing. And then suddenly, like, you have a bunch of gay ass opinions and he has a study done by some university. You're defeated, period. And he was out there just like harpooning these feminist whales on Fox News yeah. and CNN or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe we've got this guy on the show. And I'm all excited. And he comes on and like, I've got all these questions for him. I've, I've done all my prep work. I've watched hours and hours of him like defeating feminists in these videos. And he comes on here and he's just like, Kyle, 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 mm. Kyle. There was a website that like, electronically judged how hot you are and kyle like crushed it or something he's a fucking 10 and milo's like yeah i totally see it. your face is so symmetrical you're so dreamy and i'm like god damn it milo i'm the one who knows you okay, so, <laughs> you don't have me added back on discord for me to send the nudes that i sent to kyle so i there's no opportunity i can't <laughs> I can't flirt as well. But oh, Finn Eddie. will try to trick me into like saying some gay shit to, to him sometimes. <laughs> keep, keep, like, Finn, keep like, doing like, that. It's really... only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like I'll joke to war him. I'm like, I'll, I'll be like, dude, why aren't you flirting with me and shit? Why are you being weird? <laughs> like, 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 and then I, and I'm thinking like, I bet somebody's watching him type this shit live. Because <laughs> 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 like, he is flirting with me right now. I got to get out of here. Wait, 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 I gotta wait, get wait. out of here before I do yeah. something. I regret. Yeah, he's just he's he's, he's, I, he's just pulling pulling my yeah. strings. I'm starting to feel like Lindsey Graham. Lindsey oh, Graham just goodness. being being tempted by the devil. Oh Lord, I got a touch of the vapors. I got the vapors. <laughs> a touch yeah, of the vapors. Um, it makes for such good clips. It makes for such good clips, though. The, <laughs> the, 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 I'm marketing for the clip chat. The last thing I did was I called a friend of mine, and I. So do you remember how I said before I've been taking more photos of myself now? Now about sure. this, yeah. But I can't show anyone, and but I want to show someone. So I called a friend just to get like their reaction of see if I sent them the photo, and they went, "Whoa!" You know, just to get their reaction. <laughs> <'cause I can't laughs> But, Are, you know. No, it's no. I think it's great. No, no, they're just they're just jealous that that that, I, that I'm honest. That like like, dude, you're super hot. Like like clearly you are. Like 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 like. I, 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 don't, nice. I don't know. If Pumping that iron. Yeah. Are we, am, are we supposed to like pretend like dude's not hot? Like 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 he is. <laughs> and what like, would like, I like think even weird. make but, it better but, is if dude's you dude's making stop millions of arm day. Get dude's big. making millions of pounds over there because he's so fucking hot, and you're like, oh, Kyle's such a faggot. He admitted that dude was hot. Yeah, dudes can be hot. There's a he's made, mean, he <laughs> business out of being so fucking hot. I got yeah. I got litmus tests. You know, it's just it's just if dick is if dick is visible, then eh, you know, in the photo, then uh, I don't know. The little that, guy that does make it harder to pretend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, would, You're like, well, there's there's no minding my way around. I could that. do it. I got yeah. it. Holy shit! Hold oh my one goodness, thing. dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Steroids or something? Five we years. We were the German yeah, Olympics. We, just, we had a girl, Optic Midnight. Wow. Optic we went the entire ago, Trump again. presidency with no girls on the show. <laughs> Not a Holy you know shit. what? I, Bill Maher did a thing about who's fucking Trump. Did we talk about this already? Who's fucking, who's fucking Trump? What do you mean? Exactly. We don't know who's fucking Trump. Melania, we, I right? suspect. Really? That's your first guess? Melania is having sex with Donald Trump? No, I mean, Trump? that would be the original guess. Like, who... Who else I would you? Otherwise, I would just Trump. guess like other models. Like he's still a fucking billionaire, and he was the president. He's a I really, I really doubt he has trouble getting his dick wet. Yeah, I'm not saying Trump's not fucking. I'm saying I don't know who's fucking Trump, he's and I find that interesting. Oh, it, it's definitely the same as it's always been. Like the the billionaire, like just fucking around. I bet he's just like running through no models one, or whatever, like normal. They're all what keeping the a secret. No one except for Stormy is admitting Trump that they fucked Trump. Prostitutes. Trump has sex with prostitutes. That's who Trump's fucking. Good I'm old sure man. So? I'm sure there's a very exclusive like escort service that he's uh, a member of or, or he's privy to. Then he has and sex with beautiful, beautiful women that he pays for. They all keep secrets so well. That's their job. They are professional yeah. prostitutes. Mm. I, I think that, you that, put that, too much like, uh, like, like, like weight I think that in the secret thing about like conspiracies or like, you know, Trump and prostitutes like. Every military operation requires tens of thousands of people to not talk, and they work. Project Manhattan, you know, on Three Mile Island, like 
hundred thousands of people were, were involved in that. Like as long as there. you have like an NDA and even Ooh. if you do leak, the media doesn't talk about it. Like it's not that hard, you know, like if a prostitute did leak and say like, I'm, I'm fucking Trump. If Fox, CNN, MSNBC, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, like if they don't run that, it may as well not exist. You, you know what I mean? Fox, CNN, NBC, and maybe someone else you mentioned are all keeping a secret on behalf of Trump regarding who he's fucking. No, no, I, I, I'm it. saying that like that's how that's how it that? would work. Like if they didn't want that exposed on his behalf, you don't need to control the person on the ground not talking. You just need to control the media not not proliferating. That's not so it. easy to do. I, I don't think these secrets are as easy to keep as you say they are. I, I, I guess it depends. Like for a Trump one, of course, like a, a Trump one's a bad I, example I, because they like the, the media was happy to absolutely make shit up about piss tapes and the shape of his dick for years. Like so, it's not like they were trying to. I choose cover to believe for all him. those things. Well, I the the piss tapes like I the thing about it that confused me is Mythbusters that he called is, that plausible. He is the kind of man because the the original like myth or like whatever was like that he was being peed on on the bed. Now I don't care how into piss you are; it's not really my area of interest. So maybe I'm wrong, but. No one who's into piss wants to be pissed on on their bed. It wasn't his bed. He was at a hotel. He wasn't everything. getting pissed on. It, the you're bed still having to on. sleep there that evening. My God. No, no, like, no, you're you're going to so, sleep on so, piss? So, so Trump had the ladies pee on the bed while he watched. Trump didn't want these ladies to pee on him. Trump wants these ladies he's to pee on him. He's a germaphobe. That's, this is, that's somehow dumber. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like if he <laughs> wanted to get pissed on, get pissed on. But like do it in the shower. Do it. Put a tarp down. They're pissing Obama's bed. Uh, that, that's where Obama's going to stay when he comes to town. They're make, he's making sure that Obama's bed's going to be pissy. I don't think so. I that's absolutely think. what and it he's is. Like, and I want you, no, no, no. I want you to stop drinking before. water for the next last three days. <clears throat> I want you drinking nothing but black coffee. Like, just, to, <laughs> <laughs> just to get their piss stinky. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank Checkmate, you. Taylor. It that, says that it right myth, there. Not mm-hmm. busted. It's confirmed. <laughs> Trump was pissed on. No, that's <laughs> or, or or peeing. I promise yeah. you, it's exactly what I said. That was it's that it. was wild. Like, do you remember that? That was just normal for a few weeks in twenty like eighteen, where they're like, "I'm Anderson Cooper," and up next after we talk about the European Parliament decision on war, Stormy Daniels, porn star, here to talk about the shape of Donald Trump's penis allegedly. Like that that was like a news thing where she's like, and it was kind of like mushroomy and it's like and he's like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like what the he's like happened? he's like shiitake or white cow <laughs> <laughs> did, or white cow. He, did oh, you know her lawyer's in prison that michael avanachi guy Avenatti? yeah Avenatti. i mean that dude was obviously Avenatti. like a huckster from the beginning like so uh, what he was he was he did opposition research and that was part of how he did his law thing. Like, he'd be like, all right, look, we've got this suit about this. But I'm just saying, if you don't uh, let me win this suit, I'm going to tell everyone about this nasty thing you did involving, like, delivery trucks and explosions or whatever. Like, the, he would look for dirt stories yeah. that the, the companies didn't want told. Well, that's blackmail. He did it to Nike and uh, went to prison. I think he stole Ooh. Stormy Daniels' money, too. Ooh. Yeah, He's he did also- steal Stormy Daniels' money. He tried yeah. to blackmail Nike. Which is like work. the balls. He it's tried like, to get Pepsi too. If you he made a the, career uh, out of it, yeah. What a piece if you of watch shit. The dude, where's my Harrier um, thing on uh, Netflix? Which I still highly recommend. It's so very good. Um, like like he was trying to get the kid to basically pull the same stunt that went, sent him to prison um, with Nike on Pepsi, and then they they were like, yeah, I don't like this. This kind of sounds like blackmail. This doesn't seem exactly right, or maybe even illegal. So they they didn't go along with it. But yeah, it was interesting to see him like that he was part of that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Remember that brief time where they're like, this guy should run for all of us. No. Yes. I, don't, <laughs> I do. Re- are they, I yeah. Don't. They were talking about him. Yeah. He might've even announced declared or something. Like oh, he was wow. Running for president. Mm-hmm. Seems like a, such a scummy guy. Like you can kind of like look he at him and fully see. a scummy guy, but Democrats liked him out of the whole Dem- Democrats Dem- liked him. Yes. They liked him because it was an ex oh. because he was working against Trump. It was yes. one of those like wow. Anyone who yeah. went against Trump, the Democrats loved. That's a for bad a look. While there, it is a bad look. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one that the blue team were all like, yeah, mistakes were made. <laughs> yeah, I did. You see that? Look, look, I kept hearing about how like fucking the red wave was was stomped out and like how much power the Democrats, the, how much power the Democrats were going to have and everything. 
but somehow they didn't have enough power to even get the cannabis banking uh, law through so that the cannabis businesses could do uh, could, could do their banking. Like they couldn't even what, get that through. What, what was yeah. That? It, so was what that? happened was um, the House passed it and the Senate lost like 52 votes to 48. But you need 60 because the Republicans voted against it. And, and it was to allow like the, the weed companies Them to use to the bank banking federally. system. Yeah, I don't know if there was more to it than that, but it, that was one of the uh, the parts of it for sure. They're having so to operate ridiculous. a cash business over there. This is yeah. can't bullshit. Take, you can't take cards and stuff. I, I, I or maybe Kyle's, wait a minute. Kyle's framing was kind of unfair, right? Like if if forty eight out of the fifty Republicans are against it, and mm -hmm. all the Democrats are for it, you can't blame the Democrats. But what I'm saying is like. The Democrats don't have a lot of power if they can't do this. They like, like true. waves aside and whoever's winning this. Or they just aside. don't care about that as much. Like, as I, I just, I just voted back. for it. Why are we knocking the Democrats? We should say the Republicans have had enough power to stop the Democrats from getting it done. Yeah, that, that's my point. No, it, it seems like, like it's the Democrats. Yeah. My, <laughs> <laughs> true, my, my true. point is like, 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 it just doesn't seem like the Democrats have a, a ton of power. To, to, so did to they win the Senate? They won. Done. How did that? How did the like, election pan out? Like, who won in the Republicans like I, do though in the Supreme Court? The Republicans have the House and the Democrats have the Senate, right? The Democrats gained a seat in the Senate, and the Republicans have a House by a very narrow majority, which is causing them trouble because they can't get the Speaker of the House. They they can't get a majority on it. Yeah, and so then we'll see how that works out. Is Mitch McConnell yeah, it, is he the Speaker of the House? Mitch McConnell is the uh, Senate leader, minority the Senate leader. leader. He is Minority what leader. killed. He's Schumer what killed the, the fucking. He's what killed the yeah, bill we're talking about. Switchback. Well, uh, to be fair, I think that this bill it's it's never as simple as you would like it despicable. to be. It wasn't just like, hey, do we want the cannabis banking thing? It, it, yay, nay. It was like tied up in some fourteen billion dollar thing that that had tons of other stuff in it. They don't do one thing at a time. Rarely. Yeah. No, yeah. they never do. It'll be like, it's don't you want to sign the Against Child very Pornography rare. Act? And it's like, yeah, but also it has twenty quadrillion dollars to Israel yeah. in there. Meanwhile, like, there's like, a, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have stop child porn, and there's a Clinton land deal like, in the same bill. Yeah, you're not for this. You must be for porn. Oh, you oh. must be in favor of child porn. And it's like, no, dumb, like it, it's so funny that like that's still how it works. Like that's how the whole country is run. Is that they'll put forth legislature and called it like the We Love Dogs Act. And it's to fund wars forever. And then they'll be like, what? You hate? Oh, my God. So the question Did you is, know Chuck Schumer voted against the We Love Dogs Act? <laughs> this is awful. What did the We Love Dogs Act do? Don't get into the nitty gritty here. Like one, like, <laughs> one fix for that would be a line item veto for the president. I think they've had that from time to time. And what it would be is like right now, the president either signs the bill or doesn't. Period. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. If the president could be like, oh, OK. I'm signing 80% of this. And then that pork for the bridge in St. Louis that is already a fine bridge, mm -hmm. I'm vetoing that that line. That I remember would, Trump got hated on for like, he really wanted that at one point, right? Did he, like, I don't he, remember he really that, but I don't know. It was all about it. like, I want to be in charge. I want to be able to look at it at the end and X off what I don't Every like. Every president has one of the line item veto. And I can definitely see the the upsides of it. You know, they could cancel pork and this and that. But it also makes the president a lot more powerful than he currently is. So you tend to like it when you like the president and dislike it when you don't. I, I've heard that democracies need to be like terribly slow and inefficient at getting change done so that you can't ruin things in our big hurry. There's a lot of benefit to a system that is so slow to change that mm -hmm. we won't have rewrite the, the whole uh, system on the whim of like maybe one generation, uh, you know. Businesses and, that, and people yeah. need stability, right? If you change the rules on them in a dramatic way all the time, you won't have a successful country. Like, I agree mm. with that. Maybe where we are now with a split House and Congress, I'm sorry, House and Senate, is pretty good. I Maybe. mean, the, the Republicans have the, the Supreme Court. It's, it's, um, I, I, there's de any Democrat that's celebrating is, is, is either ignorant of how the fucking world works or is lying to themselves because the Republicans are the winners. Um, gener the generation is done. 
Like I keep saying it. Like I can't believe that there aren't Republicans out there laughing with their pitchforks. Like, like I, I can't believe Alex Jones doesn't have like a segment every day about. But don't forget America. Alex Jones, dude, that guy's in the hole for one point five billy. That guy's not laughing about it. So anything. he needs to be uh, getting his YouTube shorts out there. He needs to. Be his <laughs> he needs to earn a quick one and one point six. He's got to get out there no. because he is funny. He's got a good voice. And like with maybe Kanye. I'm overestimating. Yeah. He has a tremendous. He's got a great voice. Like the way that he delivers lines is fucking tremendous. It, it is top tier, people. Believe me, but believe me, people. It's top tier. Like that's that's how he sounds, and it's fucking tremendous. That that? that guttural, that that delivery Taylor, there. If you did that accent for a whole Twitch stream, <laughs> like would that damage you? I would. I would actively lose my voice. Yeah. Yeah. I would. <laughs> Because it's hard. You gotta. Uh, the problem with his voice is you have to speak at a minimal volume to allow it to come through. You see what I mean? If I try to go quieter, it, it kind of falls down. It doesn't work as well. But when you go loud and you get that guttural, that kind of that vibrating feeling down there, it feels good. <laughs> feels good. Yeah. Do you know the did, did, you, did you see the clip of him? He was talking to some guy uh, talking about Hitler, and he was like, so, so I wanted to clarify with you your your position on Hitler. So that was Kanye. You know, you know me. I, I do not like oh, Hitler. Man. I don't like him. He he was a warmonger, a crazy person, a Satanist. I think that's what he said. And this other guy was like, and he was like, so I wanted to ask you, do you have admiration for Hitler? Like asking it in a way of like. <clears throat> fucking olive branch dude like please it's other this, guy you're talking about kanye yeah no 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 yep uh nick fuentes oh okay. oh yeah it's the same thing. he, yeah, he yeah. was the guy who was with kanye in those yeah clips. he's on the other with side yeah. of alex uh, and the, and yeah. he was yeah he's a big trump guy and the, the and he's like so you i just want to get that out there because you know here infowars.com we do not like adolf hitler he's a despicable man a genocidal maniac he everything he did he was satanic he was like, did you know that he was into demons like that shit? And this guy goes like, yeah, I guess I do have a little admiration for him. Yeah, like a little admiration for Hitler in that way. And you can see Alex just be like, okay, well, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping that was a softball. <laughs> I, I thought I was lobbing one right across home plate here and, and nope. fucking swinging a miss from from. It's always, always good when your podcast has to start out with, have you guys ever clarified your position on Hitler? No, and you're yeah, admiring. Oh, oh, we that's have. where you want to be. Yeah. Oh, we've clarified it. And, <laughs> and we're mixed. You know? Like, there's a I lot think of angles to consider. I mean, he didn't. He invented outside. highways. He invented microphones. He invented Clearly, I, Kanye all these things. <laughs> I don't believe that. I, he invented you know, he was asphalt. Like, oh, yeah. yeah but, uh, right. They're like, cough syrup. Uh, mein Führer, we, we must... Uh, uh, Commits to Operation Blitzkrieg in in France, and then Hydraulic he said, oh, "But before we do this, I'm trying to get the gain down correctly <laughs> on my new microphone." Irrigation. And they said, "Why, well, um, Hitler? Irrigation. You're putting so much time into the SM760. <laughs> How are you going to have time to fight the war against the planet?" You have Hitler inventing irrigation now. And I said, "I said, I there's no give reason credit that for, you like, can't." Really old shit. Hitler invented the lever. Mm -hmm. We are in favor <laughs> of a German Germany and high quality audio recording <laughs> <laughs> for all. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what, he's, like, he's, he's like, he he's like the, the first guy to get into like graphics cards or something. <laughs> like, <that's what> Hitler <laughs> was. I'm, I've Did come you, up uh... with something interesting. It's called the 2060 Super. <laughs> <laughs> you watch the uh, Channel Five News guy on YouTube, right? Right, Taylor. You familiar with this guy? Uh, I, I haven't like, watched his channel, but I know it's the um, it's it, he had that other really popular channel. All yeah, gas, all no gas, breaks. no brakes. Yeah, yeah. But that was owned by a, a corporation, and he broke away with them, and has done his own thing. Has become wildly successful since then. Yes, he is I, I haven't channel watched Five his News. New channel. He is owner, producer, writer, star of Channel Five News. And uh, he has an HBO movie coming out that um, that that is um, sort of centered around January sixth, but there's a lot more to it. He really goes into um, what he refers to as dark stream media, and uh, and and some of the influences that that's had. Um, and it is the tidbits I've seen 
are awesome. Um, his interview with Don mm-hmm. Lemon, hilarious. Um, he, he he's like Don well, Lemon looked like a fool. He owns Don Lemon pretty fucking hard. I mean, dude. Don he's, Lemon always he, comes off like an he, idiot. He, he's, he, he, he's like, well, you know, I just think that big news corporations like CNN and Fox News sort of pit Americans against one another with fear mongering and this and that. And like, like has this like well thought out thing. And Don Lemon's like, well, I don't agree with any of that. Uh, just to be clear. Uh, and they <laughs> kind of move along. But but oh, all that aside, the, 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 the thing's going to be on HBO. I don't know if it's out yet. It's called This Place Rules. So I'm definitely going to huh. check that out. I saw a clip of it. I'm pretty HBO. sure it was from it where he visits a QAnon family in Georgia. Okay. I think it's like a mother, a father, and Hell like yeah. two boys. And <laughs> what do that they kid, dude, that kid, this little, he looks 10. This little blonde haired boy is spouting some hardcore QAnon shit. He's like, the, the, they, the Democrats grind up the babies to make what the, <laughs> like, like, to make like boot bootenol and all the rich elites inject it so that they stay um, young forever. And they have submarines right. and they have underground tunnels that, that, that's that what it is, the the island where they molest the children. And he's like, got he like lays the spiel out. And then the dad takes Andrew, I think his name is from Channel Five. The dad's like, come on, come here. I'll show you. I'll show you the the cue board or whatever the fuck. And he's got it on a tablet, um, like not a good one. And, <laughs> and um, Android tablet. He had an Android tablet. <laughs> <laughs> I think he had a fire tablet. Like I got a jailbroken <laughs> like give Kindle. those things away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a jailbroken Kindle. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and he's like going through the board, and and um, he pulls one up, and uh, the and, and Andrew's like. So um, you say there's a lot of things like encoded in here, hidden in the background. He's like, yeah, that's right. You got to really look deeply sometimes to see the full meaning of a post. And he's like, so here where the word sacrifice is misspelled, that's done on purpose. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. These people are smart. If they misspelled something, it was done on purpose to give a greater meaning or to hide hmm. something from them, you know? And he's like going like through this conspiracy shit and the whole family is in <laughs> on it. And not only are they like, practicing this religion i'll call it privately hmm. they're like the street people with signs and like yelling at people and the children are yelling at people oh, about they're how making like kids protest that's oh all. they, the, should, oh, they, be, they to... should be playing in the woods having fun well they, they, andrew asked the kid he's like do you wish you could still go to regular school <laughs> 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 i was like oh god i can't wait to see this because the kid's like well yes i do miss regular school <laughs> but they were poisoning my brain with their Zionist like, co- he's like, whoa, hang on a kid, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, uh, hang on a minute, like, Palestine and the Palestine. All right, and we're gonna move along and talk to your dad, Timmy. Shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. HBO is not gonna sign the checks if you keep that shit up. <laughs> HBO is not gonna sign the checks if you keep going off about Palestine. Whoa! Shut up about those make believe people. Um, no, it looks really fucking good. I love um, um, the Channel Five news shit. I think his name's Andrew. I, here's what I noticed in the um, about him, um, and because I haven't watched him in a while, uh, from the Don Lemon interview, he looked like either he used to have some bad acne, and I think part of the acne mm. was that he was living in that van and not like able to have good hygiene in there because he was grinding so hard. And like, kudos to him. Like, fuck your skin when you're grinding so goddamn hard. You're traveling from one part of the country to the next yeah. non-stop like it's it's clearly like the way to go but what i what i noticed was like looks like his skin's like a lot better like like he looked like a different man on that don lemon interview i saw he's uh, how how old do you think he is 25 27 you think so he's he's very funny very funny like, guy. like maybe when he started like 25 i feel like he's a bit older now because he's been going like four or five years so like maybe 30 something now um, but like, like when I think of him, I'm picturing those videos that are uh, at like Daytona Bike Week. Uh, yeah, and you know, like, well, what do you think about COVID? Oh, COVID don't exist. Blah, 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 it'd be blah, a blah. stressful way to get content because <laughs> it'd be like all of your content is contingent on getting goofballs, and if like you're just getting, because like think about it, like for every interview he shows where it's someone like going off in a funny, silly, entertaining way, you know he talked to 10, 12 other people who were not 
who weren't no. firing off, who weren't entertaining, who were just kind of giving normal answers. You don't think that's right, Kyle? Because that's no, that I don't think it's right. Me. That's because, definitely how it goes. But, you know, most you know people how, like, are normal. Like no, they're not going to give you a great response. Uh, well, that, that that statement you just random. made is correct, but 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 like like it mm. doesn't matter because here's the thing, Woody. When you go to AutoZone, you probably don't get recognized a lot. You go to VidCon, you'll get recognized every thirty feet or so. So like, hey. That's what's happening here. He's not interviewing people at AutoZone. He's interviewing people at Daytona Bike Week during the height of the pandemic. These, this, these people all are thinking crazy thoughts. They're all thinking. He's going to Trump rallies. It is a target-rich environment. Kyle makes you, a good it, point. He's if not, I wanted to find someone that picking. stinks, I wouldn't go to AutoZone. I would go to VidCon. No, not VidCon. Mm -hmm. um, they PAX. smell awful. Pax, Pax is really stinky. That's where you want to go. E3? E3 doesn't smell as bad. They got some good ventilation in LA. <laughs> TwitchCon, TwitchCon was up there. TwitchCon was pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Pax, See? Uh, Did you dress up in your in your get up for Twitch? No. Twitch no. Right. no. <laughs> Are you crazy? I've gone out I've gone outside once and not in this like in like a yeah. crop top. If if he sky. went to like, VidCon like that, he would have a security issue. I remember seeing Shane Dawson get mobbed a decade ago. Okay? Yeah. Like he was scared. You, granted he's a pussy but like he was scared of the crowd that had gathered i mean that like, guy was hugely popular yeah but mm. you can imagine the crowd that gathered around him they weren't that intimidating you know what i mean <laughs> yeah mostly mostly they girls, were shane dawson fans yeah, yeah and and you know like guys that look like girls yeah like finn yeah i was that was there i met him he's you a, were there. Uh, great great yeah. guy he was in the crowd <laughs> Yeah, they, wow. they had to call. He called security though to, to get Shane the, Dawson videos are the gateway drug to dressing up like a woman on Twitch. Oh, yeah, dude, like, the, the current programming so for some reason, all everyone that I meet that uh, codes they got a little bit of this in them, just a little bit. Really, Shane Dawson, yeah, humped you, his cat. <laughs> Did he, hump his he cat? knows the developers. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am. Pretty fuck his cat. I he humped his cat in the other room. I always heard he fucked his cat. <laughs> what was his cat wearing? Did he, did he penetrate the cat? <laughs> like... Was the cat a boy or a girl? Who cares? That's important. It not well, only it matters. It tells me I mean, you're not going to go in the mean... cat vagina, are you? I mean, if it's <laughs> well, if he like, was doing something gay with the cat, we need to <laughs> we need to correct. Are that. we but talking if it's a cat straight sodomy? Because that's a different story. Ew. This guy didn't actually <laughs> didn't actually like. Dude, which cat, orifice? Dude. I don't know. Zach, don't is the cat, cat better? Zach like, accused him of abusing a cat. I don't know. If I, he's I still on YouTube, you can't fuck a cat and come back from that. There's so there's no way he did. I think just not, remember that. I um, think that what was, was that girl? Um, oh, I just Whitney Wisconsin. Uh, Whitney Wisconsin was this like? Do you, you know who I'm talking about? Did dog you make fucker. that up? Just the right dog now? fucker. I, I'm I love that that you have the callback. <laughs> So Whitney Wisconsin yeah. was this like thing right. that happened on the internet for a brief time where she was like this like dirty like slutty girl from like what? Wisconsin presumably and she wanted to just like she just was posting the most nasty shit like she would go remember one she's like in like a Walmart dressing room with like another girl and like masturbating until she squirts and then she like walks up to strangers and has them smell her hand like really obnoxious gross shit but she was also like having she sex with her cool. dog she was having sex with her dog and she was very <laughs> open about talking about it and doing it. And I think there might have been videos of her doing it. I don't there know. Were, about there that. Were, there were, dude, there were really hard to watch videos of her like kissing, like making out with the dog. Make, yeah, like, full tongue, oh. like with the dog, lots of that. And like, yeah. I can't remember some of the other nasty stuff, but, but like when I talked about like her, like um, lots of like public, like gross stuff, it would be gross for like a normal person. I think it's like, somewhat not gross because she's a hot ish chick. she wasn't even good looking she's kind of a gross looking girl too yeah um, she's but... fucking dogs man yeah it's fucking, <laughs> fucking dogs. she always made a jail about for french kissing a dog that's bullshit you should be you able had... to do that uh, she she did more than kiss the dog she i mean dog, I, right it, it looks like i'm Who's on uh um... in whitney wisconsin fucking a dog the dog you think the dog's on it the dog was the victim because she was sent to jail that's no, it. the the dog is the victim because that dog's just trying to be a good pup, uh -huh. and and she's forcing him into a situation that he's uncomfortable with, and we can't know if that dog's comfortable with it. And so I can tell the dog is comfortable with more, it by his raging heart on. But yeah, you touche, touche. I'm looking on this. There's a you know those fandoms that have like Wikipedia's. So there's a a leafyishere.fandom.com. Mm -hmm. 
at talking about Whitney, Wisconsin, she made a video called 10 Reasons Why Girls Should Have Sex with Dogs. It's been like since buzz. deleted. And she apparently went through many reasons that she thinks that dog sex is not only acceptable, but beneficial for the woman, which it's, is, I would, you know, I would say red flag. You know, I feel like you guys are being super judgmental. Like if you just <laughs> take away your societal norms and say fucking a dog, who's the loser in this situation? No. She likes it. The dog loves it. There's I mean, a, you can call was... me a prude, but I don't think you should. <laughs> I don't think you should fuck animals. I feel <laughs> like you're being really close minded about this. That, that, that was even no, like we, we should only murder and eat them. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because yeah. at least that's utilitarian. Actually, actually, I'm changing my own mind. Oh, right, let me pull you back from it's this. Utilitarian was... <laughs> to come if you're horny. <laughs> That was, get, that was, get me, pull me off the ledge, Finn. You know, pull me off the ledge. Was, let, let, let me say what the okay. worst part about this is. Like, like yeah. if I told Taylor a, a story about someone like fucking a cooked chicken, he would think it was funny. But you tell him a story about someone fucking a live chicken, and he wants to send them to prison. Bigot. But the, see, I'm, I'm <laughs> I've never, I've, I've never in my in my life had my mind so blown by, <laughs> by something. You're, you're je like. You're honestly right. <laughs> like, you're, like, that's that's true. The like, thing if someone is said it's they put their dick in dog. a cooked chicken, I would laugh. It, it, because the dog's a guy and he's actively engaging this, and I'm assuming loving all this attention that he gets oh, from cool. her. Where is the victim in this? Could I okay, let me let me let We me, are let all me, brought low by the by the filthy actions of those people. I, I we think are all we're the victims as a, as a of, of this. Okay. Let me take um, the the niche opinion that we shouldn't let's let's pretend we're in the society where fire, don't, okay. hey don't break it's the illusion. Right. You got fans out the there. <laughs> oh my god. Let, let's let's pretend some of the that video, the like top ten reasons. You're supposed she to was gone like you know, she she was she was talking in the video about like, well, they love it. They just love to eat pussy. Did you know <laughs> that? And she says, well, technically, sometimes I got to put a little peanut butter on there or like a little bit of food on there. That's so a pro gamer move. There's a bit of there's a bit of manipulation involved. That is a violation of Short consent, ribs. even if it was OK. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. She's Risk putting it. a delicious dab of peanut butter on mm. her hoo-ha to get the dog to pay attention to Language. it. And suddenly <laughs> Am I we're acting like the dog is a victim in this. The I would dog is that. that what would, dog is happy as that, Woody? Like, like if you went down there with your with your special lady, whoever she may be, and and, and you and, <laughs> and you found a tasty treat, like 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 you right. like, oh, you thought of me. How fucking considerate! I'm gonna There's... request a maraschino cherry next. Oh time. Yeah. yeah, if she's got like a skittle taped to her clip, <laughs> <laughs> taste the rainbow. <laughs> mm, like, Delicious and rainbow. sugary. Is that and a yeast pink infection. skittle in your asshole? <laughs> Huh. Yeah, yeah, I do recognize the danger Star Wars. Star Wars. It's really the about me. Flavors. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. the, the, what's that nerd's rope? Oh, <laughs> nerd's yeah. rope. Yeah. I'm what if she puts man. a red starburst on her pussy? You'll just go, ugh, no. I like Wait, red no. starburst. Yeah, I, 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 red I, I, the value. yellow ones I don't like. It's the yellow ones I don't like. Cool. No, idiot. <laughs> yellow and yellow and pink are far and away the absolute S tier flavors of starburst. Red is the lowest of low tier. Lowest of low tier. I may as well get none. You know those little things you used to get for Halloween as a kid that had two Starbursts individually wrapped in there? Yes. And it was random colors. In plastic. And like clear and every, plastic. Yeah, it was clear plastic. And Remember every now and later, you'd get one Sorry, that had... Oh, I know now and laters. Those suck. But um, <laughs> <laughs> you'd get those Starbursts and sometimes you'd get two pinks. Two pinks was the best pull. Okay. It was like two rares. A pink and a yellow, good pull. Two yellows, fine pull. Two I hate reds, candies. awful, awful. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I hate Skittles and Starburst, and I haven't had one since I was like in the third grade. They make me sick to my stomach. Like, like you think really? about what that is. Think about when you're chewing it, like what it's turning into. It's turning into like this goo. That it's just, just sugar the bottom. sludge. Oh, it's sugar sludge in your stomach. Like, the idea of eating a whole bag of Skittles right now makes me feel a little bit like nauseous thinking about it. I hate yeah. that candy. Sometimes <laughs> like I'll I'll get high on my own supply because like like as far as like candy and snacking goes, because like I am not tempted by sweets at all. And so if someone's like, Oh, I ate four candy bars, I'll be like, 
<laughs> grow some willpower, buddy. <laughs> and then, but like l- last night, I ate a family size bag of pretzel thins. Uh, have you got those pretzel thin, those pretzel yeah, thin crackers? I've had them before. You can get the everything bagel seasoning on there. Oh my God. It is. I was high out of my mind just eating those all night. It was tremendous. But I look at it. I look at the bag the next day and like surreptitiously, I suppose I consumed uh, 2,600 calories. of. (laughs) (laughs) I can't judge it. I spent two weeks surviving on uh, fast food. I, I, you know what's funny is like this morning I was like, God, why is this such a brutal morning shit? (laughs) <laughs> I, 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 I was I, like, oh, oh yeah <laughs> what you did last night i i had a this was a few this is a few months ago like i think i mentioned this on the show that like i was really baked late at night and i wanted something kind of sweet and i didn't have anything in my house other than fiber one brownies that kind of tasted oh. sweet oh, and i must have eaten five or six of them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> And the next day, I was like shitting for the fifth time, and like substantive amounts, <laughs> like not one of those times where it's like you wow. have your big morning shit and like you have a follow up shit that's not very satisfactory. It's like, what's going on here? No, I was sitting down to shit and having full evacuations every time. I like to think you lost weight on those brownies. I definitely did because I, I think what it did is it just packed my intestines so full of fiber that it forced out. A lot of the old cured. But there was meats. a hamburger in there from six years ago that just yeah. got cleared. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, and, and today I went to the. I'm, I'm stoked for after the show. I have, I have some prosetta. I no no. Well, yeah, no big poop. But I, I bought. I went out to the store today. I got so prosetta. I got capicola. I got are these uh, hard salami. These are uh, Italian deli meats. I, and I, I got a funny. whole bunch of them. I got prosciutto. I got uh, some Ritz hey, crackers. Gabagool. I got some gabagool. <laughs> I got some. Uh, so I'm doing to yeah, you what capicola. you did to this to the candy bar. Part. Like, I am not remotely tempted by these strange meats that I've never heard of before. That's it's like gross some meat. willpower, Taylor. <laughs> Meanwhile, you put a carb in front of me, and it's like, why'd you have to put it in front? Jackie made me homemade chicken soup because I've been so cold for days driving my motorcycle <laughs> across the country in December. <laughs> It's a very cold activity. And and I would like, even get to my hotel room, crank the heat up, and I'm just not warming up. It would take hours for me to warm up. And then the next morning, off we go again. Just cold, cold, cold. Jackie makes homemade chicken soup, and it's very good. And uh, I have that waiting for me. And then, of course, she's like, do you want some croissants with that? I'm like, no. She gives them to me anyway. I eat them all today. Just homemade homeless. chicken soup. Uh, and and uh, she's like, do you want some crackers with that? Like, no. You know, I'm back on my cut now. I've had crackers? enough. I've had enough. I ate the whole sleeve. The whole fucking sleeve Ooh. of crackers oh, is gone. Oh, God. Wait, wait, Just what kind one. of like, saltines? Mr. Wilbur. Yeah. Saltines. Uh, you know, you know what I prefer over saltines? As a kid, I would like crumble up the saltines. Not Ritz. No, that's not a Probably proper soup cracker, I'm afraid. You. Oh, no, soup you wanna... cracker. Okay. Yeah, those little oyster crackers. Those little oyster crackers mm. are perfect because they're they're the same like thing as a saltine, but in little salty like portion size Ooh, oyster I'm bites. Hungry. Yeah, they're good. I made I... a homemade chicken noodle soup the other day. Oh yeah. And I I, I yeah I uh I had made it super healthy, and then I was like, hmm. So it's just broth and vegetables and the white meat chicken. Hmm. And then I just added a bunch of cream to it, and it was so much goddamn better. It was uh-huh. so much better. It turned into a creamy soup that actually tasted oh, like yeah. life, like it was a real thing that you could taste. It Dude, so it's a, it, you'd be hard-pressed to find something that doesn't improve by adding cream. Yeah, cream's a real winner. Mm. It's tremendous. Dairy products are the best. I love cheese. I got a brick of Gouda, and I got a brick of Havarti in my fridge. <laughs> It's gonna cat out at this point. Uh, what are just, these things? Huda and and Bavardi? no, G- Gouda and Havarti. They're kinds this of man's cheese never been that, to a I'm grocery going, store. that I'm going. That I'm going to slice up. What is acting like your name is Star Wars characters? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like, yeah. So I got some bread and some cheddar and some Pepsi, and he's like, "What the hell?" Yeah. <laughs> Kyle, can you clarify it for me? Havarti is not an exotic cheese. Okay, no, Gouda not... does sound like a Star Wars character. The other one sounds like a city in Cuba. None of these sound like food. <laughs> and Yoda. And Yoda. <laughs> no, you need to get... Honestly, the only good. reason that you're not all in on Italian deli meats, like, you know, getting some 
Capricola, some Sopraceta going is because you haven't given it a fair shake. Capricola you would is clearly a zodiac sign, and you're just fucking with me at this point. <laughs> oh my lord! No, Capricola <laughs> is what you want. Capricola, it's it's well, shoot up. You it's know, Tony Capricola is they're they're impulsive and and lucky. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're impulsive and lucky. They have high cholesterol. <laughs> that was uh, that was Tony Soprano's favorite deli meat. He like he liked the Capricola, the Gabba. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah, the, the Gabagool. They call, I've never heard that someone in real I've life call it Gabagool, but yeah, Gabagool and no. Capicola are the same. I saw Michael Scott try it. He he tried to order at a restaurant. It was really funny. She's like, "Excuse Gabagool. me," and he and because he doesn't know exactly what he's saying, he's like the Gabagool, <laughs> the Gab- <laughs> and they're just like, "Just bring him the Gabagool." Dude, I, I've said before, like the reason, like I love this stuff. And like when I'm eating a bunch of salted meats, I think of like happiness, is because like my grandpa was a butcher. And so, like, he had all of this shit all the time. Not the same grandpa. My the grandpa, my dad's riding? side was a no, 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 different grandpa. The okay. my my the butcher grandpa, he died in like two thousand three or something. The, the bull riding grandpa, he's still alive. But uh, like, I just remember, like, he would bring home meats and things, and I'd be over there, and it'd be like, this is like. And I also, it, it, I was also poisoned from it with like meat because I remember there is a very, you know, those memories you have as a child that are visceral, and like that that like permeated you, and you like can your, still remember. Did your yeah. mom hate you too? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's yeah, that's an underrated joke. <laughs> that's, that's really <laughs> but I remember watching like what was, rookie of the year. Yeah, that stupid movie and the guy with his cranked up arm, the guy on the Yankees, the bad guy had mm-hmm. the biggest fucking he had Mark McGuire sized forearms and he had a chaw in. And I remember I, I could still I, I'm there when I close my eyes. I, I was sitting at my kitchen table and I was eating ribs that my grandpa had brought for us. And I remember like I was watching Rookie of the Year and I saw that guy with his giant forearms and I'm like if I just keep eating meat I can be like that guy. (laughs) I remember having that thought and being like if I just keep eating meat I can be a huge guy like that guy with the baseball bat for the Yankees in (laughs) Rookie of the Year. So (laughs) so when you go to the deli aisle are you thinking this could be it? I'm thinking today's the day <laughs> we storm that beach and we become Mark McGuire. <laughs> I know, see, my problem with all those Italian meats, like the they all taste like pepperoni to me, and pepperoni is just huh. salty, greasy, chewy meat. That's um, I would say I, I I prefer turkey and ham and uh, and pastrami, like like so much, and roast beef, like so much turkey. more. Yeah, like like a good turkey, like like a Cajun turkey or like some sort of honey turkey or something, like some sort of fancy that's, one that has a bit of flavor. That's the most ridiculous thing you've like ever shaved seen. Shaved really show. thin, um, but but everything else, salami, capicola, pepperoni, they're all the exact same taste to me. It's the, it's, it's that not, greasy, though. salty pepperoni taste. What about sopraceta? I can't. A nice spicy. I, I I can't picture sopraceta. I'm not I a fucking put butcher. All these things on a plate. <laughs> would you be able to identify them visually? Yes. Absolutely, one hundred percent. I could go. That's capicola. That's sopraceta. That's hard salami. That's, you know, whatever it is. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not. I'm not a savant here. It's just I have been to the grocery store, <laughs> and so I can see that and go, oh, a nice thin strip with a fat layer about two thirds of the way through. That's capicola, or that's prosciutto, or that's you know sopraceta. Are these Usually, things, so percent is a little redder. Are any yeah. of these meats like directly from a cow? Like, is this a part of the cow that differentiates them, or is it a thing they do to the cow afterwards that I turns it into a lot it of pork this? that you're hearing it's, right now? There's a, there's a lot of pork, uh, oh, okay. a huge amount of pork in there. Um, oh, is it? But yeah, cow it's, it's and mostly pork mixed together. It can be. No, like that's like, pr- like, pr- well. like pr- prosciutto, like that's just pork. Like that's uh-huh. just a slice of of pork. Um. Is so, there one that has cow and pork mixed together? Yeah. Yeah, that there are is, multiple. That's bologna. Mixing no, cows tell and goat. pigs and eating them like that, I think, is grosser than getting your dog to What is you. that top one? What is that that goofy one to the left of the white Taylor, stuff? Taylor, you were this legend, this meat oh, identifying that's a, that, that's a, that's a um 
it's is that the baloney that has that shit in the middle of it? I hate the baloney with the shit in the middle of it. The, <laughs> that, no, right, so, I do so, not like that. So what Top that is, right, that's turkey. So, so what that is, that's traditional bologna. <laughs> no, that's pork and, belly. And, and what they have, they haven't uh, incorporating the, the ingredients together um, um, as, uh, as homogeneously uh, as they do uh, in the U.S. So it's the same ingredients. It's just got the big chunks of fat in there. That's I, not I think that looks better, Oh, right? I, I was thinking it was kind of an olive loaf. That looks like thin sliced uh, bologna to me in the top center. I hate olive loaf. Top right. All that stuff. That's turkey, right? I don't know. It looks like bacon fat. Turkey? Maybe. No, no. That's probably pork, like belly. pork belly. Yeah. Mm. That's just that's so, it's all belly. fat. Like it's just like that might even be skin on the back. Like that might. I, I don't know. I don't want to look at this anymore. I think I don't even think these are real pictures of meat. I think they're I'm so hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> just, I, we talked about this before. Like the last hour of every show, I just start talking oh, about food. I want to see Kyle's toy. Yeah, I, I talked about this before the show a little bit. Like, there's this YouTube channel. Um, I think originally he tested like pliers and power drills and shit. So there's like tons of those videos. But the cool videos is when he goes on Amazon and he finds like what's actually the brightest uh, Do you know flashlight. His name? No, and um, I, I could I could find it. Oh, I'll, is that I'll, the brightest I'll flashlight? For it. This is the most dangerous laser that he could find on Amazon. Shine it on the wall Ooh. behind you. Oh. <laughs> Dude, if that's awesome. It, that if I shine like it on the wall, saber. if I you it, are shining it on the ceiling. It, yeah, but the ceiling's What's not this in the called? Shop. I'm gonna buy it. Wait, oh, okay. if you right, put here, it on the wall on. behind you, I gotta be careful. If I camera. shine it in my eye, I'll fucking literally do damage. If so, first of all, he has a mechanism so that he can test these things. This one was sixty five dollars off Amazon again, and it's one point four watts, I think. Those numbers don't mean anything to most people, but just so you know, like wicked lasers were are, used to be one watt, and they come with safety goggles, and they're full of warnings, and there's not mm -hmm. just a fucking button in the back. Okay, there was a code you had to put in to, to access a wicked laser, like like you had to memorize. It's like two on two anyway. One of those flick. This is so ones. dangerous. <laughs> it it actually causes pain to look at the beam when it's cast onto a surface. So I haven't really played with it much. I don't play with it. Look at it. I need like idea. just I have one an second. Idea. I need to be heard. <laughs> Kyle. Yeah. Please go to the bathroom. Grab toilet paper, the thinnest paper I can think of. Okay. And see if you can set it on fire or yeah. at least like burn yeah. it. Go to the bathroom. Take out your yeah. penis. Take it. I think I'd like <laughs> oh <my laughs> get it with the laser. Report back the results. Send, send me a picture of your penis. You can like and gamma ray yourself. I also damaged my my a dog ate my sunglasses the other day, so now I look like. <clears throat> All right, I want you to wear those sunglasses and close one eye. <laughs> what That's what I'm doing. Of course. So shine it. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh, shit. No way! Keep holding. Keep. We'll tell you when the fire's begun. What are you talking about? I can see through my eyelid. You can see it in your eyelid. Jesus can, Christ. Of course. I can absolutely see it through my eyelids. It's like a welding That's art. Regular paper. Yeah, hold it still. Oh oh my God. Oh. Actually, I can't tell if that's just the heat. I think I'm or... looking at smoke still. I think it's, oh, yeah, yeah, it's just smoke. I think. Kyle, is that on fire or is it just smoke? I have my eyes closed. Open them real fucking quick. <laughs> um, it's like there's like cinders. Oh, it's not quite there yet. Oh, the ceiling's oh, on fire! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh god! It's the sky! <laughs> Wait, Kyle, what is that called? I want. I'm gonna buy one. <laughs> Are you allowed? Um, it's gonna, I feel like you should. You personally should not. The, the room. The room I don't stinks. think the room I, smells like smoke now. This was like a little like napkin for my breakfast. What is what is it called, by the way? Um, let me go on my like Amazon card or whatever. That's the easiest. How much way was it? Sixty five dollars. That's a steal, man. Yeah, the the old wicked lasers were about one watt, and I think they were two hundred bucks or something. Is that a? Do you charge that, or are there like a bunch yeah, of D like, cells in there? I hate to point it at my face, so I'm just gonna put my palm in front of it. But um, no, don't let no. Go ahead. But but there's like a couple ways to charge it. You've got a USB thing and a like a S or no, the old micro um, or, or mini um, USB. Can you hold it called? against the wall and see if you can get like a discolored point on the wall? So. I doubt it, but you'll get an idea of just how like it's a rental. Like, you, like now you can see like why it's hard to look at what you're doing. Like, like my eyes hurt. Like I'm getting a headache, but um, it's outside. It lights up everything. 
I, I I have to be careful because you're not allowed to shine stuff like this into the air. Like I'm in the city, so aircraft are going over all the time. You shine you that. You can't in shine that stuff. Oh well, that's. Like, it's what an am I supposed to do. Look where you are. As long as you're not like shining it at an aircraft, you're fine. But if you were to target an aircraft, they'll track you down and hit you with federal. Um, um, Isn't um, he in St. Louis? Yeah, I'm in St. Louis. Uh, I'll tell you I where mean, I had the most fun I, I with mine. I, I was out in Texas. Target an Taylor. aircraft. Here, we're just here on the how east far coast, we have can wave flying it around. vessels called planes. <laughs> I know oh, they have not <laughs> <laughs> Here in the Midwest, which I assume doesn't have them yet. Hey, I'm in the one area of Missouri that we have that. Well, the two area, <laughs> Kansas City and St. Louis, right at the edge. <laughs> All of Missouri between that, no. Dude, if, if in, even oh. in the middle of nowhere, there's a chance that there's a for a paraglide paramotoring woody in the end just fucking, yes, right. there is you're gonna wing on Woody's fire. gonna be yelling down like you're letting you're letting my wing on fire <laughs> <laughs> just turn it up not the reserve too jesus this is really too. intentional so we're just tactically burning your, <laughs> your wing that you thing is awesome thing. kyle i really want one yeah can you link it for sixty-five dollars, I think I want one. Dude. I think we should all get one. Get Finn, I think you should join in the mix. Let's all do it. <laughs> let's all buy laser pointers and let's all see how how close to the line of illegality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use it to light the candles in my house. <gasps> that's kind of dope. That's that kinda is? A cool yeah. idea. I've got a mahogany teakwood candle that's just itching to be lit in the other room. Ooh, it's gonna smell even tremendous. That with a yeah. laser. Yeah. Um, Are you a candle man, Finn? No, Do you always have a candle work. burning? It's too much work. I'm not that much of a woman. I do the whole oh, I, I'm, I'm a big candle man. I love candle. If I'm having company over, I have at least a candle burning. Usually I have one in my main area burning and then one in my guest bathroom burning. Like usually it's a it's a it's a Miss Myers candle, the lemon verbania. That mm. is the cleanest scent they have. Shout out to to Miss Myers Candles, it, not a sponsor, but a tremendous company. It doesn't give a weird vibe at all to get. I feel like if I walked into a dude's house and there was a candle burning, I'd think that maybe this was something else. This wasn't just you know playing card together or like you know. <laughs> no, I, 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 yeah, you I want to have candles. That. It's polite. That's, that's the goal. I mean, oh, okay. yeah, maybe not. If you, I were having any of you over to my house, there would be candles burning when you arrived because absolutely, like, my house it, too. it's going to smell nice. There'd be a I've spoon got a, on a the little table, bit of a secret. Everything. My dogs are old, <laughs> and it is hard to have two old dogs the size of farm animals and not have a, at least a little bit of dog Very smell. Very true, yeah. So when you walk in my house, it smells like, I don't know, mango citrus. Vanilla dog. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Well, no, really, it kills the dog smell. It, like In the same way that candles are kind of magic at putting out like fart smells and stuff in the bathroom, they're pretty magic at making the dog go away, too. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe yeah, I gotta get um, into candles. But, but yeah, I highly recommend that laser. There's a link down. There. I already um, bought it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, to, for those oh shit! Who... I clicked on Zach's link. Is it the right one? I think they're the same thing. I think they're the exact same thing. I clicked his and it took me. Back oh, it says last purchase today. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> last <Yeah>. purchase. Today. <laughs> um, yeah, it's um, it's. Re I rec also recommend that you get some goggles or some glasses for it. And I wouldn't cheap out on those because it's I'm painful not gonna be to a pussy about it. It know. hurts to operate it. Like I feel like I just operated an arc welder. Um, it's uh, it's it's uncomfortable. Um, so I'm gonna order some good ones before I fuck around with it too much. It it at least it didn't say pet safe like some of the others on the list because while this was the most powerful, there were like two or three others that were also like in that burning paper lighting matches blinding mm -hmm. people kind of range this will blind someone a fucking kilometer away <laughs> like, like, like this Fuck. thing is so scary um it's a, and i like that they made it look like a lightsaber though that's kind of nifty yeah. um i don't know my other one was just kind of black and aluminum which didn't look too cool the one from wicked lasers i, don't I know just what they bought now. taylor's candles too i spent like 90 dollars in the last five minutes sick <laughs> those I, I just linked them those mrs myers soy candles tremendous Tremendous. Either get the lemon verbania or the lavender scent. I don't need any more. And it depends on your mood. Like if I'm <laughs> having people over and I want the house to come off clean and like tidy, I go lemon. If I want it to come off a little more relaxing, I go lavender. <clears throat> like it's it's all about candles. Candles made, are top tier. The last candles I made smelled like coffee. Pretty cool, actually. What did you use? Was it essential oil you put in? Yeah, like coffee yeah. essential oil? 
Uh, it might have been called mocha or something, but yeah. Oops. Interesting. I, yeah. I've never smelled a car. Like you, a lot of those scents that you wouldn't think would be that good, like a cigar. Like I don't like smoking cigars, but like I've bought, I had my, my brother, or he, he bought me like last Christmas uh, a candle that was like called leather and cigar or something like that. And you would think that would be a gross smell. It smells right. mahogany. It's, it's a very mahogany, like hearty. I'll take your word for it that those are smell. good. I generally oppose good. guys trying to be too masculine. Like, like, it's like, bro, you've gone too far and now you seem insecure. Like, oh, do you have gasoline smelling candles? Yeah. Fuck you. Like, it, are you too manly to burn l- l- vanilla? The, 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 suddenly you'll think people think you're gay because you have a you, vanilla. You're candle. too much of a man to simp yeah. the fenster. Yeah. <laughs> You're too much of a man to give a British man a thousand dollars on the prospect, and he might suck your dick. Put on the skirt, or you're not a real man. Exactly. You put on a skirt, you're you're showing off some confidence. Oh, to me. dude, get on your you knees wanna... and open your mouth. Or you're Let me not do a, a very masculine man. thing and prove how uh, masculine I am. I got my testosterone checked. Look at this shit. Uh-huh. My fuck it. That, that means seven hundred, baby. That's a good rate. That's a good 700. number. Seven hundred. Yeah. I wait. I don't even know. 23 N mall. 23 N mall. Like Kyle, I need you to interpret oh, what that means. He's in the fucking metric system on a different slider as well. So he has to explain what that is. I've, <laughs> I tried to, I knew that a bunch of, I think that's the European or British thing, but I think if I Google it real quick, it's like 700 or something like that. N mall. Yeah. Who... What's the normal range? Like what, four what's, to what's seven? The, there's really no the such thing. But 700 is, uh, they, they did like an average of Olympic athletes and they were around the 550, 600 range. So seven hundred is 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 very good. If if you're like pounding steroids, you're gonna be like in the thousands, like 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 fifteen hundred or two thousand or something. But like if you're just on TRT, you're probably not gonna be like crazy high above seven hundred, maybe a thousand. It's seven hundred. Finster has way higher T than me. Which mm-hmm. yeah, maybe like, on one double, hand he's, he's double young, the so T, you... double mine. Yeah, like really? about double mine too. Yeah. And, Fuck, and... Am I wrong about the number? <laughs> no, I, oh, you're no, younger, no. so I'd expect you to have higher T than me. And, but and, I think if you looked wrong. at it, someone might guess mine was higher. And I don't know. Well, as you yeah. yeah, as you get older, you lose some. What's and... the what's the other measurement that you use? For what? Like uh, dial? No, to like a what's it called? Like maybe like n like seven hundred watt. Like what's the number? What's the uh, word? nanograms per deciliter? I think, but but it's not something that I look at terribly often. I think it's nanograms per deciliter. So when I saw your thing, it, it's it, that's just very confusing to me. It's like you might as well have said you you weigh three three and a half stone. It's... I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> uh, I don't like the the weight measurements that have low numbers, right? Like yeah. like yeah, stones it. nuts. A fourteen stone. Yeah, is one stone is like twenty two pounds. I'd say a stone is twenty two pounds, right? So it's, it's lose something one like that, stone. Yeah. You're a different person. Yeah. yeah. Like it's such that is a, I, yeah. I lost like I think I had calculated like my total weight loss from my heaviest to now is like thirty six pounds or like two stone. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> it sucks. It sounds so much. Less you lose what, what country yeah, uses cool. stone? Does anyone use Us? stone? Like actually, we do. They yeah. do. They're the only by one. Yeah. For it's real, pro- you'll it's say like, hey, hey, I'm what? weigh I'm what I weigh nine stone. I, I bet <laughs> they do. I, let's take a guess on who else does stone because there's got to be one of the fucking like. Members of the empire. I bet like fucking India shit. does, where they're like, India I weigh 4.5 stone. Oh, we only hit her with 15 stones. Oh, that's a different thing. <laughs> that is a different <laughs> Iran. thing. <laughs> Australia <laughs> and Ireland use stone. Australia. Yeah. All, the, all the UK, I guess. I all thought, the, all I the thought provinces Australia might have. I thought Australia Ireland, might that makes any sense. Of those Af- I bet there's African nations somewhere down there that, that are like, you know, still using stone. I was mm-hmm. watching this whole like info series on YouTube about um, uh, I can't remember which uh, which king had his had his people down there cutting their hands off to, to, to get the rubber. But uh, mm-hmm. it was fascinating. They were um, so they, it created this huge problem where you had this group of guys who were like forcing the rubber people, the, the villagers to farm rubber and they they were told, all right, if they don't get enough rubber, cut their hands off. And then he sits back to the king and he's like, the fuck? How are they going to get enough rubber the next week if they don't have their hand? Yeah. It's a terrible long term strategy. He's like, cut everything else off. 
is the king of Belgium. But not their hands. <laughs> you barbarians, you fools. Like cut their ears and their and their and their, and their noses off. Not their not whose their idea was hands. hand originally? The managers, um, the like so, mid, and, middle Yeah, middle yeah, like whoever's like running things there to like King right. Leopold. That but, was but, his name. But but what really um, cut an ear off. Damn, but this geez. exacerbated no. things tremendously because think about this. Fine. What happened was they um they started getting paid by um for how many hands they would bring back because it, it seemed like they'd done a good job enforcing the rules but they would just start cutting hands off innocent people because now hands were currency and sometimes they'd have they'd, they'd be like hey, hey keeping a few hands back <laughs> like, <laughs> like hide a few of their hands Christ, it was a that whole... is fucking mm -hmm. horrific yeah yeah really horrific um cut a lot of their hands and and, and feed off and the children Poor too people. the chill not just the the man rubber farmers but the women and the children. The children, too. It's pretty obvious, but I, I, I had this a, a management course. I, I, I have an undergrad in business. And um, you get the behavior that you incentivize. Boom. So they, they showed us this case study where what they wanted was for people to do is they work work in teams, right? You know, we're all on the same project. I help you. You help me. Uh, together, the whole team does better than it would have if we were in silos. But they bonused them based on their individual performance. So people weren't working in teams. People were pretty much sabotaging each other because it helped them get bonuses by competition, right? They, they had whiteboards up there where people were tracking how they were doing against their coworkers because they wanted the reward, the airplane tickets, the hotel, whatever it is they were getting incentivized with. And I look back to your cutting off hands. That guy didn't want hands cut off, but he was incentivizing middle management to do it. <clears throat> And yeah. uh, I think about that all the time. Heck, I, I like Jackie will like, whatever, give me bad news. And it's like, all right, respond well to this bad news or you won't get it next time. Next time you'll get, you know, something less wow. true. You know, mm. like I, I use it all over the place. Like incentivize you and, and, and respond the way that will give you what you're looking for next time through. Oh, I like mm. that. That's really smart. Good relationship advice. No shocker. Mm. Woody's full of it. He's, he's lasted <laughs> this long somehow. <laughs> <laughs> not by accident can't the be the secret is those cute ass backpack straps man all these years Dude, she came in yeah. here she loved this backpack <laughs> when she brought she's me like, the lemonade and the coffee yeah. she's like you look so cute mm -hmm. I don't know like, this I'm glad to see you it. double strap and it stay safe baby yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. don't want to like throw your shoulder out or anything <laughs> I guess I would I, I, to this day, I don't know if I'm secure enough to fucking double strap it. I think I'd still throw that bitch on the right side and let her go. You know, I go I both just, ways. Just... Like, it, it, get an airport <laughs> or something where, uh, see, that's how masculine I am. I'll, I'll go both ways. Uh, but, mm -hmm. like, yeah, at an airport Whatever or something, do I wear one strap or two? All these people will never see me again. They, they typically don't know who I am. I actually get recognized at airports. But, like, by and large, people don't know who I am or, or don't care. And uh, I still mix it up. I might go one I, I feel like if I go one strap, it's my own insecurity. I have a single strap backpack. It's like a it like goes, you know, across that way, like like fucking wharf from Star Trek. And uh, it just I don't know. It's pretty comfy. I, I got sent to me a long time ago by a company that makes good ones. And I just kept it all those years. But I um, backpack. this I actually have my <laughs> this is the backpack I use when I need one. It's by Ogeo. And I yeah, I, I've seen it before. It used huh. to be pretty dope. I, I love this backpack. Now it's pretty dirty. It's been a while. Uh, Joe Lozon is a backpack aficionado. He is totally into backpacks. He'll like go on websites and look at new backpacks. He's always got like the dopest, <laughs> most stylish backpacks. And he's the one that sent me to that. But now he's into like, backpacks. Welcome to Pimp My Backpack with Joe Lozon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we I know you do. like pockets, so we put pockets <laughs> in your pockets. <laughs> I almost want to hit that. Up again. It's a trapper keeper. <laughs> we got a PlayStation 2 in the back of your backpack. <laughs> Yeah. Now I you can play it and upset all the people around you at the airport. Mm. <laughs> oh, now your backpack, old snack packs. You no, still I'm not backpacks? I'm what Italian. you rocking now? Show me the backpack you got. Because he was always like, he was always current on like the the coolest backpacks. Current on the back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know the kids are wearing Jan Sport nowadays. <laughs> but I don't you know, know about that. Have you seen this like this week's issue of Book and Bag? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, there's Book and a bag new, magazine that's, that's like a, a rich British guy, like with a <laughs> coat on with a with a jet. Have you seen jacket. what Eddie Bauer's been up to, my lord? <laughs> I guarantee if Joe sees this, he's gonna be like, Yeah, I mean, I, I know backpacks. I know what Samsonite, you? more like Smapsonite. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having, having like inside jokes about backpack brands <laughs> for, for your backpack. <laughs> nice zipper. <laughs> <laughs> what's that Samson, thing called i, I bet like he knows Wayne's like all right. the technical names for the parts you know that little hook that's right in the dead center in the back that you would hang your backpack on oh. in shit school i bet that's got a name he knows it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I bet he knows. his is reinforced <laughs> oh yeah that, that's a that's a carbide steel hanger things like that, rivet it on that's a wolf Ooh. nozzle all it's right, and it's nozzle. double str- it's double Got a, threaded. A dope spot for your laptop. It's all protected yes. there, both sides. You can throw it down the stairs and only wreck your laptop. Dude, I've been- <laughs> <laughs> I've taken that backpack all the over, backpack right? will be fine. <laughs> that backpack you want. In, I don't even know how many countries it's been in. But it like my goodness. Six or seven. I I uh, I buy my luggage off of Amazon um because I have this thought. But like one of my first flights ever, maybe my first flight ever luggage, uh, Kitty's luggage got lost. And uh, and that 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 struck me immediately. Oh, two things happened. One, the paintball company would not give me a free bag. Those cheap cocksuckers. Just saying. And um, and so I would never buy one because I'm not. Oh, wait, they did give me a free bag. That's right. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. Sorry. I forgot y'all gave me that free bag. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, name, people I, company will love that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> they'll be promotion. Um, yeah. um, no, they did give me a bag. That's right. No, I always use that paintball bag because it, it was so overbuilt and like made to keep equipment safe in some ways um, that it that was just and it held a tremendous amount. It was a bit TARDIS like in that way. But if I if I, obviously I don't use that for normal trips, that's for paintball trips or like filming trips. But if I'm just traveling, I get the cheapest Amazon shit I can I can find. Like really? like like real like like I have this big orange cocksucker now that like you tap it with your fingernail and you can hear how hollow and weak it is. And it shows up with skid marks. It looks like someone took a fucking motorcycle, did a burnout on one side. No cracks, no breaks. Everything's in there. Like like it doesn't come apart. And I just like. I don't know. I don't have a use case for tough luggage because it's never going to... It's going in the trunk of my car onto the airport. They'll do whatever they do to it. I don't expect it to go well. Uh, and then it's coming back to me. But I don't put anything in there that I'm not prepared to lose. I just damaged my... Oh, Yeah, I, I linked it. I, I just damaged my luggage, and now I'm deciding whether or not I want to buy this thing or not. I actually have one, but it's all filled with my motorcycle stuff. I need one for trips. And I have a strong preference for backpacks that have compartments. I like to move my dirty clothes or clean clothes nice. into the dirty clothes afterwards. It's just too big. And I'm not sure if I really want to, like, I, for a weekend trip, goodness gracious, I could fit. You know like, what I want? For, for a clothes. weekend trip, this is beyond. You know what? I, it's a yeah, lot. Me, Do you see how short on, that handle on. is? That's because the bag right. is, like, waist high. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a long handle. when. That's a pretty you know. wild bag. I. I was going the other way when I pictured like a fancy bag. You ever see uh, that Tom Cruise movie, Joe versus the Volcano? No. no. Tremendous movie. One of his early ones. It's got Meg Ryan playing three or maybe four different roles. And mm-hmm. uh, it's about a man living. Oh, in yeah. Home. Movies where the same actor plays a bunch of different roles. Usually great. <laughs> it's, a, it's a it's a it's a it's a very, very good movie. Um, and, it, you know, it's uh, it's that part's comedic. I guess the whole thing is the idea is that this millionaire billionaire maybe pays tom hanks to throw himself into a volcano um he needs uh-huh. tom to do it because so it's the not Islanders... like the nutty professor no no it's serious very serious film it's honestly about tom there's a lot of like he's gonna die right there's no yeah there's... yeah okay. yeah tom, tom tom hanks has a terminal condition he is he, he oh. believes he's dead and this guy's gonna pay him. Um, mm-hmm. He's basically saying, like, everything's on the house. Like, do whatever you want with my card. Have fun. But on this day, you got to throw yourself in the volcano because the people of this island need someone sacrificed to it. And I can't remember the rigmarole for why it's important to him, but it is. It's like business wise, he needs those people on his side. They need a man thrown in the volcano. Mm-hmm. Tom Hanks agrees to the deal. And uh, like, like one of the first things he does with like the unlimited. Are, are you credit pranking cards, me? Is this a real movie? It's a great yeah. movie. I cried. Stop cry at laughing. All. This is serious. 
It's okay. not serious. This is a no, case. It, it, it doesn't but, sound serious. <laughs> no, but if you want to look up some cool luggage, look up. Because <laughs> that's what this, you know, you kept asking questions and we kept going down the road, but I, this is all about luggage, God damn it. Okay. Joe versus the volcano, <laughs> luggage. Like, look at the luggage that, because when Tom Hanks gets the, uh, the, the credit card to buy anything he wants, first thing he does, you know, gets a suit, gets a, gets a shave, gets all that stuff. But he also he's going to be a traveler now, so he gets the most pimp luggage in the world. Like it's absurd. Steamer trunk. Yes, he gets these absurd steamer trunks, and uh, those steamer trunks literally save his life. This is a very highly, this is a high search term thing, by the way. Like (laughs) Jova. Yeah, because he makes a raft out of the steamer trunks. At one point, he does. They do save his life. I do like the look of those. That looks yeah. something like like what you get treasure out of. Yeah. I'm, I mean, he had some stuff in there. Look at look at fucking Meg Ryan. She's super hot in this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, this is opinion. the this is the movie. This is the movie. This is part of the movie. This is a scene from it. It's not. Yeah. They don't spend the whole movie on that rap. That's just this movie's like, fucking it, stupid. I don't know why you're so obsessed with it. I'm not and- obsessed with it. It has good. <laughs> it has a really good. It's a why good have movie. you based I've... your whole personality on this movie? Yeah, character. why are you so you into this scene right here? Like, like, in this scene right here, Tom is it Hanks, his ass? Tom Hanks is only giving giving all the water to her and not drinking any of it, so he almost dies um, because he, you know, he's he's sick anyway. It's a real sweet scene. They're only on the raft for like fifteen minutes. <laughs> okay, Maybe, not even that. Like, like like really, just like one scene. They're on the raft. What are we and... talking about? We're talking about we yeah, have three minutes to kill. Streamer trunk. <laughs> we have three minutes to kill. Isn't that funny when you get to like three minutes and or three hours and fifty seven minutes where you're just like, so I'm fucking Yo the volcano. Uh, you know, you know how it is. Oh, let me let me ask let me ask you a thing then. Fucking, what do you mention before that you got a you got recognized in airports a lot? Mm-hmm. It's the fucking worst. Why airports of all? Pl- it's the worst place to get fucking recognized. It's the most stressful environment. Dude, I had a broken leg. I was totally ashamed of my motorcycle lack of skill. I'm having like the. I had all these hopes and dreams wrapped up in this motorcycle trip. I was gonna go like right out to Colorado, go through Wyoming, and come back. And I look forward to it. And oh my god, I counted the days for 38 days. I'd write my friends and be like, 38 days till our trip, 37 days to our trip. Like the whole way through, I'm like six days into my trip, and I broke my leg. And then I like have a. I'm at the airport shipping my motorcycle home. I'm gonna fly myself home. I'm crushed and defeated, and I'm just mm-hmm. like just the most down, sad version of me. And then, are you Woody's gamer tag? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I gotta no. get it up for a fan. I am nice to see you. It's pretty great. <laughs> How are you? You know, you know, it'd be funny, like. Getting recognized like that in public would be funnier if they were like, "Are you Taylor from PKA?" And it's like, "Yeah." And it's like, "I fucking hate you." <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, like that I've, would actually kind of be funny. That that pretty that happened almost. There was a guy that I met, or um, I don't know what they identify as actually, because this was a whole thing of the story. But I, I always tend to get recognized whenever I do at the worst situ at the worst place. Again, yeah. terribly dressed. I've got a complex about it now. But there's, but hmm. there, we were in like a Doc Martin store, and these two, uh, these two uh, people came up to us. They're like uh, young adults, sort of thing. They go, "Oh my god, Finn!" I was with my friend Marisa. She was in, on my streams a lot. She go, oh my god! They both, you know, are going up to us and everything. And then they like after like taking a second, and we talked. Like, how are you? It's like you know, like how do you know me from oh, from the streams? I, I go. It, it, he goes. It changed me a lot. And I go. Oh man, I'm so. This that's so great. Because most people, they say, oh, you really, you know, opened opened me up to idea, new ideas. He goes, no, it was bad. <laughs> Dude, I gave this guy. You like, confused me sexually. <laughs> I gave someone an identity crisis and that's like how it ended. Like that's what we're talking about. Oh, no. okay, want a photo? <laughs> that's what oh, no. it's just what? Oh, that's you're crazy. a fan? No, I'm in therapy because of you. <laughs> like, yeah, let that, hey, let that be a warning to everyone out there now who's listening. If you're thinking about heading over to, to Finster's Twitch or, or one of Finster's many successful YouTube ventures, then 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 be forewarned. You could get sissy hypnote. You could <laughs> you could go down a dark dark path. You, you you're gonna be wearing panties, all right. Mm-hmm. You, you're gonna be growing your hair out. You're gonna you're gonna be getting your nails done, all right. Mm-hmm. It, it 
Happens you, you to pussy waxed. Yeah. Yeah. The man's getting laser I want hair a treatment sissy, on his legs. I, 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 oh, I'm getting the hypno I'm getting, someone. I'm, I'm getting like laser hair treatment on my asshole as well, by the way. Not to, you know, I, I not say anything more so. Uh, okay. What? What? Why? Why? <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, okay. That's a slow but you're, fat so, so that's that is, show. <laughs> Come on, that's a show. That's, Come on. That's a show. That's a show. He's, he's getting his asshole laser. Man. Call the fucking show right now, Zach. 